Oh boy. Is this gonna work? I've never done this before. I'm streaming off of a VPN. This is gonna be fun. Anonymous virus. Virus from... <laughs> I don't know where I'm from right now, technically. I don't know where my computer thinks it's from. I know I'm from Florida, but I can't say that out loud in front of Hypixel or I'm gonna get disconnected. Oh, by the way, thank you to Nick, CTJO3, Lord Fishy, IMN3W2THLS, Super Dolph, Atomic Nucleus, V Agent Smooth 7, Or Diamond Boy, Eberki, Syntactic, Jaden, Midas, and Crazykin for all being botnet general or leader. If you want a special thank you at the start of stream, then you should join. Ah. <clears throat> So chat, is everything uh everything working? We good? It seems like it's working good. It looks like we're good. Nice. We're back in business, chat. Alright. <clears throat> Hey guys, I'm back for another stream and welcome to Hypixel Skyblock. And I'm a little blurry right now. Hey. Autofocus. <laughs> there we go. Hi, I'm back. Uh, for those of you that were here last time, you might notice the stream title and thumbnail is exactly the same. And that's because the last stream was a fail. It was a five hour long fail, but it was a fail. So what happened was, I was doing my thing, playing on Hypixel, and then suddenly, the the proxy server problems over in the EU learned how to swim, and um, it found its way to Florida. So then suddenly, I just got disconnected every couple minutes. So the game was unplayable, genuinely, literally unplayable. Like not a meme. Like I could not play Skyblock. So then we hopped into COD Zombies for like two hours. And I lost like 70% of my viewers. I can't blame you for that. I already have more viewers now than I did during Zombies. It's a game I like, but it's not a game that this channel is known for. So the fact that we held on to over 500 people for Call of Duty Zombies is kind of impressive. Um, anyways, anyways, um, yeah, so I couldn't connect the high pixel, which is a massive problem because there's a time constraint. It's not like I could just take a week off and wait for Hypixel to fix itself because Scorpius is going to be a thing presumably in the next election and I guess we'll find that out today. But uh, yeah, this is a serious problem. So what I had to do is go and download a VPN. Now, this would have been the best tie-in of all time to get sponsored, but I'm not. Um, so essentially what's happening is that Hypixel, I don't know anything about networking. All I know is that proxies are involved and some of them have gone bad. It's a Cloudflare problem. Hypixel can't fix it. They, the best they could do is beg Cloudflare to fix it. So that's, that's all I know. But yeah, Florida is down. Um, anyone in the Tampa or Jacksonville area, Sarasota, all offline, can't play Hypixel along with apparently half of the UK, U EU, but I have a special use case here. I downloaded the VPN. I'm not suggesting you do that. That's your own decision because it could be sketchy, but I'm a YouTube rank. I'm immune to most any cheat and I could verify with Hypixel that I'm doing this for content so that I can log on to the server. I haven't fully confirmed whether or not everybody could do what I did, but according to Hypixel, I'm logging in from Chicago right now. I live in Florida, but Hypixel doesn't need to know that. Um, yeah, I've, I've essentially convinced the network that I'm logging in from someplace else. The magic of a VPN. Now, I guess if I wanted to get a cheap Netflix su subscription, I could do that and just say I'm from like um, the Philippines or something. I, I don't know if I'm going to do that. But anyways, we're here and look at this. 
I'm on high pixel. We're playing the game and I'm not getting kicked. It's a miracle and my ping is unchanged. It's about 50 MS, which I will take. That is fine. 50 MS is perfectly playable. It's better than most people's ping actually. So I really can't complain. And I, I haven't tested it, but it seems to be working. I can stream off of a VPN. So that's awesome. So we are back. We are back in business chat. We are back in business. So I discovered this yesterday around yesterday morning. I got the VPN. I teleported to Chicago and then I logged in, didn't get kicked. So what I did is I proceeded to grind all of this <laughs> perfect amber gemstone times five. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So some of you might remember from the brief moments of last stream and I wasn't getting kicked that I already had maxed out boots of Devon in terms of gemstones and reforge and recom helmet has max gemstones, but no recom chest plate and leggings are missing amber. I also had to take off an amber from my gauntlet in order to forge one of these and the artifact of power is in desperate need of another amber so let's take care of that real quick i've been looking forward to this oh and i also grinded coins i did about i don't know half an hour of ruby mining maybe 45 minutes and i went from 5 mil to 19 mil actually that's untrue it was probably just over an hour because i had to buy another cookie because my cookie buff ran out um so that's a thing we have a bunch of bits now but yeah i i grinded coins off camera as a proof of concept and whew, this setup is crazy even without the amber gemstones i was getting probably about 20 million coins an hour it's freaking awesome so i want to show you guys something I hate this warp menu. I want to show you guys something before we put the gemstone. Actually, eh. No, let's put the gemstones on first. I've been waiting for this. We are right now, chat. We are about to max out the gemstones on Devon armor. It's happening. We're going to get some coin. Time to remove these fine amber gemstones and replace them with perfect, which gives nearly just over double the speed oh look at that boom boom and just like that full chambered max perfect gemstone devon armor all that we are missing is two more recoms we need two more recoms and then we never have to do that again. Now, I'm also going to be taking off this fine amber gemstone and replacing that with a perfect. And now our gauntlet has three of the five gemstones maxed. Look at the skin of this. If I were to zoom in, you could see the three gemstone slots are taken up. Only two more to go. And then we get the the golden gauntlet absolutely freaking beautiful now i haven't been honest with you chat in the past five minutes of explaining what i did off camera that is not everything i did that is not what i that is not everything that i did if i go to ender chest page four oh yeah i already already I've already got another five gemstones ready to go and forge. I had to wait for the downtime in the forge. Perfect ruby. Boom. Perfect amethyst. Boom. What other things do I have? Amber sapphire. Okay. Amber, the last amber gemstone. This one's going on artifact of power. Boom. 
Sapphire. Boom. <laughs> and now we got to go back to Crystal Hollows so that I can get the Sapphire gemstone. Oh, Sliding Ace is celebrating 19 months of member. Pog. Nice, nice. Thank you for the 19 months of member, by the way. These numbers are getting crazy. Some of these people have been member for like almost two years. It's crazy. And Logan Pugh, thank you for joining. All right, anyways, let's go to Crystal Hollows. And I've actually turned my fourth page into my like leftovers but the uh third page is where we have our wishing compasses if you look all future pages are empty which is convenient warp crystal nucleus we're gonna go find precursor remnants luckily i already have the parts so we don't have to go searching for parts is the city actually in that direction because that would be a little weird it is no maybe it isn't i uh is Precursor City actually here? Hard to say. It is. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so I already have the parts, so don't freak out, Chad. I already did the thing. This is my last super light motor, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to <laughs> grind another one of those, actually, now that I think about it. Well, I, not today, but at some point I will. Goodbye, super light motor. Somehow that's my rarest component instead of heart. Anyways. Mm -hmm. You need amethyst, not sapphire. Oh, did I do a stupid? Oh, I did a stupid. I needed amethyst. I, uh, to be fair, I need sapphire as well, actually. That's the last gemstone I haven't gotten yet. You might have noticed. Not only does Gauntlet need one, but so does Artifact of Power. So I'm not, I'm not sad about that. I do need sapphire. All right, let's go get amber. A stupid, smart brain. Let's actually do the jungle run like I was supposed to do. Temple's this way. Is the game gonna give me a path or do I have to tunnel? I think I have to tunnel. It's cool now that there's like three gemstones maxed out in the gauntlet. It's got like an extra couple pixels on it. It's cool. My mining speed is crazy, by the way. I just want to start forging this amethyst and I want to show off a little bit, see what my stats are like now that I've been going so freaking crazy all in on mining. You look a bit pale. Are you all right? Oh, that's, that's the, that's the light face in me. I'm not actually that pale. I mean, I am pretty pale. Like I don't get a lot of sun, but it's, it looks worse than it is. <laughs> it's because of the light on top of my camera. Okay. Apparently it's still this way. Wow. I actually just found a village. Wait a minute. That's actually rare. Oh, if only I had jungle hearts on me. No, I could buy a tribal spear, but I don't have one. I don't have a jungle heart on me right now. That's some bad uh, planning on my part. Whoops. You know what? This lobby is just... No. You know what? So that doesn't happen again. Let me get a jungle heart and leave it in my ender chest. Um, where do I have them? I have six of them. I'll keep one in this ender chest page just in case that happens again. Not a big deal. I don't need tribal spear right now. I'm not doing floor fours for a while. Okay, let's try this again. Why is the jungle causing problems? Like, hello? Kill the baby to get an achievement? <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm capable of that at the... Well, actually, maybe I am. They do have less health. But anyways, it's not a big deal. Okay. I need to go... Oh, good. Someone made a, a pathway. Please lead straight to the jungle temple. I need to max out this gemstone. Please. 
No freaking way. Is this the same lobby? Well, I guess just in case it happens again, it just happened again. <laughs> what is the chances of that? <laughs> Tribal spiel. Spiel. Tribal spear acquired, I guess. Cool. There is nothing else I need here. This is it. This, this is the... Uh, do I need this mask, by the way? I might as well grab it. I don't have one yet. So let's get some planks. Bro, that's so lucky. That was your own tunnel? Wow. You know, I never claimed to have the good brain. I was... I was um, unfortunately, you know... When I was in the character creator, I didn't pick much intelligence. Had to put more points into luck, apparently. But there you go. Now there's no reason for me ever to need to come back to Odawa. That's it. I have the jungle pick. I have tribal spear, jungle amulet, the mask. Don't need to buy keys. And why would you buy amethyst like that? So yeah, we're, we're good, I guess. You know... My RNG is just weird at this point. I don't know how to describe it. But yeah, we have a tribal spear now. I guess that'll be useful if I decide to do floor four. Throw the spear like an arrow, which will return to you. Interesting. It turns into a gas tier. That's cool, I guess. It's like a bone meringue, but worse. But it stuns things. Put a key in your inventory to find temple. Oh, is that why I wasn't pointing to it? That might explain why. That might explain why. A <laughs> Walmart bone meringue. Okay. Apparently the temple is literally right below me. Oh, okay. I didn't need to do that. All right, let's get this last gemstone real quick. Forging. Well, second to last. We need to actually... I left one gemstone that I have to mine on stream. And that's the... Um... That's the sapphire. We need that one last sapphire. And then we don't have to mine anything other than whatever we're getting for money. There's going to be no reason to mine any gemstone for any reason other than money. Or, actually, that's not true if i wanted to for some reason max out like a piece of armor which is a fairly common scenario so actually yes we will need to mine more gemstones but not for a while that's not the priority right now it's a pretty small stat boost i'm gonna have to run this one like a normie instead of the 50 runs i did the other stream i'm just gonna have to avoid the arrows at 100 speed like a normal person because i'm too lazy to set up uh, actual jungle run stuff yeah, gemstones for drill. You're right, you're right. Yeah, but we're just not going to need it for a while, though. Don't hit me. True. Huh? But at least for gauntlet, we're done. After this. After this last sapphire. <gasps> Taking some risks here. <laughs> Music is loud. Please turn it down. Hey, chat, confirm or deny this. Is the music actually loud? I did turn it up recently, but only because chat was complaining that it was too quiet. It's split half and half. So what do I do in this scenario? A little loud? Well, maybe it was just that one song. All right, fine. I'll put it down a little bit. There. We'll see if that makes a difference. There we go. Crystal acquired. I put it down a little bit so that, you know, everybody's happy. Just a little bit. Not, not the big difference in volume. <laughs> ah, all right. Well, there you go. That's the last one we need for this project, at least. Let's head back to the forge. Okay. Now we go here. Put that away. We go to page four. Our perfect amethyst times two. 
so we have enough gemstones in here to max out the artifact of power but then we need one more sapphire to get the maxed out gauntlet now the thing is technically i don't need that it's only a cosmetic upgrade the rarity doesn't go up the mining speed or fortune doesn't go up it just turns it gold but i'm a youtuber and i need to do the flashy thing that makes the fish brains go oh look at this video oh i must click it otherwise i don't get views so we're gonna have to do it um you gotta you know as much as we like to make fun of the fish brains they do make up the silent majority of the audience so we, we gotta we gotta make the flashy title and thumbnail for them so yeah because youtube because youtuber i need to get that last gemstone later uh carp ex thank you for the two dollar super chat how many hours per day uh you can do the math if you'd like slash playtime 1046 hours and the profile is three months and four days old let's assume that a month is 30 days right i guess on average so that's uh 90 days plus four so 94 days <laughs> chat's like what <laughs> anyways uh yes so i want to show you guys something now that we're done with that let me let me flex on everybody some more <laughs> it's a deserved flex i put in so many hours into this game so if i head into the magma fields with a bell pet i want to show you what my mining stats have turned into it's kind of insane actually so like let's head down here there we go so we're pretty much at the bottom let's hold out my gemstone gauntlet verify that i have level 100 legendary bell pet oh look at these mining stats chat 6300 mining speed and 1720 mining fortune that is without resetting my heart of the mountain tree to go specifically for mining fortune and speed there's a little bit of a uh, powder buff in there there's a little bit of a efficient miner in there Whew. oh yeah <laughs> so this isn't the full story so the other thing that you might not be considering is fortunate plus 100 mining fortune on gemstones so effectively that means with this setup right now i have 1820 mining fortune and actually it might be more than that because that buff might be before bow pet so it might be plus 115 so let's say plus 115 1835 mining fortune and i have 18 pristine as well that's the other thing 18 pristine it's close to the max actually i believe the max is like 18.4 so we are like whew, we're pretty much as far as you can get we're, well no nah, that's not true we're, we're not done yet the last upgrade i'm gonna have to do tomorrow and that's artifact of power i'm gonna clip it for you guys now here's the thing this is gonna probably be my last stream for a week now the reason for that is my life's about to get real boring so you might know that the next election is going to be scorpius right uh, probably so if we go to calendars and events three hours until the election's over and we get diaz as mayor um actually we're not going to know if scorpius is a thing until a day and 10 hours from now but the timing's about right so yeah it's probably happening so yeah scorpius is gonna be mayor next time i believe which means there's about a billion a literal billion coins worth of items that i need to grind for um so essentially what we need to do is grind out 100 million to 200 million coins per day of ruby and i don't think that stream content it might not even be possible to stream it because of snipers so i think i'm just gonna take the week off from streaming now i'm gonna be spending 10 hours a day mining ruby for a freaking week Oof. so that's tough that's gonna be tough but you know what while we're here still i want to test out this mining speed i want to give it a test run let's see how fast we are at breaking ruby because this is after all what i'm gonna be doing so where's some ruby i can mine how about this actually i'm not in the magma field so that's not an accurate test hello corleone 
What are you doing around these parts? I literally just spawned on you. Oh, and I have a boss Corleone Slayer commission. That's convenient. Hello. Speaking of RNG, I just spawned on Corleone essentially. I like how Corleone can't even damage. You're dead. Okay. Can't do this while in combat. Can you not? <laughs> Let's go to Magma Fields. Now, where's some Ruby? I saw in the corner of my vision some donos, by the way, but I want to get through content moment players then not read. Let's see how fast this is. No speed boost. Not bad. That is not bad. Chat, what do you think? That's pretty good. That's pretty fast for no speed boost. That's not no speed boost active right there. Not bad, not bad. 6,300 mining speed. Woo, decent, decent. Now, how else could I increase my mining speed? I think it's literally just harder the mountain. How about Topaz, the slowest gemstone to break in the game? Do a five minute test run. Well, in order to do, to do that, I would have to have a Ruby route, which takes some setup. I don't know. We'll do that later in the stream. I have to Ruby mine about 100 mil today anyways to keep up with the schedule of getting to a billion by uh, the mayor. So we'll do that later. Not bad, though. I want to use a speed boost. Um, let's see. I want a big patch of Ruby to break. Problem is I don't see one. I guess we'll just substitute Topaz. Let's see how fast it is with um speed boost on Topaz. Boom. <laughs> That's how fast I was breaking Ruby with speed boost. What the hell? That's so fast. And I ran out of gemstones to break. <laughs> Wow, with a gauntlet, chat. With a gauntlet, I'm doing that. <laughs> That's so fast. That's crazy. How much speed to insta mine Ruby? It's not possible. Need like 100k mining speed. That's crazy. Well, there you go, chat. That that is that right there is what like max mining speed almost minus artifact of power and some powder buff i there's i have about 100 mining speed on on the table right now maybe 200 mining speed max heart of the mountain but it's it's close to max it's close without getting a better drill all right so let's read the donos uh let, let's see let's see la musa la, la moon la musna <laughs> has been a member for nine months that's very pog as well tobias thank you for the czk 10 uh gillian thank you for joining and Puffin, yo, what's up? Thank you for the five. Yo, 30, what are the chances I can get your cake soul? You know what? If there was a time to do it, you'd have to snipe a dungeon hub lobby in between my runs for the recom. Spoiler, I have to get recoms for these two pieces of armor and for the artifact of power. I'm going to need three recoms, which means a lot of dungeon runs. So if you can find me in between a dungeon run, then that's when you could do it. Um... Let's see. Oh, and Midas is celebrating 19 months of Botnet General. Bruh, almost two years. That's crazy. He played Bedwars with Gamer Boy 80. I did. Me and Gamer Boy used to hang out a lot and play Bedwars, but we kind of drifted apart when I started playing Skyblock and he stayed in Bedwars. And hey, we still talk every now and again. You know, we've done videos somewhat recently, like in the past year. And we might do more in the future. But... But anyways, uh, Linus, thank you for the five dollar or five euro donated to Super Chat. Hey, thirty, I'm wiped. Oh, dude, over a thousand hours of mole 
and well over a hundred euro gone. W high pixel, nice false wipe. Oh, is that because of the gemstone thing? Have you tried appealing? I really, that sucks. That really, mm. unfortunately, I think that's a story that a lot of people have. Ooh, that that's pain. Devon boots or helmet first in Iron Man? In the cheaper armor piece, they all give the same buff. Everyone claims false wipe. That's that's also true. Everyone who gets wiped false or not claims it's false. So it makes it hard to actually diagnose when there's a true false ban. It's kind of funny watching this guy struggle with the <laughs> spooky mobs. Do you need help, sir? <laughs> He's running away. Uh, buddy. Hey, what, what's up? You, you need uh, you need some help here? <laughs> you need some help with the spooky mobs? <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, that's really unfortunate, though. I wish that there was something I could do, but I'm just a guy who plays the game. I don't have any say over bands or anything like that. And neither do most of the admins I actually talk to. But, um... Anyways, let's press on. Let's press on. Uh, what is what is left here? We have... Oh, and the other thing, too, is that... Um, of course, now, the garden updates out, which means that... All these farms on my island are about to become useless, so that's cool. Yeah, I know. It says that the battle is level 101. I don't know why that is, but anyways. Uh, all these farms that I built, they're probably not going to be useless, but they're going to probably be redundant but we'll see i don't know the garden updates dropping at some point soon honestly i don't really care all that much about it but we'll see uh linus thank you for another five yes because of gems appealed but appeal has never worked so i gave up but at least i am free Oof. that really freaking sucks when do you see yourself catching up on rage trains iron man i don't know exactly what rage train has going for him on his profile so i i don't know um okay we're gonna have to put together a team i think it's time for dungeons as cool as this armor is i can't start using it to grind mass amount of coin until i've maxed out my efficiency otherwise i'm going to feel bad so um let's do it we're gonna get ourselves a stonk uh personal compactor i am putting away seal wants an invite yes yes now uh chat what are your thoughts if i want to get recoms quickly isn't it four three right that's the quickest if we wanted to just get the recoms out of the way quickly um it would be four three right i mean it's a fast clear you shouldn't invite me you know second question if we're playing floor three does it even matter if i'm quote carried like does can i just invite anybody i feel like <laughs> because it, it's like it, i'm not gonna die in four three it's four three i'm a cat of 25 right yeah i'm not gonna no it doesn't matter <laughs> it's five well if it's four five then i'm not gonna be able to invite anybody unbiased opinion here yeah but four five is bigger that's the problem I can join floor threes in 60 minutes. I don't know who you are because of Nick Hyder. Let's turn that off. It's still hiding the name. Oh, it's, it's briefing. I don't know. It, we'll see. The problem with floor fives is they take longer. Floor threes are quicker. And honestly, as much as I want Shadow Assassin chestplate, I think we should. The responsible thing to do would be to put off every responsibility other than the 1 billion coins for Scorpius until after Scorpius. So, like, every other goal needs to wait. So, like, recoms is the only goal right now. I need three of them. And then we're done. And then we move on to some other thing. But, like, we need it. That's my thoughts on this, at least. Also, let's switch to this. Get out. Super Booms. Spirit Leaps. Dugan the Orb. Uh, will I need healing? I'll get the zombie sword. Voodoo doll. Probably not going to need Aurora staff. Because again, it's floor three.
Floor five is five minute runs and you get more chance. Ha! <laughs> I have not been in a party that gets five minute runs. Yeah, this is fine, I think. I think this setup will do nicely. Is there anything else? I think that's it. Wow, we can have a free hotbar slot for once? That never happens. I must be missing something. Oh, right, 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 right. Bow. I forgot about bow. There we go. Just in case we get a blaze puzzle. Floor 5 is 2 chest 30, it's double chance. I don't know if that's how that works. I don't know, chat. The debate is floor 5 or floor 3. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do we... What do we do here? Because if it's going to be floor 5, then I probably need all the stuff, which is annoying. So floor five has two chests. Floor three has one. Floor three is like two minutes faster than floor five. But I also get chance for shadow assassin chest plate, which I really shouldn't be considering because it's literally just recoms. Uh, the literal chance is higher of a recom in floor five. It's a tough choice. Because if you look here, floor five, I'm not using RNG meter. That's the other thing. I can't use RNG meter for a recom because I'd be wasting progress towards the shadow assassin chest plate i might be desperate for recoms but not that desperate whereas with floor three i will be using recom so or orangey meter so it's a 2.7 percent chance there whereas here it's rarer wait a minute chat's lying the base chance for a recom is higher 1.7 versus 2.4 now there is only one chest though you get two rolls from floor five so that's why technically it's better still because 1.7 times 2 is 3.5 versus 2.4 it's like a one percent chance difference but i get rng meter which already makes it like i think floor three would be better because rng meter And the runs would be easier, dude. Guild chat's wildin', are they? Oh, jeez. They're talking about... Okay. They're talking about uh, racism, and religion and stuff. Let's not. Um, floor fives are more fun to watch. I'm here for a very specific goal, and that's to get these runs done quickly. All right, you know what? We're opening the floodgates. We're inviting Crimson. And to be honest, I don't even know how good your Dugan stats are. Alright, you know what? Fine. We are putting away the Aurora Staff. And I am putting away the Wand of Atonement because it's easy. Easy sauce. Cat of 37. It's fine. We're playing floor 3. Everything dies instantly anyways. Alright. Let's just... If no one else reaches out through direct messaging, then we're just going to open up the party, the party finder. And I'm not, I don't care who joins at this point. As long as I get my secrets and kill things, that, that's fine. Floor three. Briefing wants to join after spooky. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of time until then. So let's just start the queue and see who we get. <laughs> Cata 39, Cata 34. Let's just go. Let's just do it. Oh, am I on Nick? Or did I. I'm not on Nick. Hold on. Floor threes. Let's go. Let's just do it. Let's get them recoms, did. And floor completions. Why not? And I don't have to swap anything in my hotbar. That's nice. That's real nice. Which means technically I should be doing this. So I can do the ghost pick thing if I am so inclined.
All right, here it goes. Uh, everything dies. <laughs> Everything's dying instantly. Okay, clearly we have multiple people going for, um, what's it called? Blood Rush. So I'm just going to clear this room, get the secrets. Now, for S+, plus, I don't believe we need to get all the secrets, just some of them. So it's really just floor completions that matter the most. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go here and get some secrets. Let's do it. Uh huh. Let's try and be fast. Look at Thirty Virus doing secrets fast, huh? Not bad. Not bad. Room's clear. No warm up either. I'm just doing it. Then there's a bat that's burning. <laughs> Can't see. All the hubs day 3000 was spooky, not fixed. Yeah, I know S plus gives double or better drops, not double drops. That would be nice. Imagine. No, um, <laughs> better drops. I'm aware. That's why we're going for S plus. <laughs> not a not a bad clear time. Wait, we failed a puzzle. Who failed a puzzle? How did we fail a puzzle? Why? Hey, what happened? Well, what happened? Who failed the puzzle? Bruh, it's a blaze puzzle too. Did they at least get the secret? Going, you failed a puzzle. Wait, we're not gonna get. Apparently their solver lied. Why are you going? We don't have to score. I guess maybe it might not be possible. Okay. You know what? That's fine. We can't make up for it. Uh, I guess just S run then, Sag. Oh, it died before I could even shoot. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, yeah. This is just... This is just... <laughs> there we go. We lost a man. We lost a man. This is scuffed. I agree. S. Wow! Adaptive boots! I'm not getting those. I'm not getting those. Rejuvenate for 100k. Did we lose a man to a disconnect? Briefing wants an invite right now or after Spooky's done? Oh. We're inviting briefing. Let's go. Cat of 50. <laughs> they are floor three, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah, the singular goal is to get recoms. It really doesn't matter anything else. We're just here for that quick completion. <laughs> Your average floor three party. <laughs> yeah, this is just a little scuffed. I think I've already proven at this point that like I can easily handle up to like... 
I could I could hold my own even in floor six honestly as long as I'm careful so like this it's fine all right so we were already I'm guessing that briefing is um blood rushing if not somebody else in the party with a Hyperion so we're just gonna we're just gonna get some quick secrets uh oh whoa lag i don't know if that was me or the server i am playing off a of vpn right now so that might did i not get credit for that secret i didn't lag dead that's not good yeah blood room's open chest is looted there's a lost adventure here and he is dead. To all those of you saying VPN is bannable, YouTube rank. And I have to because literally Florida is offline right now in the eyes of Hypixel. Mm -mm -mm. Bypass anti cheat, pog. Not actually cheating, obviously, but I need it because <laughs> my location cannot log in. I need to make content, man. Mm -hmm. Ow. I'm guessing it would make more sense just to clear all the rooms first and get credit for clearing the rooms versus the secrets. That's what I've been told. So perhaps um, we can do that. Trap room. Wow. That was some bad timing. <laughs> Why am I so close to dead? What? Why did I respawn with no health? What? What happened? What is that? First of all, I got super unlucky and got double hit by a trap and died. Then I spawned with no health. What was that? Hi, Pixel. What is it? It's conspiring against me. What was that? That's so stupid. I respawned with like 100 HP. Why did that happen? Yeah, good thing I, I was about to say good thing I've spear pep, but then I just spawned with no health and died again. What is that? Briefing saying that someone should camp uh, blood room. Oh, if people think carry now, they'd think carry especially then just sitting in blood room the whole time. Yeah, that was, um, that was a yikes, bro. Double hit by a trap and then spawns with no health. It's like the game's conspiring against me at this point. You know, if I was Archer, that wouldn't have happened. <gasps> Let's go! <laughs> yes! Yes! The first run. The first real run. No, second real run. Let's be honest. Second run. I threw it for the RNG chat. Recom! Yes! Oh, that's perfect. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me one moment, one moment, dungeon party, one moment. I need to, I need to do this. <laughs> oh, let's go. That's going to give us another 40 mining speed and another 20 mining fortune. Whoo. Nice. We only need one more and then the armor's maxed. This is so much downtime. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a recob. I needed it for the content. This is why YouTubers get made fun of because like you these you can't be good at the game and make great content at the same time. You can be a good player who is temporarily not good for the moment to make good content, but the second you actually try hard, then the content becomes bad. So it's like you have to there's a balance there. 
there is a balance that must be achieved. Okay, you know what? Uh, speaking of content, I kind of want to max out. Oh, that's Blood Room. Yeah, hold on. Let me uh, let me grab these journal pages. I need them for completion reasons. All right, I'll take that. I already had a journal entry. That's one page, two page. Wow, it picked up both at the same time. Sad. Okay, can I not lag, please? Anyways. I hate the way journal pages work. They freaking stack with, like, pages you already have. And, like, you've already read. It's very annoying. Ugh. The freaking hiccups. Who failed puzzle again? What? Bruh, bruh. I swear if it's another blaze puzzle that got failed. Who did it? Who, what happened? Who did it? It's not showing in chat. Maybe it is and I'm blind. It's not showing up in chat. Just finish the run. It's, it, it's screwed anyways. Bro, why, why are we failing the trap? Uh, uh, not trap. Why are we failing puzzles, man? Puzzles are easy. Except for waterboard, but even that, it's not. You can't fail waterboard. Still get an S at least. Tab? My tab list isn't great. Oh, Crimson failed it. I think that is Blaze Puzzle. L. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's stupid stupid situations that we keep finding ourselves in i'm willing to believe that his solver didn't work but if that's the case then stop doing blaze puzzle <laughs> wait do we not even get s because we left too early that was my term that time oh nice we're getting an a because <sighs> this run is an l bro <laughs> what is this Okay, we're not even getting an S this time. Yikes. Wait, we still did? What? How? Huh? How? The tab list lies. I don't care. All right, reparty. Yeah, my calculator just don't work properly. Okay. Oh, line is taken for another five. I think after unban, I'll start Iron Man. Seems more fun. Playing the game as intended seems like it might be the play. Oh, uh, nice. Just got denied entry by the game. Good job. Good job. Hi, Pixel. I'm stuck out of the game. I agree though. Iron Man is just the better way to play this game. Bro! I can't join Skyblock! What is this garbage? What is this garbage? I hate this garbage. Wait, wait, wait. I can't... <laughs> What? What? What is? What? This isn't. This isn't me this time. This isn't Florida. Let me join. Thank you. I don't know why it's not auto rejoining. That's a little annoying. Thank you. Oh, you know what happened? <laughs> 
I think the timing was the end of spooky. I think that's what happened. Oh, good. Okay, auto rejoins working. I don't know why I wasn't for briefing. I think we the end of our run was timed perfectly with spooky ending. That was probably what happened. It's all gone wrong. Is everyone here? Only three people are. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. Whoa. Please. Are we good? <laughs> Hi, Pixel, please. <laughs> what is happening? Are we good now? <laughs> is it safe? Oh, my party leader again? Okay. I think I could join again. Okay. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. That was impressively bad. Bro, that was awful. <laughs> I don't know how the hell that happened. That was a fast blood rush. Hello, silverfish. Just gotta get that be right back screen just like technical difficulties oh i i those two words i i can't be hearing those two words right now after last stream last stream was awful oh by the way chat i have a question has anyone noticed that youtube pushed out an update like a week ago where now whenever somebody goes live that oh the waypoint's not working whenever someone goes live their youtube icon turns red no matter where you watch them from including like a video of theirs so like if you were watching one of my videos you might have noticed that i'm live just by the red around my face that is awesome that's an incredible feature because now people know when i'm live without like seeing yeah it did that on mobile for months Oh, well, it just pushed out to me. But I've noticed that more people are showing up to streams now. And I don't know if that's correlated. These waypoints are just distracting, if anything. They're just leading me down the wrong way. <laughs> Stupid waypoints! I wish I could remove them from my brain. Yep, that's okay. You know what? Other people are taking care of it. We probably have the score by now. Unless we failed another puzzle. No, we're going. Okay. <laughs> Your stream just came up in autoplay. I've noticed that in general, YouTube is just putting... It's pushing streams more, which is great for me. That's awesome for me. It's not going to be so awesome for me in January to March because I'm not going to be streaming all that much. But, um... Yeah. I literally just, like, don't even have to pay attention. I, I need to try, at least. <laughs> Hello, Professor. <laughs> All right, too many people are asking floor three because I need recoms. Pin. The why question is the worst, and I hate it. There. Oh, hold on. I held shift. Unpin. Floor three. 
because I because I need recons. Why is my <clears throat> technical difficulties? I freaking my text the text box is getting unselected constantly, and I hate it. Wow. Adaptive helmet. Cool. I don't want it. Getting a lot of ultimate wise rejuvenate offers right now. So much downtime. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah, the text box for me to type that message got unselected four times when I was typing more. The message. Ah. All right. These, these clears or what, whatever they're called. These blood rushes are crazy fast. Okay. It gets to the point where I like can't contribute if I wanted. It's so fast. AOTV would also be very nice. So I could just insta teleport to these. Instead of bumbling around like an idot. that you can't right click on wither essence with mage items that's really annoying ow oh melon room's already done okay oh is this is this railway or is this is railway my least favorite room i hate this room awful oh my nose is itchy <laughs> on aote ultimate wise five no nah, there's other things that needed more uh for example Adam's not Adam split eventually Vorpal Katana the, the Enderman Katana okay I don't remember which one I have but it desperately needs oh briefing what happened are we what happened what happened A oh, briefing got a phoenix pet? <laughs> briefing got a phoenix during our run? What is that? Speaking of RNG, he got a freaking phoenix? In dungeons? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna need to see that after this run. Sorry, I'm just flabbergasted right now that that happened. I'm like, why is no secret here? Okay. Briefing got a freaking phoenix? That's pog, bro. The RNG's crazy today. As soon as my 300 message gets sent. 30 recon this run? Eh, we'll see. <laughs> I did just drop one, so it would be pretty rare. I see. You have forced me to use my trick. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> there it is. Adaptive Boots Bank. 
Wisdom, rejuvenate, uh, hot potato book and quiver, rejuvenate wisdom. For 100k, good offer, game. I like that. That's a very good offer. I will take that any day of the week. If you leave a dungeon when there's a book on the floor or like any loot, do you like lose it? Or does it automatically get sent to your inventory? I'd be a little scared if you just lost it. What was your favorite game growing up? Um, oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, we're still here. Um, when I was a young, young child, it was Pokemon Diamond Pro Platinum, specifically Platinum. Um, as I got a little older, MW2, oh, we lost some people. P warp. Auto pickup is bugged. Oh. <laughs> Everyone got kicked. Nice hub. Um, Fallout New Vegas is my go-to answer. Uh, Dung. Let me know when our. Our dungeon's fun, chat. Our dungeon's fun. Briefing is stuck. <laughs> Briefing didn't warp correctly. Did he get limboed or? <laughs> okay, I'm G. All right, nice. Step briefing stuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, chat. All right, let me grab these. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to stop everything and get these pages here because I want to complete this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Three journal pages done. Sorry, I had to do it. Downtime. I know. I know. I know. Blood room's already open anyways because go did party. Alright. Oh, split the room. This one's easy. I'll do some split the room. Mm -hmm. So, here's a question. When inevitably I start becoming a dungeon sweat, like I actually start trying and learning and crap, is it even worth going for secrets if every room isn't discovered and like cleared with a check? Like, when it says do your clear before your secrets, do people mean like the whole dungeon? Like you get a check mark in every single room, then you get the secrets. Because I might as well start employing that after this run if that's the case. Did he fail Blaze again? <laughs> Bruh. Blaze has been failed again. Okay. 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 That's embarrassing. Either all the mods have been broken. What happened, man? All these failed puzzles. Yo, we're throwing for the RNG. That's what we're doing. The solvers are lying? Either that or they're coping. <laughs> Nice. Well, you know, we tried. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Bad line on top. Aren't these supposed to be the top player's briefing is top player? The rest of us are trying our best. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, I think it's safe to say it doesn't really matter when we're in floor threes. Like, who cares? 
Now, if briefing was in my party for a floor six or a floor seven, then people can be like, well. So apparently Blaze Solver and BLC is bugged right now, according to one guy in chat, and perhaps multiple people who have trusted it only to be um, disappointed in my party. I actually need floor three comps for Skyblock XP. Well, fair enough. So everybody wins. I need it for collection. <laughs> Bank rejuvenates, hot potato book, bank. Ultimate wise rejuvenate. Nice. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Hey, RNG carried the virus. Thoughts on ice spray on sixth kill? That sounds pretty RNG to me. I don't know if I'd even eat. Mm. <clears throat> you know, I was going to say a sentence and then it got interrupted by me remembering that one time that, um, that I was in a dungeon party with Cookie No Rookie and he got a 50 out of 50 ice spray wand and everybody freaked out. And I didn't know the significance of that at the time, but now I know and holy crap. Okay, I'm stuck in this room because my navigation sucks. Ow. <laughs> Bro, why is my... How do I leave? The layouts of dungeons, man. Confuses me. There we go. That's what I wanted. There needs to be a mod that auto closes chests for you. Or is that considered cheating? It'd be nice if you could auto close chests. It's like annoying having to do it manually. Yeah, it's probably not good to have a mod that does that. Up. Oh! Sorry if I caused that. I might have. Let me go to this other room that is not occupied at the moment. Oh, it's a melon room, I think. No, it's not. Is it? It is. No, it, yes. I believe this is a melon room. Okay, doesn't matter. Did you see how Refraction's video about Technoblade had... Wait, I said that wrong. Did you see how YouTube's video about Technoblade had Refraction's voice in it? I didn't hear Cal in that video. I watched it and I was like, thinking to myself the whole time, why are they not talking about Techno's experience with Skyblock? But then they left in the one clip of him saying Skyblock. So I was like, okay. I didn't hear Cal's voice though. I, I'd have to rewatch it. But yesterday was a, a lot of content around techno because the um, the Mr. Beast video came out with um, him in it. First minute. Oh. <laughs> S plus. Let's go. No recon. Uh, ooh, ultimate wise there though. Ooh, vile rejuvenate too. I don't know if that's worth 500k. Probably not. I don't need vials anymore for sus. So I think I'm just gonna get this. I don't need vials. We're going to be doing Dargons anyways. So. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way that Sus is comparable to um, Fabled, right? On Katana. No Sussy still. <laughs> well, I'm going to get one eventually. I'm going to do enough Floor 3s. I'm just here for recoms, honestly. 
I'm magic. Sus is amazing. <laughs> I'm such a non. I really need to stop being so tempted to go for secrets right away, but I can't help it. I want to. <laughs> I'm not helping the party all that much in doing this. I'm sorry. Getting like four secrets in this room. Wait, ah. Maybe I'm the fish brain because I see secret waypoints and I go, oh, I want it. Okay. What happened to playing with people on your level? Uh, floor three happened. I don't. Floor three is the floor that is far below my skill set, and honestly, at this point, it doesn't matter. I've proven I can survive the floor. It doesn't affect progression really all that much. The only argument you could make is that people are clearing fast, but that's about it. So who cares? It's not a. It's not a skill issue, is what I'm saying. Or no, it, it's not a level issue. Is that what I'm trying to say? It doesn't make a big difference. It just makes things better content. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, that secret was already gotten. Alrighty then. Oh, waterboard. That looks fun. I guess now we wait. Yeah, we already got one recon. That's good news. Two more and then the floodgates open in mining then it's like well the only thing left for me is heart of the mountain so like or just getting something better than gauntlet but you know that's i don't have time to do that In the process of mining the ruby for the coin, I am technically going to be powder grinding. So that's good. I mean, some more dwarven powder or dwarven powder, some mithril would be nice. But it's not going to make that big a difference. I'm pretty close to max if I reset my tree and go all in on speed and fortune. Yes, there it is. Recom number two. Let's go. These are happening so fast. I just got a second freaking recom. GG. Ah, oh, dead. It's perfect. It's it perfect. Oh, good. The RNG's back. Hey, chat. You want to see something crazy? The title is about to become real. <sighs> oh, the title is officially real. Full. Recommed, jaded, chambered, max, perfect, gemstone, jaded. I already said jaded. Helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots of divine. This is the best mining armor in the game, and it's done. There is nothing I could do to make it better at mining. Uh, no uh, growth of prod six or seven. Sorry. But there it is. Now we just need one more recom for artifact of power. And then at that point, the only way I can make my mining fortune better with just straight up money is um, recomming the equipment, which no. <laughs> Completely maxed armor, dude. Freaking crazy. A hey, briefing, I, I trust your opinion on this. Should I just focus on like getting white check marks in every room, just rush everything, kill the mobs, and then just like not even get a single secret until that's done? Is that the way to go?
He said yes. All right, that's the plan, chat. We're not getting a single secret until every room has a check mark. Except for... Oh. So apparently BLC lies. Apparently. All right. So it starts at the top, which means I should be attacking the highest health. It appears to be the highest health. Yes. Okay. So far, so good. That also appears to be the correct answer. 2-9. That also appears to be the correct answer. It appears that the mod isn't screwing up right now. 22. We're... Yeah, we're fine. Then it should be this one. Then it should be this one. Just making 100% sure, bro. <laughs> Well, my BLC did not screw up that time. So that's a thing. Crimson's just bad. <laughs> Sorry, Crimson. <laughs> okay, uh, those secrets are already in progress. So we're going to go for this room secrets. Did we already get 300 score? Wow. Wow, I only got one secret that run bad. <laughs> I'm a parkour duels main. I don't play Skyblock. <laughs> ah, I believe you. <laughs> so I only have the coin for one more recon, right? We'll never know. <laughs> Bro, I'm number two on the leaderboard. I have receipts. I got two secrets. Hey, well, it's... Briefing is the authority in this party on dungeons everything. And I, I asked him, should I just get a, a check mark in every room? And he said, yes. And that is what most people have been saying. So... So maybe I just need to be faster. Well, the thing is, we're also getting a high score in 4-3 isn't that hard. So, of course, I'm not going to get a lot of secrets before we go. But this is a disappointing arrangement. Um, I guess I'm just getting rejuvenated then. Reparty. Use Kismet Feathers. Ah, yes. The best use of my bits. Only for handle, chat. Only for handle. What if I end up getting handle like exceedingly early and I don't have the wither catalyst to actually craft any blades? That would be sad. That would be very sad. Where am I? Ah! I fell down the well. check mark in this room but um every time i see this room it's gonna be just a slight amount of downtime so i can get these journal entries i want them i want the completion sorry <laughs> only one room left actually so you know i'm just gonna start uh doing secrets now mm -hmm. can't see where where huh? where am i Oh, it's this room. Okay. I need to go this way. Or not, briefing's already there. Ah! I'm too slow! Ah, yes, well, I'll do this room. This is one of the first rooms I actually learned, like, before the waypoints. I remember. I have a good... I have fond memories of learning this room. This was like the, the first time that I felt like I was in control of my dungeons experience. And it's 7 out of 7. All right. <laughs> okay, so when people say clear before secrets, they just mean the check mark, not actually killing all the mobs, right? Because that would take way too long. I mean, it's 
Just gotta make sure. <laughs> and red. Gauntlet of Tin Contagion. True, but we're in such a low floor, it doesn't matter. Clearing all the mobs doesn't matter. Oh, I know it doesn't matter in score, but maybe people recommend it because you get knocked around by arrows when you're trying to get the secrets. I don't know. I don't know, man. People have their reasons. Two recom so far. Very good RNG. Very, very good RNG. Oh my god! Tiny briefing! <laughs> I, I can't see it because I'm not using the mod. It's too bad that it doesn't work in BLC. That'd be funny. But if you guys don't know, I don't remember which mod it is, but one of the mods, it uh, has an RNG chance for briefing to show up as like a mini version of himself. Okay, you know what? These are kind of rare. I don't know. I don't know. It's not worth it, man. You know, what? it's not worth it. I'm never going to use it. And by the time that I care about museum completion with that, I'll have money and yeah, it's fine. We're, we're going to skip on it this time. I'll be doing more than enough floor threes. We don't need adaptive armor for any reason other than museum. So I'm not going to get it. It's better than your dragon leggings. Even if that's the case, I don't care. We're going straight to Shadow Assassin Juju once we get the chance. Briefing cleared one to three rooms and got five seats. What do you mean one to three room? <laughs> Half of that run I spent trying not to step on anyone's toes because it was like they're already in the room getting secrets. So I had to find my own room. <laughs> Oh, Briefing's not cat of 50? Oh, no, no, no. He is cat of 50. He's just not class level 50 for whatever class he's playing right now. Where the eggs is this room? I feel like at this point, the limiting factor is my navigation skills. Like... Okay, I know I said I was going to get all the check marks, but like that part of my brain that's like, ooh, shiny secrets. It, it's like this room, I have to get these secrets because I, I know them so well and they're so easy and I just, I have to do it. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to do it. I'm obligated to get the secrets in this room because I already know it. Anyways. Um, okay, all the rooms are open except for one, so I might as well just start doing secrets. You know what, since I'm not the one with Hyperion, maybe it would make sense if I did just go straight for Seekers. Me personally, right? Because there's like three people in the lobby that are hype mages. So like, let them get all the check marks in like three seconds anyways, and I'll just get Seekers. Like, that role to play makes the most sense for my gear. Because I'm not teleporting around killing everything instantly. You know what I mean? That. Maybe it is better if I just go straight for secrets in a room, just because everyone else is faster at clearing. Maybe, maybe I'm just noob. This is also very possible. That secret didn't have waypoint, but I remembered because I don't know. I'm learning, I suppose. You should do daily floor sixes because kata xp i only have one goal right now and it's to get recoms i don't care about anything else there's already someone in this room getting secrets already five out of six secrets here we're probably just about ready to go in unless we fail the puzzle here we are. Yep. Wow, Blaze was actually completed. That's so epic. 
I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Is this the same name of the stream as yesterday? Well, I didn't stream yesterday. You mean the stream from two days ago? In which case, yes, it is the same stream name. Because um, that stream was a failure. The connection problems made the stream unwatchable. Well, actually, that's not true. I did play COD Zombies, but for a lot of people, that was unwatchable because it was Call of Duty and not Minecraft, which is disappointing, but it makes sense. Hot potato book, rejuvenate, ultimate wise. Ooh. Ultimate wise wisdom, I'll take. I'll take it then. Even though I'm not getting the recoms right away, all these wisdom uh, ultimate wises. Mm. Give me two minutes. Dog need bathroom. Okay. Not the problem. Not the problem. We can, uh, we can work around that. Wow. Someone just pulled a recom. Cool. There are so many books. Wow. Might as well salvage all this crap. Yeah, 100k for uh, Wisdom Ultimate Wise. That's a that's a great deal. I'll take that any day. Let's salvage all the garbage. Assuming that none of this is gear that's actually mine. It's not. Oh, a silent death. Do I have one of those in the museum? I might not. Let me let me make sure. Let me make sure I don't have one at museum already. Silent death. I didn't. Ah, good good brain. It it worked. Good. Hmm. Okay, and uh, now we have a bunch of books. Thirty. What armor did you use to fish for Devon? I know what you mean, but like, <laughs> you mean to fish for the worm membranes for the chambers for the Devon? This. Mugma liking slug boots, shark scale chest plate, and helmet. Ammo knife pet, uh, rod swapping between this magma rod and this rod of the sea. Um, I was using fish bait. I was using tonic. Is there anything else I did, chat? Any um, any other details that I'm not mentioning? Oh, I put my beacon on sea creature chance and my enrichments on sea creature chance. Right. I had like five enrichments at the sea creature chance. Streaming off VPN? Yeah, I have to. Briefing's ready. Good. No more downtime. Apparently shift clicking the chest to open it um, makes it not open the inventory, but that's really annoying to do. I think I should just embrace it at this point. I can't like teleport around enough and clear fast enough with such a small dungeon that I might as well just go for secrets. Embrace it. I might as well. I might as well embrace it and just, oh, there's Duncan. Hello, Duncan. There's a journal entry. Hello. I will always downtime a few seconds for that. I don't think that's worth. <laughs> to be honest, 1.5 mil? Nah. Oh, hello. You playing COD again today? No, that was just a backup because literally nothing was working on stream, but now everything's working again. Except my brain, apparently, and my aim. But those things usually don't work, and we work around it.
I love Spirit Scepter, dude. I think getting Spirit Scepter made my dungeons experience at least three times less toxic. Would highly recommend. Where's the exit? It's over here. These dungeons and their annoying navigation. Missed the start of the stream because of work. Hey, you can always go back. There's DVR. Not much happened in dungeons other than the two recom drops. So you could like rewatch the first 10 minutes of stream and come back. That's when all the content happened. It was more like the first 30 minutes. The EU proxy problems learned how to swim. <laughs> I mean, isn't that a reference to like World War Z or some zombie movie? They're learning how to swim. <laughs> I don't remember which thing that's from, but it's from something. Oh, it might be from Jurassic Park, actually. They're learning how to swim. <laughs> Does anyone know what that's from? I don't even know what that's from, and I made the reference. Ah. Adaptive helmet, wow. Vial, wow. Actually, it's not a bad deal for 250k. I'll take it. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Oh, you might be right, actually. I think you might be right. It's cloudy with a chance of meatballs. What a random reference that my brain came up with. That's hilarious. <laughs> They're learning how to swim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the living food. Well, it's the second one, right? That's great. Did you get the witch mask? No, the game bugged. But apparently, Hypixel's planning on adding more ways to get witch mask. So that's a thing, I guess. Bloodrooms open. Nice. this way oh it's this room i'm gonna steal some secrets no i'm too late <laughs> i almost stole some secrets from uh from briefing there very sad i was too slow oh yeah, that wasn't briefing stupid wow look at oh it's already four out of four see i'm just too slow like i'm doing everything right it's just i'm doing it too slow <laughs> I can't catch up. <laughs> like, I know what I'm doing. I know the order in which to do it. But, like, by the time I get there, someone else already did it. What the hell? you <laughs> skill gap <laughs> i'm getting roasted by the party you're doing great don't worry i see potential do you now i don't know i've been at this for three years it might be time to lose hope <laughs> to be fair i never cared about dungeons progression up until skyblock levels and iron man so maybe something will change 
dungeons has played a very small part of my skyblock experience historically Getting some decent skyblock XP at least. He uses three fourths wise crystal for mana and goggles. I don't know which goggles. No, that's not right. This is three fourths young dragon with shadow goggles. I stopped using crystal a long time ago and I never used it in dungeons. If I did use it in dungeons, it was very brief because it's awful. I used my first dungeon set that I actually used regularly was like three fourths tank armor or heavy armor with um dark goggles i believe crystal i stopped using a very long time ago okay can we not with this stupid navigation how do i get through there ah Oh, it's this room. I'd love to see it, actually. Wait. The chest isn't even there. I'm stupid. The chest is on this side. A dumb. I did that way too slow. There we go. Hello. <laughs> I love ghost pick. It's a good bug. I do like it. Oh, wait, there's stairs here. Hey, chat, you want to see something funny? Whoa, 30 virus cheating. Oh, man, that was so cool. Hacker man. <laughs> I am such a cheater. <laughs> Hacker man. Apparently there's a lever somewhere, but I can't see it. Oh, it's over here. I'm dumb. Now, how do I? Oh, it's right here. Ow. No, 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 no. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Trap? How did I just get... Ow. There's three people in Trap right now. I don't think I would help much, but... Why am I getting so hurt? Gotta stop running around aimlessly. <laughs> Spirit sculpture is very underrated. <laughs> Spirit sculpture, huh? <laughs> I did blaze. So chat, what do you like more? My uh when my hair was longer or the way it is now? Which Oh! I don't care which because recom! <gasps> recom number three acquired! Well, there you go. Goal accomplished. We did it. We did it! Oh, beautiful. Well, I'm sorry to say, people in the party, but I have run out of coin. <laughs>
Well, I have like three mil left, but that's about it. Um, briefing left the party. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I think for at least right now I'm done. Maybe later in the stream we could do some floor sixes for the funsies. Um, well, it'd have to be a different party, actually, now that I think about it, because carry rules. But um, but yes, we have accomplished our our goal. We got our third recom. Absolutely wicked. As briefing would say. Okay. <laughs> so here's the moment of truth. Artifact of power. Bump and boop. Oh, that's a whole plus four mining speed and plus five mining fortune. Oh boy, and a bunch of other stats as well. Now, it's going to get another rarity upgrade when I max out all the gems, which is literally going to happen tomorrow. Because all the gems are here, as you're about to see. They're all in the forge. They're all here. As you can see, we're gonna max it out. As a matter of fact, we're only one gemstone away from maxing out the talisman and the gauntlet. It's freaking crazy. All right, so we're gonna go here. I, I suppose it's time to put away our dungeon stuff. Because goal accomplished. So zombie sword will put there. This will put here. That'll put here. We also got a sus vial. Which I'm going to save for later. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> I'm going to start the rumor that Briefing loves to say wicked. <laughs> oh, no. See, this is what I get now. Wait, am I still in the lobby? Oh, I'm still in the lobby. Nice. I thought I got kicked. Don't say that. <laughs> Amogus. Yeah, I can't do anything about... Hmm. I got kicked when trying to join my island. Let's get rid of this. We have our sus... What next? Um, We're going to see all the books that I got. Which should mostly be uh, Wisdom and Rejuvenate and Ultimate Wise, which is great. Because all three of which we need for Enderman Slayer. Um... We're going to see what we can do to max out our armor even more. Oh, look at this, dude. Most of the books are books that I need. Oh, there's a Rejuvenate 2 in there. Dude, only three of the books were stuff that I didn't want. All of this I need. That is so good. Oh. Oh, that's nice. All right, so we're going to make... We're going to make all sorts of books right now. Rejuvenate three, first of all. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, let's check up with our final destination. See what we need. That has rejuvenate three. So if I can um, combine this, I suppose I can make a rejuvenate four boot here. Nice. Let's see. Rejuvenate three as well on the leggings. So let's see if we can get another rejuvenate three, perhaps we can we are slowly getting stronger very good um what else we have another one there another one there if we have rejuvenate two on anything we can upgrade it we do not okay so we'll just put that in the chest, I suppose. Or we can check up and see what else we have here. Any rejuvenates? A uh, no. Okay. We do have some ultimate wises, though. So we have three items that we need to upgrade with ultimate wise. First of all, Wand of Atonement. Second of all, Void Edge Katana. Third of all, AOTE. Well, actually, Zombie Sword as well. Hmm. We'll see what level of ultimate wise I can manage. Ooh, that's an ultimate wise two. That's an ultimate wise three. If we get two more ones, then that's four. Nice. Ultimate wise four right there. Oh, now the question is, what do we put that on? 
We only have three wisdom books. That's disappointing. Yeah, zombie sword doesn't use a lot of mana, so I'm not really all that inclined to use it. Do I put it on Wand of Atonement? Or do I put it on the Katana? The Katana uses up more mana, but it also probably won't keep it for long. I'm kind of tempted to put it on the Wand of Atonement, honestly. Most people are saying Wand. All right, we'll put it on Wand. I know Katana technically would be a better value, but I just want to max this thing out. <laughs> oh. oh, that's actually a pretty decent um, amount of mana right there that we're saving. It's like roughly 20 mana saved per right click. Which, you know, doesn't sound like much, but that's on top of all the other buffs we've gotten so far. I might need more grants. Well, now money's not a problem anymore because mining setup, so I'm not even all that sad. Let's just spend 600k on grants, shall we? Well, I'm only going to buy a stack because I don't want to take up more space in the ender chest. Vorpal Katana win. When I can consistently kill T3s, which... I think after Scorpius and like the dozen talismans I'm gonna buy will be very easy. Oh, it's only 300k a stack. Very good. I love that NPC, dude. It's so good. Oh, I should probably unpin Comet. There we go. Okay. Uh, how many levels did I need? 161. Not that bad. Ultimate wise five, one of atonement. Boom. Nice. I guess next we're putting another ultimate wise on the katana, most likely. <laughs> and then another one on AOTE. And then that's going to be pretty much it for all of that. Um, I don't think there's any other. Then I guess I'd put it on zombie sword just because I can. It's not going to make that big a difference. So now we have one more ultimate wise, three wisdom. What else we have? We have a Wisdom 3, Wisdom 4, Wisdom 3. Nothing on this. On the legging, the boots. I can't speak. Wisdom 2. Is the best I can manage Wisdom 2 right now? That's kind of sad. It looks like it, unless I have books lying around somewhere. Oh, I got two Prot 6s off camera, by the way. Just want to point that out. Yeah, it's looking like Wisdom 2 is the best I can manage, so... I need XP. Midas Staff? Yeah, but I'm going to be running a lot of dungeons, so I don't mind spending the books I have right now entirely on Enderman Slayer. Nice. So now, when I have 100 levels, let's see just how much mana I have when I'm holding the katana. Because this is what's... This is the situation I'm going to be in. Well, actually, that's not true. I'm going to be dialed in for um, strength and crit damage. So this is a little misleading. Let's see if I do my typical Enderman Slayer setup, which I believe was bloody. And then I had my tuning points in whatever I needed the most of. So we have 563 strength. That is awful. Oh, yeah. Enderman pet. Uh, you. So that means, okay, we should be putting our tuning points into strength for sure. And bonus attack speed as well. Some of it. If we go back to the island, we'll set our beacon to probably also strength. Yeah. Well, actually, bonus attack speed would be better from Beacon. That's right. What's this set to right now? Bonus attack speed. Perfect. Okay. So, while I'm holding the Katana, 57% bonus attack speed. Now, if you guys remember, Vivacious Darkness gives you 20 bonus attack speed. So, take whatever this number is, add 20. That is 60, 77% bonus attack speed. We need to hit 82. That's the effective max for a sword. So that means we need to hit 62 
Does this give any bonus attack speed? It does because it's spicy. Should I put, um, mm, spicy gives me bonus attack speed. So here's the question. Do I put sus on it now or do I wait until I get fabled? Is it that big a difference? It probably is. I just want to hear chat's opinion because I could, I could put sus on it right now. Fabled, I'm not going to be able to put on it for a while. I know Dirty gives attack speed. But no, it gives ferocity, doesn't it? Sus is crit damage, and you don't need crit damage. Well, it's still stats, though. I can put all my tuning points into strength, and it even it out somewhat. Fabled is better because a lot of hits. So most people are just saying, wait. Withered is better? Not for me. I don't have a high cata level. If I was cata 50, then yeah. Dirty's just not a good reforge. No, not for Enderman Slayer. Chat, stop trying to give me bad advice. Anything that increases your ferocity is bad for Enderman because it literally has, like the boss has an ability that reduces your ferocity. So I just leave it for now then. This is just a test, by the way. I'm not going to be grinding T3s all that much. I just want to see. I just want to see what I have. All right, so I guess uh, we're just going to put some tuning points into bonus attack speed. I believe 20 points is what I did last time. Let's see how that holds up now. Yeah, 63. That, that's fine. That's fine. So that's 83 once I use Vivacious Darkness. That's perfect. Then we have these two books left over, which I can put back in the chests. Where's the... Oh. So we have wisdom. I'll put bank up here, I suppose. And then we'll have ultimate wise. Rejuvenate, ultimate wise wisdom. Yes. So anyways, uh, this seems to be the best bet. Now we have like... Okay, Chad, do you want to test out a T3? I guess we're not putting sus on it. So let's see, it gives 7% um, crit chance, 85% crit damage, increases weapon damage by 15. I don't know, chat. This vial is worth like 150k. Why not? Why don't I just put it on now? Like, who cares? I'll put Fabled on it again later, but honestly... I think sus might be a good idea for at least the moment. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just, let's go all out. Why not? I want to see how high our damage I can go. I know that's for legendary. The ability is uh, the same for um, epic though. Let's just do it. Screw it. Let's see what it is on this. Plus 65... Whereas this gets plus 60, so it gives five more crit damage. No bonus attack speed, but it has the suspicious bonus, which is really, really good. Base attack is, um, bonus. At <laughs> Making the base weapon damage higher is an insane buff. That's why fumings are so good. Okay. Now let's fix our bonus attack speed again because it went down. Okay, so it's 56 now, which means we need another 6. Ooh. So I might need to... 1, 2, 3... 40 points I gotta put in that, and then the rest in strength. So my stats are definitely more lopsided. But I do have more of them. We should be so much stronger against T3s now. Because, like, the last time I tried it, I'm pretty sure I didn't even have Wisdom on the armor. Now I have at least Wisdom... Okay, almost at least Wisdom 3 for every piece. 4 on this piece. An average of Wisdom 3 on the whole set, if you think about it. Because this one's 4, this one's 2. So an average of Wisdom 3 on the whole set. Then I have um, Rejuvenate 5, 4, 4, 4... So a ton more uh, healing. I've fixed the reforge. Now it's suspicious. I have more magic power, some more tuning points. 
I also put ultimate wise on every healing item that I have. So now, well, not overflux because you can't do that. Um, the wand is ultimate wise five. Okay, there's like a million people crowding around me because I'm on Nick and it's making my anxiety flare up and I don't want it. Nick random. Sorry, I don't make a good celebrity. I don't like when people are just like, imagine you're just like, <laughs> imagine you're just walking around and you see people going like this all the time. It's like staring you in the face. It's like, ah, get out of my face. I don't like this. You forgot a damage test. It's fine. I was doing like 100k, 110k damage a hit to Enderman, I believe. Now, is there anything else I need in my hotbar? Chat's just like, eh. <laughs> yeah, isn't, doesn't that make you uncomfortable? Chat it makes me uncomfortable. I think this is it. This is the setup. I don't think there is anything I... I do this. Nightmare fuel. <laughs> I think this is the way to go. Am I missing anything? Oh, right. Hurricane buffer hits face. Oh, and um, Necromancer sword for summons. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. There we go. The ideas are flooding in. Um... I've already forgotten what... Oh, Hurricane Bow. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, technically, we're not done, actually. Equipment. So, this is the best mining equipment in the game. But it's not the best for Enderman Slayer. I'm actually going to put this here. Maybe we should make, like, a... Well, we already have the best setup, almost. Minus recoms for Enderman Slayer. Magma Necklace is useless. So, I'm thinking I get a second Ender Necklace. And I put like strengthened on it or something that would make the most sense right i'm pretty sure that would be the best bet let's get ourselves another ender necklace and then put strengthened on it because it also the stats get doubled while on the end island so that's probably our best bet obviously the ideal would be a molten necklace but like i don't have one so we're gonna get the next best thing <laughs> Let's see if I can get an Ender Necklace, huh? Ender Leggings. The boss is holding a beacon. The boss that I'm not fighting. Ender chest plate. Can someone go back to the stream where I was fighting Enderman T3 when I got the completion and see how much mana I had? I'm pretty sure it's like in the 900 to like 1000 range and we're at 1600 mana right now, which is awesome. That's insane. If we increased our mana by like 600, that's going to be awesome for the fight and everything's cheaper to use. So like this should be so much less awful. 981 really that's good that's insane that's 640 more well 639 you know what i mean that's a lot more intelligence a, a lot more smart ender helmet and chest plate ender necklace perfect that's what we needed uh sacrifice the rest i don't need it why is someone fighting a t2 down there <laughs> Weird champ. All right, let's just uh, let's sacrifice some garbage. Yeah. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I was holding Scepter. Damn. You know, I just realized, yeah, I only ended up gaining like 160 intelligence maximum. Oh, that's a lot more disappointing. It was because I was holding the Scepter. Well, hold on, actually. Wait, by that same logic, I should be holding this. 
Okay, so we have like, eh, like 250 more mana. That's a whole lot less. Oh, hold on. I didn't sacrifice this. Whoops. No. Oh, that's what happened. You can't shift click player heads around or helmet items around. Oh, didn't mean to waste that. Okay. Why were you there? So yeah, it's it's a lot more underwhelming. It's like eh, 250 more intelligence. Still good though. Still good. Okay. We gotta get strengthened on the Ender Necklace, which I believe is a Magma Cream collection item. I don't remember. How do you get strengthened? Me. Yeah, Searing Stone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh. Oh, Magma Trunks aren't that hard to get anymore because they nerf the health on the mobs and I'm just stronger in general. The Lion Builder. Thank you for the one. Okay. So that... The magma chunks is the thing I need more of. Um, magma chunks. How many of these do I... Oh, I already have enough. That's pog. Cool. We don't even have to kill things. Now, we do need enchanted netherrack, but that takes like three seconds to get, especially with all my fortune. The Game, do you mind uh, not scaring me, please? Let's switch to my divine. I have a feeling the mining fortune doesn't work on netherrack, but whatever. It's fine. Does mineral work on netherrack? It does. Hey, chat, I want to see my full jaded mineral armor. Wow. <laughs> you know, if I was like crazy, then I could recom that just to make it faster for me to get gold collection. Hey, chat, do people do that? Do they recom their full jaded mineral armor to get gold faster? Is that a thing? I feel like that's a thing. <laughs> of course it is. A lot of people do that. Hmm. Not recommed? Not interested. <laughs> uh... All right, I'll consider it. First of all, they don't use full mineral. Okay, fair. <laughs> That's funny. First of all. Does snail pet work on netherrack? I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't need much of this. Three forts recon mineral and Devon chest plate. Sounds about right. The problem is for right now, it would make more sense for me to just, once I get all the Scorpius items, then I don't need to be so crazy about getting coin. Like, we could take a break with mining. Then I think it would make the most sense for me to probably hop back in the dungeons, get a ton more recoms, which I guess actually does mean more money. <laughs> and then um, get as much magic power as possible so I can start doing, like, Blaze Slayers and, like, consistent T3s, which means I can get Vorpal, which means maybe I can start working on T4s. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably not until I get a Necron Blade, let's be honest. I think I'd have to focus on dungeons. So I'd go, I'd run floor five till I get Shadow Assassin Chestplate. I'd max that set out. Get Juju Shortbow from T3s. Run floor seven at least once. Do some master mode with that. Get a ton of Kata XP. Um, or just run a bunch of floor sevens. I don't know how useful I'd be as a Juju Archer though. Unlocking Master Mode Floor 1, I feel like, would be a big play because it'd be a ton of Kata XP for not a lot of effort because they're so short. Because you can really just grind a ton of completions. Maybe, maybe I'm overemphasizing how much Kata XP M1 is. I haven't looked at the numbers, but that's my guess. Okay, that's probably enough Netherrack. Gonna need it in Personal Compactor. Mm -hmm. 
How much do I need? Oh, that's enough. Hello. Searing stone. Bonk. Just getting a little anxious there for a second. Oh, let's reforge this. Richie Min 3M3R. Thank you for the one pound. Hmm. You missed some donos? What else did I miss? The Lion Builder. Thank you for the one euro. With no message. So that's the only dono I missed. Good, good. We're uh, up to date. All right. Uh, now, Ender Necklace. Plus five strength. Wow. It's going to be plus 10 strength while in the, on the end island. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, you know what? I'm also going to get plus 12 defense and plus 30 health. Wow. Eh, you know, it's better than nothing. Well, it's better than Magma Necklace, that's for sure. So I think we're set to go with trying to do some T3 Enderman. I just want to see how easy it is compared to before because I have so much more mana. And you know, I've upgraded some talismans as well, so I might actually have more defense. Now, if this is still a struggle, the next step is going to be getting Fabled on the Katana instead of Sus. Um, getting 25k kills on the chest plate, which is about to happen anyways. And the helmet, which is not about to happen. So that's going to be a little yikes. Uh, then I'd have to find ways to increase my damage some more, which is a problem because like... That's not going to happen unless I upgrade the sword, which I can't do until I can kill T3s because null atoms. So I think if T3s are still a struggle, then obviously I'm going to have to still wait until Scorpius. Get Hegemony Artifact, get Ender Artifact. Oh, Ender Artifact. Ender Artifact. Right. I forgot about that. We are buying Ender Artifact when Scorpius comes. It's not related to Scorpius, but I might as well get it at the same time. Nether Artifact. Um, Wither Artifact. There are multiple talismans I want to get. Jacobus Register. Again, not related, but it's coin. So I'm going to grind for the coins to get it. <clears throat> There's a solid, like, I would say 200 magical power that I'm probably just going to suddenly get like a week and a half from now <laughs> i'm not even exaggerating and i might just get some extra coin and run more floor threes to get recoms to you know recom all that stuff so that's the plan that's the plan that's the reason why i've gone all in on mining but yeah we'll see for right now though i have to get i'm gonna get a soda i got the new one chat uh, let me know what you think i'll be back in a second Returned. And um, remember how I said the Diet Mountain Dew tasted like cleaner? Well, apparently they have a zero sugar that I, um, not sponsored, obviously, but I've tried it and it tastes a lot better. Tastes much closer to the real thing. Hmm. But yeah, it's, um, imagine being thirsty virus can have soda whenever you want but it has to all be diet no calories <laughs> um okay 
We have everything handled, I believe. Technically, the Ender Necklace is also an upgrade since last time. We didn't have a good necklace for damage. So let's give it T3 a try. We gotta get the Abbey Phone. Okay. Oh, here we go. We also have the summons as well, which I could technically also use ultimate wise, but they're cheap. Oh, didn't they nerf Wither Spectres? Chad, did I heard that they nerfed Wither Spectre Souls. Is that gonna be a problem? Is that gonna be a big problem? I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that's gonna be a problem. I heard from somewhere they nerfed it. I, I don't know. Use Hypixel Soul? Too expensive. All right, here we go. It's time to try out another T3 kill. We have the completion, but it wasn't easy. Oh, wait. Let's do it in the Bruiser area. Why not? I don't know what it's called, but I know the Bruiser Zealots are there. And that's the place to be doing this now post update the bruiser hideout is that what it's called the void wait wait i think yeah zelda bruiser hideout this is the place to be uh doing slayer for now for this stage of the game for me wow there's no one in the lobby that's surprising i have to pay close attention so that i don't spawn the boss too early i want to have full mana at the start of the fight Oh! <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow! Look at that, chat! I got, I got a, uh, uh, something. I. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Sure. Aren't you carried? Ah, see, this is a problem. Running out of mana. Big surprise. I do a lot of health. I do a lot of damage by slapping him with this, actually. I could probably just... How much does this do to a regular Enderman? 120,000 damage. That's about the same as it was. But now I have a ton more mana. Should be very helpful. I'm trying not to consume all that much. Okay, boss is spawning soon. So I think what I'm gonna do is go over here because it's the flattest spot. Do I bother? Do I help the man? I'm not gonna help the man. I'm just gonna sit and watch him. What? Why are you standing here? Don't tell me you're waiting as well. That would be annoying. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to get carried if I do this. I don't want that to happen. I'm changing lobbies, actually. <laughs> I just want to have a fair fight. All right? I don't want people sniping me. And be, oh, I'm going to help you. No, stop. I want to see if I can genuinely do it. And I should be able to because I have much better gear now. Okay. Is 
77, 78, 79, 80. I'm getting sniped. I'm getting sniped. So we're gonna place that and then we're gonna oh not good not good um no man a dead right off the freaking bat because i placed the overflux all right no we should be fine Ooh. don't you dare don't touch Get out of the way! No healing wand necessary so far. That's crazy. Can't see. Mod's not working. Ooh. Ooh. Orb died. The head. So many bruisers. I can't see any heads because the walls are obsidian. It makes it hard to see. There's one right there. I got it. That was actually easy. fight wasn't even that bad yo do i hear consistent t3s do i hear consistent t3s it was a mana problem the whole time big surprise just like i freaking thought but wow that obsidian makes it hard to see no that's coal blocks okay okay 110 percent i need to make an overlay that turns all these blocks into a color that is more contrasty i can't see the heads because this is just unless there's a thing in bad line that highlights the heads there might be hold on let me look uh void void gloom skull highlight that is a thing it wasn't working but it's a thing Skull alert. Okay. There is when it works. That's the problem is it wasn't working. Which might be because we're in a new area that doesn't technically exist in bad line. I would have to do the fight in the sepulcher, I think. Which I don't have a problem with. I'll just spawn or I'll just get the kills here. And then I'll spawn it in the sepulcher. All right, let's try another one. Except this time we're going to do it in sepulcher so the mod doesn't break. Very good performance though. That that worked out really well.
Apparently I'm pronouncing it wrong. Big surprise. 30 virus mispronounced something? Unheard of. <laughs> so even without the crazy increase in magic power, like... <laughs> I'm still fine. Like, I actually can survive these fights just because I actually have mana now. Because I put ultimate wise on everything. And what's crazy too is I'm also going for... Um, what is it? Plasma Nucleus as well with Scorpius. So I'm going to get an even better orb soon. Well, assuming I can afford the other materials in the recipe, which I probably can. Get new souls, yours died. They did die. So, okay. I think my theory is correct. They did nerf uh, the, the Wither Spectre souls. Is there a replacement soul chat? Oh, wait, did they not? Maybe they didn't nerf the soul. Maybe just when they nerfed the health of the mobs. The souls, by extension, had less health. So it was an accidental change. Hmm. What's the replacement mob, then? Is there a mob that has a good amount of health that I can steal its soul? Undeads from any floor. I'm not getting dungeon souls. Those are annoying. Ah. <sighs> Barbarian souls from Barb Outpost. Those are hard to kill, though. Hmm. Wait. Am I mistaken? Do barbarians not have like a billion XP HP? Hold on, maybe I can steal their soul. How much HP do they have? Let me check up on this. How much health do you have? Oh, it's two mil. I could do that. Can you even get barbarian souls? I've never seen anyone do that. I mean, it's worth a shot, I suppose. Um, how much damage do I do? 41k a hit. That's not going to do it. This will do. Give me your soul. I want soul. Nope. You lost 25 barb reputation. You have to switch to my mage here. And pet. Server's lagging right now really badly. Ah! They're all attacking me at once! No soul. Bro, what is this lag? Hi, Pixel, please. I just want to fight Varklums, man! Ah, crap. I didn't mean to do that. I killed them too good. Ah! <sighs> This is annoying. Probably better off just... Holy lag. Hi, Pixel. What is wrong with you right now? Use Voodoo. It's easier. Oh, I forgot. I My alternate mage weapon's right. 
Oh my god, I can't open the inventory. Oh, it's so laggy! Ah! Please, I pixel. What or where? You know it's laggy when it breaks BLC. That's what I've noticed. Is when the server lags too bad, it breaks BLC. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this because of the new Kudra? This must be because of the Kudra thing. Ah, uh, where am I? I don't. I don't even know where I am. I, I, bro, leave, leave. Why am I in lava? What is this? What is this? This isn't even funny at this point. This is just stupid. Literally unplayable. I, I can't play. I cannot play right now. Are you good? Is your tan... Is your temper tantrum over, Hypixel? Can I play? Can I acquire barbarian souls? Doesn't look like it. I still don't even really know. I haven't confirmed if you can actually get these. Chat said to do it. You can. Give me this. Mine. That'll do. Oh, they're cheap, too. Okay. All right, all right. Nice. <laughs> you have any last words, barbarian? Nope. <laughs> Any more? This isn't me, by the way. The stream is fine. And this isn't even the proxy problem. This is literally just laggy lobby. Because I'm not getting kicked right now. Oh my god, is that a semblance of connection? <gasps> oh, let's go. There we go. Two barbarian souls. Let's see how those do in place of the Wither Spectre souls. Hopefully they should do well. Okay. Now let's see if they hold up. Uh, boop. Yeah, I think they have some, uh, some problems to iron out when it comes to... Um, Kudra, because it appears that Kudra is just lagging the crap out of Crimson Isle lobbies. You know what they should do? They should make it its own instance. If it's gonna be, like, a team-based thing anyways, might as well make it its own instance. Like, dungeons. Right? I mean... I don't know, man. That would make the most sense. What happens if I shove an Enderman into the portal? Will he teleport? Probably not. All right, we got to remember because of the, the walls being way too dark and the mods not working in the area, we're going to move to the sepulcher to spawn it. Oh, crap. Someone's going to try and kill that. That means I have to move fast. Okay, I gotta move fast. Before someone kills that mini boss, go to the sepulcher and kill a thing and spawn the thing. Eh, faster, go! Go, 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 Please. And then, kill this. Regenerate some mana. Here we go. Oh, souls. I didn't mean it. Oh, that crap. I replaced the orb. Didn't want to do that. All right, here goes. It appears to be fine. I think my mana regeneration and lack of consumption is actually so good now that I might not have to worry about it anymore.
Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. That hurt. That hurt. Why is that hurting so bad? Ow. I'm wearing the right armor. Oh, why am I getting so hurt? What the hell? It randomly did so much HP. Oh, didn't mean to hit you. And you're dead. Mod's working. That's good. That's good news. That means the heads are going to be more obvious as well. Didn't mean to... Ah, I keep doing that by accident, but you know what? I might have needed it anyway, so that's fine. Oh, oh, oh! Lag. Let's not do that. Oh, no. 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 Why am I getting so low? It's because I'm using a sheep! It's because I'm using a sheep! I'm still alive though! Wait. Uh. It's because I'm using a freaking sheep! Let me change pets. Let me change pets. I can't change pets. I have to finish this fight with the wrong pet. <gasps> no! It's a head. Oh my god. That's not the boss. That's the boss. Ah! Ah! No. I had the wrong pet. I had the wrong pet. I was actually close. <laughs> I was just in the wrong pet. No. And I couldn't switch because the stupid boss hits you from a mile away. I'm sad. <sighs> Where's some auto pet rules when you need them? Crap. I just spilled freaking soda on myself. <laughs> uh, I spilled soda on myself. This is just not working right now. Uh. Mm. <laughs> that was impressive though. That was an impressive performance. The fact that I almost survived that without Enderman Pet, which I've been leaning heavily on, is very impressive. At least the souls aren't dying anymore. That's good. Okay, let's try this again. Ah! Stupid virus moment. Wait, did I set the right... Okay, we're good. The auto pet rules are set properly. Ooh, that was satisfying. That neck crack, though. I wonder if I can one tap of this. I can't. Oh, this area is toxic. People stealing kills. Stop! No. Tempted to put warped on my AOTE, to be honest. Because <laughs> then I can actually, like, teleport and kill things without swapping slots. That might actually be kind of useful a little bit. Totally not worth, but I already have the warp stone, so eh, if I get another 5 mil. I don't have the five mil though, that's the problem. Poor virus. I already bought three recoms today, so our budget's kind of gone. Wait, why didn't I get combat XP for that? Did I not get combat XP for that mini boss? What happened? Hmm. 
I'm getting very little combat XP right now. Okay, we're going back to Sepulter. Okay, now that we have the auto pet rules set up, hopefully we should struggle a lot less. There we go. Okay. So now, why is this in my inventory? Why did it not just go straight into the sack? Game, why are you annoying? Is my question. Okay. Alright, we should struggle a lot less now. A lot less. This should be easy sauce now that we have the right pet. Just gotta remember to replace the orb. <laughs> yeah, like now I barely even have to use my healing wand. Ooh, now I'm now I'm taking damage. Gonna have to replace the orb in a few seconds. Mod broke. Oh, we're lagging, lagging, lagging. Service lagging. Service lagging. Oh my God, service lagging so bad. Please no. Keep me alive. It's lagging so bad. I still did it though. Holy crap, lobby! Please. Oh yeah, chat. Chat is um capping right now. Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, Badline's pet display doesn't work with auto pet. So it looks like wolf, but it's actually, it was Enderman the whole time. See, it's still, it's still, no, auto pet is not compatible with BLC's pet display. So no, you're actually, you're being lied to by the screen. It was, it was Enderman. That lag was awful. Why is it that? Okay, I think it's safe to say, if my auto pet works, which it does, we're fine. If I wanted to, I could auto slayer right now and grind T3s. I could. I would have no problem. I'd be fine. Proof of concept done. Which is awesome because now we can finally have a chance at our um, upgrading our sword. The biggest problem is clearly damage. Now defense, not really that big a deal. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because we don't have Ender Artifact or Vorpal Katana. So, like, both of those things are well within our grasp, which means that T3s are going to be a pushover, which is insanity. So, I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, proof of concept done. Easy. Now... In 45 minutes, we're finally going to be able to buy 10x maximum NPC stuff from Diaz, which is going to be very good. 
now i think the next thing i'm gonna do is um i think we should do a little bit of carrot farming perhaps because i really really want to get this ready i want to get maxwell as a contact so let's put all this stuff away we're not doing void glooms no more so let's put all this in here put that away this but yeah that was a really good proof of concept that was awesome like very very easy actually so good and we'll put that away we'll sell this as far as i remember mana seal is useless like you'd never want to use it but i might as well put it somewhere for now like i don't know here what is that that i just saw in the corner oh for a second i thought those were transmission tuners tuners and i was like did an admin just put those there Ooh, my my client's getting some lag at the moment not happy about that we're gonna need some of this mana steel on wither goggles first of all that doesn't work <laughs> because it's a weapon enchantment and second of all it doesn't stack with lifesteal. It's either lifesteal or it's mana steel. And that's why no one uses it, because it's awful. Anyways, um, there's mana regeneration as an enrichment, not an enrichment, um, attribute, which is way better. So let's go here. Carito. How expensive an upgrade is that? It's not too bad. It's only a stack of tickets, which I have. The problem is the carrots, though. Does this have replenish on it? It does. Very good. Mana steel on soul whip. Nah. It's just not good, man. Why on soul whip? Soul whip doesn't even... Oh, for random and slayer, right. Yeah, that could actually... You know what? That's not the worst usage. I was thinking of ghosts, which is the traditional use for it. Uh, let's get to the carrot part here. It's not even fully grown! Well, so much for that. We have to leave the island open for longer. Wow, the carrots aren't even done. You know what? We're gonna have to open islands so that the trunks are loaded. That's a... That's an L. Well... <laughs> never mind. Can't do that. We'll have to do that in like an hour. Maybe not an hour, but... Not now. Okay. Uh, what else could I do? Powder grinding? Is there a double powder? No, there isn't. I meant mana vampire on goggles. Well, I'm not putting any of those enchantments on these goggles on these goggles because i'm gonna get wither goggles at kata 28 which shouldn't be too long from now i'm kata 25 but i haven't been running like good floors i'm gonna double powder lobby for 15 minutes oh so i just gotta keep looking seven minutes i hate that cooldown thing it's so annoying You know, despite logging in with a VPN and not having the problem of, like, you know, Florida right now, it ain't that great in Chicago either. You know, Chicago, which is where I'm technically connecting from right now because of VPN, it's like, it's just gross. It's still bad. <laughs> All right, let's do some powder grinding. Heart of the mountain need heart of the mountain tree needs some work i don't know why i can't speak anymore dude i have problems with the speech at the moment you know i haven't tried connecting from my regular location like today i got the vpn yesterday and i just started using it today assuming that the same problems would persist so maybe florida's fine I haven't tried it. Maybe after stream, I'll try playing without VPN. Because I, 
ideally i don't want to have to resort to that because it's like it does affect my ping negatively not by much but it's like mm, i'm just glad i can at least stream with it because it means that i still have a career <laughs> so that's good Maybe just the whole network is having issues, which is very possible. Oh, come on, game. You see, like, that that was not me, right? That had to be the lobby. Also, let's see if I can do some double daily action here. Oh, yeah. Just a casual 10,000 mithril powder, or uh, gemstone powder. Getting some good powder right now. Oh, you know what I could also do? It's funny how it's called an Abbey Phone X Plus, despite literally being like the. I did it again. Despite being the cheapest Abbey Phone, it's still a plus for some reason. There we go. Some double, um, double daily mithril powder action there. Now I gotta find a patch of mithril. Is there a patch of mithril? There is right here. A literal block of it just in the pillar. Is that, does that not count? Or did I already get that one? Excuse me. Game. No, 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 no. You don't do that. No, no. No, no, no. I mined a piece of mithril during double daily pa Did I disable it? No. Where's my daily powder? Where's some mithril? What the hell? Why is this so rare? I could just be blind and I just walked past a ton of it. That is also possible. Treasure chest. Game, stop scamming me. I need my double daily for Mithril. Should probably switch to Skater as well. Hello? Thank you, Hypixel. You know what? If the game's gonna be difficult, I'm just going here. You want to be that way? Fine. Okay, the game's just not giving me double daily mithril for some reason. I must have mined it, like, late last night and just forgotten about it. I don't know. It doesn't matter all that much. If it's not giving it to me, that means that I got it already. Okay. I hate how Hypixel just punishes you for lag. That literally was not my fault. Bro, my lag, I keep getting disconnected. Florida internet is so bad. No, what's happening is that Cloudflare is experiencing some issues in Tampa that are unreported. I went on their website and looked it up. They're not reporting any issues in Miami. I think Miami is their data center. I could be wrong. No, it's Jacksonville is their um, data center, which is kind of crazy to me because Jacksonville, didn't they get hit by the hurricane? I don't remember. But anyways, I looked it up and they're not reporting any issues on Cloudflare's front, but there definitely are problems because uh, most people can't even log into Hypixel from Florida or at least that data center in Florida. So I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I got past it again using the VPN. I just I'm acting like I'm in Chicago right now and that's letting me in but Yeah, it's definitely not good Like Hypixel cannot do anything about it. They, they basically have to beg Cloudflare to do something 
Didn't you void your Skada? Why would I void a Skada? What? Where did you hear that? How is Chicago? Hey, you know what? It's treating me well. <laughs> As you can see, I'm in Chicago right now. I, I know the room looks almost exactly the same as my room in Florida. Almost exactly the same. I'm just an expert at setting up my streaming studio, which is so exciting. As you can see, literally just a black curtain in the background. I keep it simple on purpose so it's easy to replicate. But yeah, man. I haven't tried the pizza yet, but I heard it's unique. Nowhere near as good as New York pizza, but it's its own, I suppose. Chicago deep dish. You know, I want to try it, actually. Unironically, like, if I ever do go to Chicago, I want to see... I want to see how good the, the pizza casserole is, let's be honest. The cheese is under the sauce. That is very weird. But you know what? It might be good. I've never tried it, but it just seems very weird. I, I, I have a feeling I would probably prefer New York style pizza, though. <laughs> be honest Boom. thank you game How do you grind for so long and not get sick of it? Well, let's be honest, it's my job. I mean, how do people put up with being behind a cashier for eight hours a day? Right? It's because it's how I get paid. And to be honest, you know, it's not that bad. It's not really all that bad. I, and I get to talk to you guys too. Like, this is probably one of the most mentally stimulating jobs there is. Cause like, I get to talk to thousands of people. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's fun. I, I do like streaming. It's very fun. Money's a really good motivator. It is. But like, I don't really get that bored because I'm always talking to people. And when I'm doing the off camera grinds, I get to catch up on Netflix. Like I watched all of Stranger Things during the Foraging 33 grind. And probably uh, when I'm doing my 1 billion coin ruby mining thing over the next week, I need some shows to watch, chat. I'm thinking I finished Demon Slayer. I only made it to like the episode with, just so I don't spoil anything. Dodgeball is all I'm gonna say. I made it that far. Apparently there's a lot more to go. So I'm gonna finish that. I really wanna finish Breaking Bad, but I promised my girlfriend I'm not gonna watch any of it while I'm not with her. So it's like, we have to finish the show at the same time. I can't get ahead. Better Call Saul. I can't watch that until I'm done with Breaking Bad. Breaking Bald. <laughs> it's funny because he's bald. Yeah, I'm going to need some shows to catch up on. If I'm going to be spending probably, here's my guest chat, 50 hours I'm going to be spending at an absolute minimum. That is assuming 20 million coins an hour which is probably a high estimate. If I'm watching stuff, I'm probably not gonna be as efficient. So I'm guessing probably 17 to 18 mil an hour. So it's most likely gonna be like 60 hours of mining Ruby that I need to have something to watch while I'm doing it. I'm not getting into One Piece, it's way too much content. And I heard it's um, way too much filler. Maybe I'll finally sit down and watch Dragon Ball Z. Speaking of filler, I watched a bridge, but I never actually watched the, the show itself. But I don't know if it's actually like a good show because of, again, filler. Maybe Attack on Titan. I need to get a Crunchyroll subscription. Not sponsored. But yeah, I heard that uh, Demon Slayer, well, it should still be on Netflix. So I'll, I'll see if I can finish that.
One Punch Man. Oh yeah, we talked about this on stream before. It's so dumb. When you, you can watch it on Netflix, right? But when you try to watch it, like you'll see the trailer, everything's in English, previews in English, cool. And then you boot up the, the show and then it's in, you know, it's, it's in Japanese. And it's like, okay, you can get subtitles for English. But then when you look at the dubs, the only dub that's available is in Spanish. And I'm like, what? So you showed me the dub in English as the preview. I go to click into it. I'm sorry, all right? I'm Especially if I'm grinding stuff. I can't be reading subtitles. So I go to look at the dub, and there's no English dub. It's only freaking Spanish. Like, what the hell? It's so dumb. I, and I've already seen season one of One Punch Man. I want to see season two, but I don't know where to find it without having to pay for it. Which is annoying. Maybe I should stop being cheap. You know? Maybe I should pay for it. I also heard it's not as good as season one, but it's not bad. I've heard, I've heard mixed things. I have a feeling I'm probably not going to dislike it. Just learn Spanish. I tried. I went to five years of Spanish class in middle and high school. I don't remember a thing. Nothing. Zilch. Zero. I spent like an hour, five days a week for five years, and I don't remember anything. Oh, we just ran out of um, double powder. Sad. Let's see how much we got from that. Ooh, 120,000 mithril powder? Okay. All right. Hmm. We're only 6k mithril powder away from another mining fortune. All right. Let's switch my equipment back to the mining equipment before I forget. That would be embarrassing if I went for the one bill grind with the wrong equipment. Yeah, let's not do that. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I change lobbies if I find more uh, double powder duration because they, the lobbies are staggered. If that makes sense. So there might be some which still have double powder going. Like this one for nine minutes. Let's go. Hell yeah. Oh, you know what, chat? I actually did stop being cheap a little bit this month. So I'm trying to get roommates, right? And I was thinking to myself, if I want to attract roommates, I need to actually make the house a nice place to be. So I went to Walmart. And if someone just cut right there, <laughs> that would actually be a really funny clip. But no, unironically, there's actually some pretty good stuff at Walmart. I, I found some egg chairs. Like those ones that are like a bowl. I got like three of those. I got some folding metal chairs in case there's visitors or in the case of Halloween, I'm not going to answer the door. I'm just going to put the basket on the folding chair and just say take one because I'm lazy. Um, what else did I get? I got a mini fridge not too long ago for drinks for the um for the the loft i also got a bed frame for the second spare room so instead of a mattress being on the floor there's actually going to be a bed i'm thinking i go on offer up or let go or whatever the app's called and try to find some nightstands i got uh some storage bin container thingies for the closet so there's a place to put like clothes so i don't know I'm, I'm trying to think of like subtle ways to upgrade the house so that it's a better place to have roommates just to get your girlfriend to move in oh i already offered that but it's she's looking for a cheaper rent than this area unfortunately i mean i and I offered it at a cheaper price, too. Man. Not, it's, it's just, she's not interested, it doesn't seem like. Which, you know, makes sense, because if anything did go wrong, it would be super awkward. Like, I've heard stories of, like, couples that, like, straight up, like, lived together and then broke up and they just had to awkwardly be in the same house. <laughs> Which, um... That'd be bad. No, I'm not... I'm not doubtful of the relationship things are fine like we're going literally out tomorrow to visit there's like a carnival event thingy going on for halloween that's gonna be fun but like you know just in case you know i've 
<laughs> I've been through situations where I thought I was gonna marry a girl, and then it turns out, like, a few months later, she cheats on me, and then just acts like I'm a nobody, and then, um, I'm left to my own devices five hours away living in a basement so you know after that happened i'm, I'm kind of uh i i prepare for everything nowadays i can't no assumptions <laughs> um yeah 2018 was a rough year for me um mm. <laughs> damn 30 got hurt huh that's uh that's one way to put it my world as i knew it fell apart that year all of it was gone Friends, relationship, hobbies, home, community, all of it was lost that year. It was all gone. All I had left was YouTube. Sounds awful. I made a whole video about it. I'm glad I did because now I have a time capsule for just how awful that time of my life was. And I could look back and be like, things are better now, you know? <laughs> and high pixel, high tail, skyblock pulled me out of it you guys pulled me out of it so we're good now but now we ballin yeah look at me chat i lost like 60 pounds found myself someone new got my own place now i gotta work on actually having a friend group again that's the problem at least when it comes to real life i got no one to see so that's not good I got plenty of friends on Discord, and that's great. And we hang out and have a good time. But, like, there's just something different about, like, calling up your buddy and just be like, hey, there's this event going on. You want to wanna be there in, like, an hour? And it's like, yeah, yeah, like, I missed that, man. I need that. Move <laughs> Fezzian. I've offered Fezzi as well, but he, he wants to keep his uh, life where he is right now. Picking up and moving halfway across the country is a big ordeal. It's a big change. I would know because I've done it. And it's a, it's an adjustment for sure. Definitely worth though for me. But anyways, I don't take anything for granted anymore. I'm, I've trained myself never to feel safe in anything like this is a defense mechanism, but like, I leave the least possible things to chance. That's why I ended up getting a place instead of just continuing to rent. That's why I moved to Florida where everything is cheaper so that there's less of a chance that everything's gonna fall apart. That's why I lost the weight because now it's like better chance that, you know, relationship things are gonna go better because I'm <laughs> gonna be objectively better looking let's be honest humans in general i'm not blaming anybody specific but the human race we're shallow all right it's just how it be so you know uh, i'm just i'm reducing the chance of anything bad happening and i'm never going to feel safe probably ever again like i am constantly going to be trying to improve if you're not growing you're dying as the saying goes so yeah i oh 4,300 Mithra Powder during Double Powder. That's Pog. That's good. That's what we... That's what we like to see right there. That's what we like to see. But yes, chat. I have been hurt in the past. And that made me a better person. It makes me a more anxious person. But you know what? I, I think I've accomplished a lot since that happened. And it's, um, we're in the good timeline. It didn't seem like it when everything was going down, but in retrospect, I think it worked out. Yeah, I haven't been to the gym in a while because I've been focusing on this, but definitely heading back. I think the, the, the reason why I haven't been able to go back despite really, really wanting to is just the pressure of getting a billion coins by Scorpius. When I do that, when I hit the goal, then I think I can, I think my profile can survive a couple hours a day of downtime. But for right now, it's like, I need to, I need to do this. There is a strict timeline here. More powders. Is there 
another double powder going around. We only have a minute and a half in this lobby. Let's see if I can find another one. Someone in chat said another double powder, so it might be rolling out again. Eight minutes here. Is there like more than eight minutes? Thank you, Hypixel. Ah! Come on! What is happening? You tried to rejoin your first! I hate that garbage, man. Just let me back into your freaking game. You know what? While, it's, while the game's screwing me, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be back. I'm back. Ah. No, I'm gonna stand. Let's stand. Wow, double powder for one minute. Awesome. So, are there any lobbies with like a good duration of double powder, or was that it? Four minutes. Twenty five seconds. Two minutes. I should have took the eight minutes. Ooh, eleven minutes, perfect. I will take it. So how'd you fix your internet? I installed a VPN, and now as far as Hypixel knows, I'm logging in from Chicago. <laughs> and that fixed the problem, for now. Unless Chicago goes down, then I'm gonna have to connect to some other node. I don't like having to resort to a VPN because I know that Hypixel and VPNs have a sketchy past. But, like, what other option do I have? My situation's a little different from your typical Skyblock player that, like, just wants to progress. I need to progress to make content. So, like, I'm just taking extra me measures. I spent 80 bucks, chat, for two years of service because it was the best price. I spent 80 bucks just so I can get back on Hypixel. And writing it off as a business expense, so in reality, it's only going to cost out of pocket after taxes, like... 50? Still. If Chicago goes down, high pixels down. Yes. Not sure if you're going to see this, but is Wither Spectre good for T2? You don't really need summons for T2, but if you insist, I guess it's fine. But you're probably better off with a Barbarian. Which is just more evidence, by the way, that I picked the correct faction with Mage. Because now I have easy summons mobs to kill. Which is Pog. I don't know if Mages also would work as good summons. I don't know if you can. But, like, it, it seems that the obvious faction to go with is Mage. Is a hype worth the price? It's worth any price, literally, because there's some parts of the game that are impossible without it. 
which is unfortunate hyperion prices do need to drop but i don't care i'm an iron man player now so whatever i guess why does faction matter i just explained it i just said i literally just explained it also you can buy xp bottles from an npc which is great because crafting them is annoying lapis minions are not the best to have down Ooh, more gemstones out there. <laughs> what parts of the game require hype? T4 Enderman, T3 and 4 Blaze Slayers. Um being fast in dungeons especially master mode um unless i am missing something i think that's it you missed a donation according to streamlabs oh you did you know what i did an hour ago oh crap I hope you're still watching, dude. Uh, let me read that. Uh, thank you, Jan Marius, for the three. I just watched the start of the stream, and I feel so redeemed right now. I've been telling people for weeks about the VPN stuff and just got negative reactions slash downvotes on the Reddit. That community is so toxic. I agree. I really get why you don't listen to them anymore. Yeah, well, the thing is, I also was a VPN doubter. Well, I don't know if I doubted it, but I just didn't want to resort to it because I was scared of what would happen. But, like, when I got forced into the situation, I was like, all right, I think it's worth the risk right now. Because I'm YouTube ranked. If anything happens, then I can call up an admin be like, hey, I'm using a VPN because I have to, not because I want to. Please unwipe or whatever it is you did. And so far, I haven't experienced anything bad from that. I mean, Hypixel already has enough reasons reasons to false ban, so, like, I still don't know if I can recommend everyone do it. But at least for me personally, it makes all the sense. Because I have that contact for a false ban, for myself at least. Because the thing is, if I permanently can't make videos anymore, that hurts Hypixel. Not to say I have an ego or anything, but that's the facts. If like 2 million views worth of attention for Hypixel Skyblock just vanishes overnight, that's not good for the game. <laughs> so. So. I would say me and Cal right now are carrying. We each get about 2 million views a month for Hypixel Skyblock. So like between us both, that's 4 million views a month. And that's not including live stream VODs because they go unlisted. So Social Blade doesn't count them. But yep. Technically, if you count stream VODs, I'm getting more like 2.5 million views a month. And Swavy. Yes, yeah, Wavy is, well, we're the top two spot, two spots is me and Cal. And then you have, then you have Swavy probably as number three. Um, who else? Dragoon is bringing a good amount of attention as well. Fearless is starting to pop up. Refraction aged, bro? Did he? <laughs> I feel like I look older as well, but only because of facial hair. But I, I look infinitely better than I used to because I lost the weight. So I've definitely improved over the years in terms of... And so is Cal, honestly. I looked at his... Um, I saw his video. If only I blonded a lot of Hypixel content. Wow. 
he has his reasons i suppose oh yeah and rage train as well he's especially recently been bringing a lot but now that that profile is done i don't know how consistent that's gonna be and then we have like a dozen creators that are contributing if i had to guess between everybody hypixel's probably getting like 8 million views a month hypixel skyblock content's getting like 8 million views a month between everybody is my guess maybe 10 million views a month so like almost half of that's from me and cal yeah cal's improved a lot too the both of us have over the years Yeah, Paliner. Hasn't Zach been like on a hiatus lately? Yeah, interests, of course. Hellcastle. He doesn't upload frequently, but when he does, ooh, he's good. I feel like if Hellcastle uploaded more, he'd probably be able to beat most other YouTubers. I feel like just because like the video quality is like insane. Same with original ace as well and he's still sticking more to like general content or general high pixel content i know a lot of people that could probably like win the youtube game if they just uploaded more like dio holy crap i forgot about time dio and pig as well oh it saddens me where have they been i know i know they're still around they still pop into chats every now and again but they just stopped Where'd they go? And Toadstar, yeah. If I miss any names, that's not because I'm dismissing them. I'm just bad at remembering things. Dragoon's quality is good, but I don't know. I, I like the quality of the content. It's just not for me. I don't know. I, I like when videos have like, I hate to say it, like a connection to the game that's an actual purpose. Like he makes up quests which is fine and it's entertaining for most people but i i'm a stickler for like things being real which is why i could not stand dream smp like i'm sorry but i could not stand it and having an actual goal in the game like getting max skills like that that's something that i resonate with but if the goal is like to win an island race it's like it's good content but it's just not for me you know did you personally know techno um we interacted a few times he would show up in my streams every now and again um i would show up in his yeah he'd pop in and i remember distinctly he would pop in <laughs> advertising his eggs that he was selling with pets v2 as a meme um i also i gave him some enchanted mutton i believe for the potato war I traded some to him back when you could trade with people that were nicked there were just random times like when uh like you know those iconic it's update day streams that i did like he'd show up and like meme me when the update didn't quite drop yet and i was just left in the lobby waiting so yeah we uh, he also taught me how memberships worked we were talking on well we didn't talk on discord we messaged on discord and he showed me how to do it which is cool but yeah it was uh i definitely we didn't know each other that well like he didn't follow me back on twitter or anything but you know he knew i existed i knew he existed we had conversed a few times fought side by side against dante <laughs> but yeah but yeah that was a rough night when that video dropped it was a very rough night Oh, the double powder ended crepe. Is 2020 peak skyblock? I would say mid 2020 to like Q1 2021. I think the absolute peak was like May to June 2021. And then it just it was a steep decline after that. 
the release of dwarven mines was like the hugest thing that skyblock ever experienced other than the dante thing so let's see how much we have Whew! 162,000 mytho powder boom that's another mining fortune level only four more to go and then we're max mining fortune nice how is breaking rocks been <laughs> skyblock has a good amount of players nowadays no about a third of what it had maybe half on a good day it's definitely hurting right now compared to its peak I mean, it's not like at risk of the server shutting down, but it's definitely not where it was. <laughs> Are there any other double powders? Because I need it. No. Diaz selections in five minutes. Ooh, time to NPC buy. Hello, Forger. I'm not looking forward to a week of ruby mining. Uh, I was gonna consider armadillo mining, but like the problem is I don't know the paths and I struggle finding thrones and spirals and the competition's gonna suck. So I don't know, it's just a lot simpler to ruby mine. It's way more no brain. It's worth it though. It's worth it to try armadillo mining. I at least have to for a little bit. So I get one more perfect sapphire. Might as well do that on stream today. I got to get one perfect sapphire so that we have enough to max this guy. Don't need to, but it's a good thumbnail. I already uh, talked to Implodent. He taught me a lot. Um, I know how to do it. I know how to do it efficiently. It's just a problem of muscle memory and remembering the actual specific spots. And that's not going to sink in while i'm in a call i'd have to watch a video like a hundred times and do the loop a hundred times myself then it will finally get through the stick skull <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna do it on stream i might be able to ruby mine on stream because i can keep the cords hidden but like there's no way I can armadillo mine on stream. It would get way too toxic, way too fast. What do we do for five minutes while we wait for Diaz to get elected? Oh, let's see if the carrots are done. It's only been about 25 minutes since I opened it. Oh, okay. It's close. It's almost ready. That's good. So we can do some... Uh, I guess we can have a food break once this is done experiments oh dailies it's a good point chat let's do some dailies yeah let's do our dailies it's a good thing to do while we wait oh there's also dwarven commissions that i can get for tomorrow do you think it's worth building farms definitely not now Garden updates dropping soon. <laughs> you know you can powder grind without double powder? Yeah, but it's half as fast. Yeah, Diaz is like almost two months of daily NPC buys. That's crazy. That's insanity. That's like really, really good for Iron Man players. I have a list of items I'm going to buy. I'm not sure if... We're probably going to be able to get either six or seven days, technically, of, uh... No, we're going to we're gonna get six days instead of five of 10x NPC buy limit because I'm going to be able to do it now and then tomorrow, technically, tomorrow, once it hits 8 p.m. Eastern. But yeah, we're going to get six days worth. So, actually, we're going to get 60, 60 days, so exactly two months of 10x... That's going to be really good, though. Yeah. One minute left. All right, we're going to do our experiments, and then it's time to NPC buy. Boom. Let's get out the lion pet. 
Where is Lion? There it is. Level 93. Leveling this pet is a struggle, dude. <laughs> Reminder to buy dandelions. I have a list. I have a list of items I want to buy. Ooh, I might have to grind additional coins just so I could do that. I'm not buying quartz, though. It's not worth my time. Or not worth the money, I should say. Are you going to max gauntlet? This gauntlet is effectively maxed. Golden gauntlet doesn't give any bonuses. And obviously, defense and intelligence don't matter when you're mining. So, effectively, it's already maxed. But for the thumbnail, I'm going to get one more perfect sapphire for the gauntlet. Quartz has the highest profit though, doesn't it? Probably not anymore, but I'm an Iron Man, so that doesn't matter because I can't resell the bazaar. Efficiency 10? Okay. Okay. We don't talk about efficiency 10. I'm reserving. You know what's funny? I'm probably never gonna get it. That's so much hardstone. That's like an insane amount of hardstone. I would have to have max level mole, maxed Skava. They would need to fix the bug that makes them not stack the perks. And then I would have to just mine nothing but hardstone for like a month and a half. It'd be awful. I'm only going to bother getting more than efficiency five on Devondril. Like there's no reason to put it on Gauntlet. Not even a single level of efficiency other than five like nah well actually yes yeah, snail maybe not scatha well i don't know if scatha gives you two more blocks on top of mole it might be better i don't i haven't tested it yes yeah, snail might make sense actually Fortune 4, I already have Fortune 4 on the uh, gauntlet. Like I said, this gauntlet's effectively maxed. Minus, obviously, efficiency 10, which is stupid. What's the best thing to buy during Diaz? Always buy dandelions. Everything else, it really depends on where you are in the game. A lot of XP there. A lot of XP there. Holy crap. What the hell? If I get all of these pairs, that's like an additional 1 million combat XP. Or er, enchanting XP. That's crazy. Of course, it gives me some crappy ones. Uh, which one's the highest? 140. Oh, I'm a... <laughs> I literally... <laughs> we don't talk about it. We don't talk about what just happened. No. <laughs> I didn't just insta-pair something I already knew the spot for. It doesn't make a difference in the end, but that was dumb when I just did. <laughs> that was dumb. Ah, <laughs> uh, no Titanics. Or any good books. That was sad. Okay, uh, I think Diaz is now active, right? Stupid. Why the dandelions flower minion? All right, uh, is it is it time? Is it time? It is time. Mayor Diaz, wow. 25% more bank interest and increased daily NPC buy limit by 10x. All right, time to make myself poor. So the first thing we're going to do is open up my list of items. So we're going to start at the builder. And from the builder, I'm going to get... Um, oh, we should get out our personal compactor. 
empty out this bottom row here. This is gonna make things easier. Dandelions is the first one, the first item. Server's lagging. It's always lagging. Save your money for Scorpius. Bro, I need a billion with a B. Spending an extra two and a half mil is literally 0.25%. Like a, a quarter of 1%. It does not matter. It does not matter. I can spend NPC money. All right. Um, next item. It's going to be ice. Next item is going to be ice. You do know, chat, that my least favorite question, my least favorite word in chat is why. How about you sit back, relax, and just watch the stream, and then maybe I'll talk about it. Why ice? Why dandelions? Why? Shut. Just. You know, I have a list of about eight items. Okay. <laughs> How about you wait until I'm finished buying it all? Okay, next, we're going to this NPC and I'm getting string. Why string? Gunpowder. U103, thank you for the five. Hello, what is your skyblock level? Good question. Let me check as soon as I'm done with this gunpowder. I am currently skyblock level 186, which places me at global ranking 571 out of 64,000 Iron Man players. Not bad. Let's see. What else am I at a lack of right now? I think everything else were fine. Now let's head over to Pat and get Flint. You're nine levels away from surpassing me. <laughs> wow. All right. That's done. Uh, next we have Um, I'm looking rabbit feet. This one actually has an extra use. Not only is it going to be helpful because minion slot, but also there's an armor made from it apparently. So get rotten flesh for warden helmet. Nah, we have an abundance of that. I'm actually going to have too much rotten flesh. Not too long from now. Because I have four Rev Minion T5s going right now. 
There we go. Next is... Let me see. What did I miss? What did I miss? Blaze rods. Double powder right now? Okay, I'm going to make this quick then. I only have two items left. Uh, blaze rod and fish. I'm getting the fish last because I can't compact it. Because I need it for bait. Where, did, where am I? Here we go. Blaze rod. Boom. Okay, so now I'll explain why I'm getting rabbit feet because of the farming armor and the new update. I'm also getting it for minion slots. Blaze rods, minion slots, fish, fish bait because lava fishing doesn't give you back fish and you need a ton of it. Um, oh, and you can buy nether quartz as well, but I don't think that's really worth. Uh, okay, last thing. Um, speaking of the fish, we're about to get that now. Uh, flowers, flower minion, obviously. Gunpowder, minion slots, string for viscera, ice for frozen blaze, flint, tarantula web, or tarantula, whatever it's called, the, the flint and what's that item called? Come on, brain, you could do it. Silk. Good. Nice. The Mr. Proper. Thank you for the five. I've been watching your Iron Man since it started and I've lost 50 pounds from your advice. Can we get a W in the chat? Holy crap. You did the same thing I did and it's only been three months, not four. I lost 50. I lost, well, it was a 60 pounds. It was 60 pounds, but in four months. Damn. Thanks for everything that you, ch wait. Thanks for everything you changed my life. Keep doing what you're doing. Well, hey, that's a W, dude. That's crazy. Congratulations. You managed to, it's great. You did it. It's one of the most challenging things that people have and like unironically losing that amount of weight is one of the most challenging things that people have one of the most challenging problems that people have in their life and most people don't fix it but i guess i started uh i guess i was just the start point right i just let you know that these strategies existed and then you went out and did it so i don't think i want to take too much credit but i'll take credit for being the starting point <laughs> But beyond that, you did a you did a crazy good thing. Harvest the carrots? No, it's double powder. Powder grind is most important. What was the advice? I made a video about it. Um, I, I filled that video chock full of advice for weight loss. It's called, I lost 40 pounds in 90 days. And after that video, I continued to lose another 20 pounds over another like month and a half two months in total it took about four to four and a half months to get to my goal weight of 170 but yeah all the advice from that video is how i actually did it like it that video is just full of content about weight loss like to the point where the video is too long <laughs> but it has all the information that you need and it also um I reference other channels like Greg Doucette if you really want to go even further, which I suggest you do. Um, but yeah. I mean, the TLDR, if you don't want to watch it, is um, calories in, calories out. You don't have to be starving to lose weight. You just eat things that have less calories and fill your stomach more, like fruits and vegetables, Greek yogurt, non-fat. Non-fat everything. There seems to have been an overcorrection in society where people 
used to think that fat was the devil and then people are like oh wait it's not and now everyone's like oh so fat's okay then well no it's high in calories <laughs> so fat free is still good as long as you're not replacing the fat with sugar make sure it's no added sugar and no fat then you're good but yeah that, that's the tldr really and then just do a lot of steady state cardio you don't have to run i'd suggest you don't just walk or ride a bike for like an hour a day and fix your diet count your calories and you're good to go man that's really it it's that simple you don't even have to do like crazy heavy exercises like just <laughs> and i lost weight fast like you're not even supposed to lose that much weight in that amount of time and i was not hungry the whole time because i just ate low calorie stuff that filled my stomach it's called volume eating it's very good Don't run at high weight. Yeah, it's bad for your knees and you'll be wheezing and miserable. Honestly, I don't recommend running for most people. It's kind of just awful if you have breathing issues like I do. Because my deviated septum, I just can't get oxygen fast enough. But it's just... Why bother running when you could just walk or do a sport? Sports are more fun than running. I think running is one of the most overrated exercises of all time does so much damage to your joints and it's just unfun why are you running <laughs> ride the bike instead it's more fun and you get to go faster you get to go zoom and your joints will not hate you if you really want to burn calories fast which you don't have to but if you for some reason wanted to just do some hit training you know but like nah in sports you need to run yeah but that's different because it's like a sprint whereas if you're running you're just jogging for like an hour that's not very fun but at least if you're playing like soccer then you have a reason to go on a mad sprint to like maybe defend the ball or maybe try to get it in the thing like that's fun that's good nothing wrong with sprints as long as there's a purpose behind it and you're not just running for no reason for an hour doesn't seem all that fun that way i used to love soccer Mainly because there was a purpose behind what I was doing. And it wasn't just... Anyways. Enough of a rant on running. I am a running hater. <laughs> I, I think I hate running the most. Because that's what every fat person thinks is something they have to do in order to lose weight. And it's just not. And it's so demotivating. Because, like, it's a challenging exercise to do even if you're not overweight. So, like, if you are overweight and your first thought is, I need to run... You're just setting yourself up for failure and it sucks. I think that's the main reason why I hate running because that's what I thought and that my first attempt at losing weight was a year before the successful attempt. And the first thing I did is, well, I got to run on the treadmill while watching a movie and it was miserable. I hated it. It was so bad. So yeah, we're not running sucks, dude. It's awful. It's football, not soccer. Hey, the euro dropped below the dollar. I think we get to say soccer, okay? Okay. Oh, there we go. 9,000 mythical powder. Mm. Euro and dollar are worth the exact same right now. Okay, you know what? Let my joke be funny, okay? It's really one-to-one -one right now. Like, literally exactly the same. That's funny. So that means you could say them interchangeably. You know what's funny? Half of my audience is from the US and I feel like the other half is not. 
So, like, if I did a poll right now, soccer or football, which do you think would win? You know what? Hold on. I want to do it. Let's make a poll. Soccer, football. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Let's see which one wins. <laughs> the Mr. Proper, thank you for joining as a member. Let's see who's winning. No, football's winning. No, 64 to 36. Chad, I thought I knew you. You're just not who I thought you were. Your question is confusing. Maybe if you just got on stream, but if you've been listening to the conversation, it is not confusing. Too early for Americans? Oh, what if everyone, no, it's Saturday. What do you mean? No, it's Saturday, everyone's home. They're not at school or work. So they should still be seeing this. <laughs> Is proxy fixed? I'm not sure. I'm technically in Chicago right now. Sponsored by I wish I, I this would have been the perfect time to get a sponsor by a VPN. It would be it would have been the literal perfect time. The stream is literally brought to you by a VPN. Otherwise it would not work. <laughs> I'm not going to say which VPN so that I'm like not seen as a shill, but like genuinely I could not be streaming right now if not for a VPN. If I'm not Iron Man, is it more worth to grind for Devon's armor or just buy it? It's probably faster just to buy it, honestly, if you're not on Iron Man. Because there's other money making methods like... I don't know if you still can do it, but apparently you can make 5 mil an hour selling Ender equipment to NPC, which is far more than you can make from mining if you don't have Devon. So, and it's not just buying Devon, it's buying chambers is the problem too. Those are expensive. Buying the gemstones, that's expensive. But, you know, obviously once you have the setup and the powder, then you should definitely be using mining as your money making source. Like I'm probably, especially if I sweat like if I actually went for it right now with Ruby mining with my route, I could probably make 20 mil an hour flat if I actually was paying attention. With the amount of fortune and speed I have, I can make 20 million coins an hour consistently. And who knows, it might not even be a struggle because like I've been doing so much to get my fortune as high as possible. So. Bro, football won the poll. It hit a thousand votes and it's 60-40. I am disappointed. Where are the Americans represented? You know, everyone's saying it as a meme just because reverse psychology. The stream thinks it's funnier if I'm wrong, which fair enough, I guess. Maybe I am wrong. A thousand votes. Just to prove myself wrong. I was so confident for no reason. We have been defeated, fellow Americans. Yo, Torchic! What's up, man? Thank you for the five. About the running thing from earlier. Here, hold on. I gotta do this. About the running thing from earlier. I've heard that there's an app called Zombie Run or something, which creates an artificial reason to run. Oh, yeah, Markiplier talked about it in his Day in the Life video. That's probably the most fun you're going to have running, though. Why not just play a sport? You're going to burn more calories playing tennis than you would running, even though you're moving less. Well, maybe you're not moving less, but you're going less distance. It's because of the fast movements and, like, changing directions and, like, whoosh, whoosh. like it's just way more fun, in my opinion, to just play, play a sport instead of running. Like, why the hell are you running? Why are you running? Running's boring. I could burn just as many calories playing Beat Saber. Like... 
And that's infinitely more fun. And my joints aren't gonna hate me. I'm anti running, all right? I think running is just, if you need to lose weight, running is just not the, it's not the way. Now, if you're like underweight or normal weight, then the joint damage won't be as bad. And you probably won't get winded if you have normal lungs and nose. So people with asthma or deviated septum, sorry to tell you, you're not going to like running for your whole life, probably. <laughs> like me. I don't have asthma, but I do have a deviated septum. So, But you know, after the surgery, maybe I get it fixed and maybe I love running because I'm not going to feel like I need to drink liquid oxygen. I would die, but <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like i don't know man my lungs scream at me after like 30 seconds of running even when i was in shape i hated it whoa that was six thousand gemstone powder and it got doubled Ooh! Twelve thousand. Or, um, 12,000 gemstone powder right there. That was good. <laughs> See, this is why you powder grind. This is exactly why. What about power walking? Just play a sport. I mean, power walking is inoffensive, I guess. That's kind of what I was doing in a way. When I was walking, sometimes I'd just be so hopped up on caffeine that I would just like try to walk fast. So I'm, I'm not offended by power walking. It's doubled before the visual. Actually, factually incorrect. I'll prove you wrong right now. See how I have 66504? Watch this. Okay, 66504, right? That means it should be 66732. See? 760. So it's more. Yeah, it's, it's more. It actually doubles after the chat message. I've already proven this, but I just proved it again. Any more double powder? Three minutes. <laughs> 30. Gets chased by serial killer. Starts power walking because running bad. <laughs> powder buff is before. Double powder is after. Yes. Chat, you are correct. Good to know patch notes lie to us as per usual. Honestly, you can't trust anything unless you test it yourself in this game. That's why I feel fortunate to be in a guild full of sweats and to have a lot of friends who are also sweats. Okay, there's four minutes left in this lobby. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. What if you don't have friends to play sports with? You can find one friend to play tennis with, okay? One friend. Here's your goal. Get one friend to play tennis with. That's. I think tennis is honestly goaded as a sport, as a physical activity, because it. you only need two people to play it. As much as I love soccer, I, I straight up can't play it anymore because you need like 11 people. Minimum, you need six people per side. Minimum. So you need like 12 people. Well, no, not minimum. You could you could get away with five. You'd have, let's see. You'd want six because you'd have two people front, one person mid, two people back, and then goalie. 
So like you really need six people per team. So it's like minimum 12 to play soccer. At least on a full size field. Maybe if it's like a half size field, you just don't have someone on mid and one person defense and you can get away with like four people per side, but it's like kind of mini soccer at that point. So it's like, eh. And I think volleyball is actually objectively better if there's only four people per side. Once you get to like nine, then there's just way too many like situations where like no one goes for the ball because like it's in between, which is really annoying. But if you if you genuinely just don't have anyone to play sports with, play some Beat Saber. It's not really a sport, but you're still swinging your arms around and you only need yourself, so. Five aside is quite common in the UK. Fair enough. For only $320. Hey, you know what? At least the Quest 2 is cheap. I bought I bought into VR when it was... Well, actually, it's about the same price, but it's way worse. I have a Rift S. And before that, I had the CV1. Boomer virus. I had the first ever commercial VR headset that wasn't trash. Technically, right, there was the Microsoft thing and there was the Nintendo what I don't even remember what the Nintendo the virtual boy I don't remember But it was very bad What are your thoughts on football like American football? Eh. Honestly not a fan I would never play it because it's just too injury prone and there's a lot of like waiting there's a lot of just setting up and like it's just too slow. I have the same problem with baseball, but baseball is more fun because you get to swing a bat, which is fun. But there's just so much waiting involved. I think the best version of those kind of slower sports with a ton of rules that just slow down the gameplay is kickball. Kickball was my jam back in the day. Totally not biased because of my ridiculous calves. <laughs> 450 pounds on the bench press. <laughs> but like, mm, kickball was awesome. I loved kickball. I think kickball is just an objectively better version of uh, baseball. What about hockey? Well, it's basically soccer, but on ice sliding around in a smaller goal, which means I would probably like it. Thing is, it's much more violent, which could prove to be dangerous, but I don't know. I probably would have been very good at hockey because I heard you need to have strong legs to be able to actually like slide around fast on the ice. And a lot of my cousins uh, are actually pretty big into that as well. Not all hockey is on ice. Well, yeah, back in like middle school, we used to play like floor hockey, but that's just a worse version of it. Look at all this sludge juice I'm getting that I don't even need anymore. Well, I'm going to need it when I start working on drills and stuff, but still. Where do I put it all? I guess I'll put it here. Yeah, tennis is fun though probably the easiest sport to get into if you don't have a lot of people basketball i wish i liked i really wish i liked basketball but my hand-eye coordination i'd have a better chance of kicking the ball into the hoop than actually throwing it i don't know what's wrong with my freaking brain but it just doesn't work that way uh badminton's good yeah i like badminton it's inoffensive I think I like tennis more though. Ping pong is like, well, table tennis is also pretty good. What about boxing? Never tried it. I don't like the idea of, you know, putting my brain at risk. You know, I don't, I don't think whenever I try to, you know, play something for fun that there's a chance I walk out of it with a concussion. And that doesn't sound all that fun. That's another reason why I'm not a, a football guy. I don't know. It seems, uh, eh, eh. I don't know. Rugby, same thing. Where am I putting all the drill oil, whatever this? Oh, we're running out of room. 
Well, let's hope that they don't make armadillos higher NPC sale price in the future, because yikes. Beer pong. I don't drink, man. All right, I'm going to close the island because lag and because people interfering. Sorry. Is someone trying to scam on my island? Bruh. You're gone. Okay. Uh, Next. I kind of want to eat. So, you know what? Uh, let's farm some carrot. And I shall eat at the same time. Multitasking. <laughs> it's still a common hoe. That's bad. Also, I'm going to have to make sure not to use personal compactor on the carrots. Thank you, Skyblock. Let me guess. You're joining too fast. All right, fine. Uh, I'm going to go get some food. I have chicken sandwiches and some spicy ketchup. I'm going to go grab that real quick. Hey chat, look at this. Chicken sandwiches. Oh yeah. And then my spicy ketchup that I made. I already had one of the sandwiches. That's why the ketchup looks used. Hey! I'll be back in a second. Diet soda. All right. Your Jordans are fake. I don't own Jordans. I'm not a shoe person. I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care, to be honest with you. I can't wait for when, like, I meet up with people in real life. There's, like, convention or whatever. And they're like, wow, you're short. And I'd be like, uh-huh. We all knew this already. <laughs> One fifteen, and then I switch around the controls. Turn the volume down and switch pets. Yeah. And we're off. Now time to, ow. Just gave myself a paper cut on the plate. Ow. That's not fun. Oh, that's a deep one. Ah, it didn't hit the bone or anything, but like, damn, that hurt freaking paper cut on the plate hmm hmm why is it that paper cuts hurt so much for how little damage is actually done like there's no damage really but it hurts Mm. ASMR. Oh, I should move the mic away so that people don't get negative ASMR from eating noises. That's a lot of carrot. Um. Ah. Okay. Personal compactor moment.
It's not a clean cut, so it hurts more. It is a clean cut, though. Ah, yes, the almighty viewer drop. Goodbye, Fisher Brains. Have fun on TikTok or watching your 100 Days content or your, I hate to say it, Mr. Beast content. Love the guy, but um, that's what he makes. Anyway. I want to like his content, but it's just too much for me. Too much stimulus. It's like, I don't know, something about it, it feels like it's made for kids. I, maybe I'm just a boomer, but it's like a little much. No, I, no, I, I hope that the most possible people watch Mr. Beast. I think he's got a great cause and he's a great guy. I think he's smart, but like for me, a little much. It's ADHD content, yeah. Which is weird, because I am I consider myself to be an ADHD person. I don't know. Maybe I am just a boomer. I watch Graham Stephan talk about credit scores and S&P 500 all day, but <laughs> I'm definitely just a boomer. <laughs> it's weird that I'm a Zoomer. Like, chat, you know I'm, I'm literally, I am a Zoomer by age, like by definition. But I just don't act like one, dude. If I was in a room full of people that were like 40, we could have a conversation about finances and health and fitness and... <laughs> and then when I'm in a room of people my age, then it's like, I can't relate. It's like, oh, do you see that thing on TikTok? And I'd be like, no, I don't use TikTok. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I don't know. And I can't even stand to be in the same room as people that are like, <laughs> I hate to say it, my little brother's age. We can't relate on a lot of things, but you know, we, we have a good time when we hang out, me and my little brothers, but like Mikey's age around like 14, 15, it's like all Fortnite and like dabbing <laughs> and like your, what is it? Uh, your mama. Like, I don't know, man. Like, all these memes and jokes that are just so... Z 30 hates kids. Okay, I don't hate kids. I just struggle to relate to kids. Okay? I struggle to relate. I know dabbing is 2017. There's a voice clip that Fezzi has recorded on his GoXLR of me telling the story of my little brother dabbing in a, a clothing store. And I was like, stop, please. And that was a few years back. <laughs> Chess is like, I'd rather you hate kids than love kids. Yikes, bro. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Calm it down, chat. Opinion on Quan Dale Dingle or you Zoomer? They showed up in my chat, actually. I don't know anything about them though. <laughs> Weren't they like a, a joke presidential candidate at some point? I don't know. You know what's funny? My first ever attempt at a job was at my martial arts place. They had like an after school program for like kids or whatever. And I was like maybe 17, 18. Or was I like, I don't remember. No, I was, I was, I had to be like 19. 
and I could have been like a counselor, right? To help like, you know, watch them after school, teach them martial arts things. And then <laughs> I didn't last one day when a kid snot all over a tissue and then rubbed it all over my leg. I just looked at it and I'm like, I can't do this. I was like, you don't even have to pay me for today. I made it through the whole day to be fair, but like, <laughs> I made it through the day at least, but I could not, I could not. I'm like, you don't have to pay me. You don't have to, it's fine. I'll take the one day as an L and I'm just never coming back for this job. <laughs> Ah, uh, mm-mm. It was awful. It was so bad. Some of them looked up to me because they knew I was a YouTuber. It's like, oh, it's 30 virus. And I, I thought that was cool, but mm -mm. They ranged anywhere from like maybe eight to like 13. So some of them knew I was a YouTuber, but I, I definitely, I could not do it. Karate or what? Taekwondo. What coding jobs have you applied for? Um, I didn't really apply for that many. I, I got picked up by this company called Emergence Tech Group. I almost forgot the name. They're from Buffalo. And it was because I knew a I knew a guy who knows a guy. Well, it was really my, I don't remember who it was to be honest with you, but someone in my family knew them and then just got me the job. And then that was my co-op for school for like seven months because it's like required. Um, other than that, I never applied for a tech job. My only by the hour job was that. That was the only time I actually got hired as like an employee. Otherwise, I've just been a YouTuber. It took me way too long to find a co-op for school. Didn't help that I started searching right when COVID hit. Mm. Yeah, that's some bad timing. I got lucky with that, to be honest. Why is Refractions main island always closed? Probably the same reason my island is always closed. Fearless's island is always closed. It's because when people visit the island and then they leave, they load and unload the island. It makes all of the mobs load and unload. And the problem with that is sometimes you'll get like a skeleton minion, for example, spawn like five skellies and then you deload the island. None of them die. So all of those minion actions were used to spawn mobs that never died. So you don't get stuff from it. So if someone were to abuse that, they can log on, log off, log on, log off, and it keeps on wasting the minion actions and you get no stuff. That's my reason. Apparently people in chat are saying that Cal just closes it out so it doesn't lag and crash the server, which is fair enough.
What are you eating? Chicken sandwiches with spicy ketchup. All homemade. Well, not all homemade. The, the cheese in the bun is not homemade, but the, the chicken I air fried myself. You know what the ultimate life hack is for cooking if you're lazy? Straight up take a frozen chicken breast, don't even season it, air fry it, cut it into pieces that you can put on a sandwich. Don't even bother seasoning it, then just season the ketchup. It's so much easier, less mess, and you get the seasoning anyways. Salt your ketchup, not your, your sandwich. <laughs> Once it all gets in there, it all tastes the same anyways. Why laugh? Because I know chat's gonna think I'm crazy. But it's true. I'm a very lazy person, okay? The problem with seasoning the chicken is I have to defrost it, then season it, then put it back in the air fryer, then cut it back up into pieces, then season the part that's exposed, then put it back in the air fryer again. Nah. I need it to be done fast and efficiently. Just throw it in the air fryer, forget about it for 40 minutes. <gasps> then just season your ketchup. Done. The amount of active effort to make these sandwiches was like a minute and a half. The rest of the time was just waiting. How'd you force yourself to powder grind? I have to do it, but it's so boring. Well, my motivation was just so I could make stuff. The sludge juice was necessary for so many uh, recipes. And I didn't do it all at once. I would just see a double powder. I'm like, all right, the next 15 minutes of my life is dedicated to this. And I would just do it. Chat's making fun of me now. They're like, oh, I drink my tea by gurgling hot water and tea leaves together. <laughs> Imagine you take a tea leaf, you place it on your tongue, and then just sip on hot water. <laughs> you know, I mean, technically it would work. I feel like you're in the nicest way possible an overachiever. I mean, I try to min-max life, essentially. I treat life like a video game, so yes. No offense taken, because you're right. I try to make every waking hour useful. I don't take a lot of time for myself, which might be why I'm kind of crazy. Like, I almost feel bad if the time I'm spending is not used for something. I know the hoe isn't reforged. Can't do anything about it. It's okay. 
it's not that big a difference. <clears throat> it's like an extra. <laughs> if I have 400 farming fortune and I get plus two from the reforge, that's like. You take. It's like a half a percent difference. It's really nothing. For every hundred carrots, I get half a carrot extra. Doesn't matter. Now, once the hoe is a higher rarity, then yes, reforge will matter. But right now, it really doesn't matter. The hull will probably become useless when garden update comes out. What? It become more useful. What do you mean? How would it become useless? The garden update encourages you to farm. Oh, we ran out of carrots on that side. Now we gotta turn around. I didn't finish planting the farm. A few people are pointing out that I look like Dream a little bit again. You know, that, I've been hearing that a lot since this face reveal. Even after getting the haircut though, I feel like the haircut makes me look different from Dream. He also had long hair during his face reveal. And I did too, but then I got a haircut, so now I don't really anymore. Mm. Oh, soda burps. Ooh. You ever just burp after having soda? Oh, no. You, you try to burp, but it doesn't go out. The, it goes up your nose, and you just get this flare-up of just, ooh, like... Is it bad that I find it easier to grind Skyblock for hours on them without music rather than with music? Chat, I'm, I'm about to tell you something. I'm one of those psychopaths that drives a car without music. I just sit there like an NPC. Just... Like, I just drive. <laughs> I just go. And there is nothing on the speakers. Chad's like, what? <laughs> I mean, think about it, chat. I am like the default character in every video game ever. Look at my, look at what I'm wearing. Blue shirt, solid color, nothing to it. Khakis. <laughs> I wear, I, I have Nikes. Uh, sneakers the most generic sneakers there are <laughs> I drive a Civic I don't listen to music like literal NPC IRL Steve <laughs> yeah Well, not really khakis. 
to be fair. But they look like khakis. Uh. Oh! There it is again! Friggin' ah, CO2 going up the nose. Burning. I also don't listen to music. It makes me go crazy hearing the same thing. That's why I don't listen to music with lyrics. The repetition drives me nuts. But if there isn't lyrics, it's better. The device looking like you just spawned in and Daisy. <laughs> Your stream music is so repetitive. Well, to be fair, it's like four hours of music in total and streams are usually two to three times that length so there's bound to be repeats but the difference is there's no lyrics in it so it's not as obvious that it repeats you look like your profile picture that's because it was drawn to look like me that profile picture, that 30 virus face was drawn based off a picture of my face. Ironically, that picture of my face was, was before the weight loss, but the stylistic choice was to make the 30 virus profile picture look thin. And then I became thin and looked more like the drawing of myself, which is hilarious. Where'd your chair go? It's over here. I just rolled it off to the side. One more sandwich, but this is the one with the chonkiest piece of chicken. Honestly, I don't know if I want it right now. I'm kind of full. Not really full, but like, I'm like good. You know, I don't need more. I'm just gonna, nah, I'm gonna put this away. Also, there's a Jacob's contest going right now. Plans post Scorpius. Let's assume that I somehow grind all the coin and then buy every item I want. Um, I'm probably going to take a couple days off just to relax because I haven't done that in a long time. Um, after that, well, I'm going to have a ton more talismans and we've already proven I can consistently kill tier threes. So I would probably grind until Vorpal Katana use Vorpal Katana to kill as many T3s as necessary to get the Soul Flow battery, to get Vorpal, to get Juju. Then I am going to run floor sixes, no floor fives until I get Shadow Assassin Chestplate. Then once I get it, I'm going to be a Juju Archer, run floor six until, I don't know. Maybe I could just skip straight to floor seven, actually, at that point. Mm -mm. Yeah, okay. I would do floor sevens. I, I would finally try floor seven, get at least one completion. And if it wasn't too bad, do a lot more completions. And um, I guess start going for the wither armors, right? Uh, I'll get some Necron armor to go with that Juju short bow. Uh, three-fourths of that at least with um, perhaps gold helmet if I do enough or gold head and then um, I'd probably what else would I do then at that point it would probably make the most sense to hmm I don't know I don't know, chat. What would I do after that? Perhaps grind more coin so that I can get Golden Dragon?
probably grind for handle at that point. Did you say Devon? What? I said Necron. Probably start recomming accessories. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna need a lot of recoms. <clears throat> In my opinion, Juju should have been nerfed to E-Man 4, not 5. Massive disagree. I think I think E-Man 5 is perfect for that. Nah. I think you should be pretty good at Void Glooms by the time you get yourself a Juju. I managed to get, like, a very close to E-Man 5 without even killing a single T2. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool though. I can consistently kill T3s now, even without Vorpal. That's crazy. Yeah, E-Man 5 is a good place for Juju, honestly. I'm going to sit again. I've been standing for long enough, I think. I would say either G-Drag or 655. Yeah, that's a good point, honestly. I should probably try to get 655 before I grind more than the one bill for Scorpius. That would make sense. Six five five would probably take less time to get than the armor and gemstones. I don't know, because the thing is, I need a ton of titanium, and I'm notoriously bad at getting titanium. I need to get my efficient miner pretty much maxed if I want to actually grind titanium effectively, so we're going to need a lot more powder grinding. What did you mean by one bill for Scorpius? This is about a billion coins worth of stuff I want, so I'm going to have to grind a bill. Oh, and then once I get Warden Helmet, then uh, Blaze Slayer. <sighs> Plasma Flux? Oh, yeah. Plasma Flux. Hegemony. Um... This is from Scorpius. Midas Staff. And then some regular dark auction items. The three artifacts. I don't have six fingers that I can use because the hand's doing this. Pretty much everything that Scorpius offers other than books. I don't care about books. How does gold have such a big lead? That's because I don't have any upgrades in the house so far. <clears throat> 655 is a lot of work too because of fuel tanks and drill engines. I guess well it's a lot of work for sure but like is that the reason i think the reason is because of the titanium and the gold well not the gold but the, the it's it's a lot of forge time and titanium is annoying those are my two big reasons why it's annoying and then i gotta get max gemstones for it then i gotta get the the parts it's a lot of forging so many mithril plates and golden plates i 
I think what I'm gonna do is every chance I get, I'm gonna forge more mithril. I'm gonna forge so much mithril. Because I have an abundance of it. I'll just take up all the forge time with mithril after I max out the gauntlet and uh, artifact of power. Have fun killing ice walkers. Ugh. Oh yeah, I will. I think I'm gonna wait until I get Daedalus Axe for that. <laughs> Daedalus Axe and probably Griffin, honestly. Opinion on Garden Update? I haven't seen much of it, but it seems good. Seems like the game needs it. I just got an email replying to something I thought was really stupid. So I got an email three days ago. Was it three days ago? It might have been longer. This company reached out like, hey, we want to connect gaming in the outdoors. First of all, if you want to get my attention, you have to say, touch grass somewhere in that email because it's funny. But, oh, come on. Scheduled reboot. Are you serious? Anyways. <laughs> They're like, oh, we make tents and we think it'd be a fun experiment to try to sponsor your videos so that we can sell tents to a bunch of gamers. And I'm like, tents? As in camping? You do know that like 0.5% of my audience has ever camped before. I have because I'm Eagle Scout. But like most people they don't care about camping <laughs> like it would be funny but i don't know how i would do that as a sponsored thing it'd be like ah yes hey chat welcome to another episode of skyblock do you want to go outside do you want to touch grass perhaps spend a night out in the woods like it seems a little oddly specific <laughs> i don't know I have to gobble. The frames are so bad on my island right now. The, the frames are so bad. But still dumb idea. Yeah, I mean, if they're willing to throw money at it, then I might. Because <laughs> it'd be funny. But at the same time, it's like... If it's a, a dedicated video, I'm obviously not going to be able to do it. Because I'm like all Iron Man videos right now. So like, I... What's the strongest part of your computer? Well, I have a 2080 Ti in there. And I have a Ryzen 9... I don't know what it is, but it's got 32 cores in it. Um, if you look at my PC build video, those are probably the two strongest parts in it. It's hard to really rank different parts on whether or not it's stronger. Like, those are probably the two most important components. Unplug your graphics card. Now, don't worry, it's not a 4090. I heard about that. Did you know that 4090s are exploding right now? Well, not exploding. They're like, they're burning. 32 cores do mean threads. Pretty sure I meant cores. I know threads is double the cores. I could be, it's either 16 core or 32 core. I don't remember. It might be 64 threads. But yeah, 4090s are like going up in flames right now because the connector was designed wrong. Isn't that stupid? It basically short circuits itself and then burns and then your computer can start to fire. Fifty nine fifty X is sixteen core thirty two thread. I don't remember. I built this PC like two and a half years ago, so I don't I don't remember.
And you know what would go great with a fire? A tent from today's sponsor. You want me to read the email out loud? That'd be funny. Hold on. Let me see if I can get the email. Connecting outdoors and gaming YouTube creators with brands. Let's see if I can find the original email. I think I sent it to my archive though. Let me see if I could find it. It's not loading. Oh, now it's loading. Oh, it's catching up. Let's see. Can I find it? Oh. Okay. I get so many emails. I'm glad that my YouTube email is not active anymore for any reason other than brands. I can't find it. Where is it? Is it that old? No. Maybe I didn't archive it. Hold on, chat. I'm trying to find it. I had to really go back into the archive. I have to look for the phrase. Actually, if I just look up outdoors, I could search. Using email on a phone is not great. Did I delete the email? I might have deleted the email. Well, that's disappointing. I think I deleted the original email, so it's just not going to show up. Well, sorry, chat. Can't read it. Can't read the pitch to you. I think I deleted the email. <laughs> Whoops. Also, we just ran out of farm. Oh my god, my frames are so bad. And I have to open the islands so that um, the crops can regrow. And then we're out of here. And let's switch. Uh, let's put the volume back up. Switch the controls back. Take off the speed limiting armor. Probably have to restart my game because Badlands had a problem lately where there's a memory leak and it causes performance to tank for no reason. Actually, I have to go back on the island real quick because I need to plant the rest of the, the um, carrot. So let's do that real quick. Oh, wait. Good thing I clicked the wrong thing because personal compactor. I have to unselect carrot. There we go. These frames are awful, man. Not at all what I'm used to. No more farm, please. No, I'm only planting. I'm not actually harvesting. Don't worry. I'm just placing the rest of it so that next time I farm carrot, I have enough. We might have enough for carrot candy. I don't know exactly how expensive it is, but I really want to get the contact for Maxwell. That would be very helpful. I'm aware, game. I know my inventory is full. Oh my god, these frames. 24 FPS gaming. Let's go. Oh, dude, this is... I can't believe I put up with this in vanilla Minecraft for the first, like three or four years I played this game I was stuck with an Acer Aspire 1 5515 with half a gig of RAM <laughs> and I was just I was gaming bro playing beta Minecraft at like 20 FPS and this is what can you not really really Freaking horse right in my face. Is that necessary? There we go. Oh my god, the lag. It's so bad. There we go. Now we're done. Take that out. Go here. Oh my god. I have to restart my freaking game, dude. This is bad. Oh, you know what? Uh, one thing before I restart my game. Wow. 
watch this chat. Ah! A Goss Kerato. It has been upgraded, and I got a silver medal, which is Pog. Now I can put Turbo Carrot on it. Nice. Do I have any other Turbo Carrots? I do have a Turbo Carrot. And now that I have Turbo... Or, now that I have a Silver Metal... Then, um... I can have up to Turbo Carrot 5 on that. There's a flaw with your Carrot Farm, how? How is there a flaw? And now we have another stack of Jacob's tickets. Uh, I guess we don't need this anymore, so we can put that away. Now, I want to see something. How expensive is Ultimate Carrot Candy? Can I make that? Is it called Superb or is it Ultimate? I don't remember which one Maxwell wants. <laughs> which one do you want? Hello. I need your Epiphone contact. So what do, what do, what do you require of me? Well, I think so. When you're switching lanes, the water slows you down for six blocks. I don't care about that. It's not a big deal. Two ultimate carrot candies. Isn't that the one that requires bits? Ugh. Really? Ultimate takes eight superb. Okay, game. You're making me waste bits. Fine. All right. So I need eight of these then. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, let's start with eight simple sir. Simple carrot candy. Can't speak. Oh, let's fill our inventory. Game, can you stop lagging? Please! One, two, three. Refraction accidentally put... He accidentally put a candy on his golden drag when he wanted to give it to Maxwell. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Thank you for telling me that because I would have made the same mistake. That's funny. That's actually really stupid. That's a high pixel moment right there. <laughs> That's good. And then he sold it. <laughs> that is amazing. What did I just do? Oh, I just made an enchanted stupid. Okay. Eight simple carrot candy. That's so freaking funny, actually. And then I need to make eight great carrot candy, which requires enchanted. Three, four, five. This is expensive, man. I don't like this. This is expensive. I definitely can't afford it right now. Why are people looking at me? Do you know who I am? Wait, what are you? How do people just find me? I don't understand this. Okay, so now we have great carrot candy. And that's how you get superb, right? Yes. Now we need enchanted golden, which requires regular golden carrots, which are always annoying to get. Okay. So that means, do we have gold in, the, in this? We do not have gold in that. So that means I'm free to do this.
So then we do this, right? You can buy golden carrot? Oh, can you? Oh, that would be perfect timing, actually, because it's Diaz. You can buy golden carrot. Ah, that's so much better. Oh. Oh, that's so much faster. Nice. Well, that was probably overkill. <laughs> um, okay. Golden carrots unlimited. Oh, so I just went way overkill on that for no reason. Cool. <laughs> Uh, okay. That's nine enchanted golden carrot. Oh, and it's 24 per? Ah, that's so expensive. I'm going to have to farm a lot of freaking carrot. That's so expensive, man. We need... And we need ultimate, which is eight. Yeah, we're gonna have to farm a lot of freaking carrots. Gross. So I need 24. Let me see how many golden carrots exactly I need. So I need 24 enchanted golden carrot. Uh, each one requires half a stack, so that's 12 stacks per. I need to do that eight times, which is 96 stacks. Which is how many rows? Almost 11 rows. So, one, two, three. Where am I? So, we need almost 11 rows. So, like, ten and a half. So, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Ugh, it's awful. Now I need like two rows again. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. That's 10 rows and then that's actually okay we have a uh, excess we don't need that much golden carrot but that'll do okay so i guess i'll just put this here cool yeah i know i only need two ultimate though but in order to make ultimate you need to make eight of them you can't just make two which is really annoying, by the way. Well, there you go. Um, we're going to need to farm many, many carrot. Now, here's the problem, though. Here's another problem. I don't think I'm doing that before I start mining. So, here's another problem that we have. Um, we need to store all these gemstones for one billion coin, right? So, let's do some quick math. Um... 80 gemstones, 80 rough gemstones makes one flawed gemstone. 80 flawed makes one fine. So 6,400 um, makes one fine. And then a stack of fines is 409,600 gemstones times three coins each is 1.2288 million per stack of um gemstones so now divide 1 billion i'm doing this on my phone by the way 1 billion divided by 1.222 or 1.2288 million is 813 stacks of ruby gemstones that's a lot of gems 813 stacks so, each double chest has 54 slots, right? I think. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. Divided by 54 is 15.07 double chests 
<laughs> of gemstone. So we're gonna need to make some chests. Also, there's people on the island, so this is gonna be laggy. It is what it is, though, I suppose. Okay. Now that right there is 64 chests, which is 32 double chests. That's more than enough. Okay. I kind of went overboard on that one. We actually only need... Wait. No. I'm dumb. I need... I, I got way too many there. We only need 15 double chests. Yes. So where shall we put the ruby spot? Where's the ruby vault? 200 million coin daily sell limit. Oh, I didn't consider this. That's okay. I can sell 400 mil on the first day and get the hegemony artifact because I could sell it, wait for the day to roll over, sell it again. That's fine. Oh wait, I'm stupid. I need 30 chests because it's 15 double chests, right? I know how to do math. Okay, have you heard of personal space? Have you heard? Personal space. Oh my god, lag. Anyways. Um, now the point zero seven. What's, what's zero, what's 0 0.07 of a double chest? Is that like a stack or two? doesn't make that much of a difference anyways i'm gonna grab some red hardened clay because i think i'm gonna do this with ruby because as cool as armadillo mining is nah i i, I think this would be better so where's the ruby vault gonna be where am i making this let's make it over here let's make it over here so we're gonna have our ruby vault Thirty chests. This is where I shall place all of the gemstones while we await um How am I gonna structure this? Also the frames are so bad I can't see. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have that there. You know what? Here's the problem. Wait, how are people getting out? I left the the doors, the doors closed and that many people are escaping? Okay. I'm not making it an underground vault. I don't have an underground. It's in the sky. Okay. Um, so that's two, 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 two. I think we're going to make it like this. The gem vault is in construction. Actually, that's all it needs to be. Do you mind? Bruh. People, you did. Like, people don't respect personal space. You'd think by now, three years into a global pandemic, we'd understand what it means by now. Apparently my pet also doesn't know what personal space means. I need more clay. Yeah, I need more clay. Wasn't expecting this to be this much of a project. I think I'm just gonna have to close the island because people are awful right now. That was way too much. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep spamming the command the second people get too close. 
farming that social XP. <laughs> This is the ruby vault. Perfect. I have a feeling that it's going to keep respawning blocks up here, which is really annoying. Death disabled. They give it the two. Can I see your Devon armor? Un moment. I need to finish building this. I'm going to finish this project real quick and then I shall do that. And to get past the block spawning issue, we're going to put the glass there. So there's a block there, but I can still open the chest. These frames, bro. There we go. Did a tree literally just grow that? You know, it's, a, it's not a bug, it's a feature. The Ruby Vault shall have a tree growing in it. You know what? Doing this on an island where all the blocks respawn, not the greatest idea I've ever had, I admit. There we go. And then uh, we do this. I am so good at the building, as you can see. Such a creative design. And then we do that. My frames are dying so bad. That looks so strange. We're gonna. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, bop, bop. And there you have it. Let me just place around glass randomly because gemstones, right? Cool. That's the Ruby Vault. What are your thoughts, chat? Ruby Vault. <laughs> it's very scuffed. Death Disabled, thank you for another two. By the way, my wrist healed. It's not broken anymore. Oh, that's good. It's incredible. So this is where the 1 billion coins are going to be stored. You want one last detail I'm thinking of. We, we put these blocks here. That immediately made it worse. Let's undo that. That was bad. I want glass there. Looks better. Cleaner. Yes. It needs a door. It's fine. I'm the only one that can open the door. Or I'm I'm the only one that can open chests on the island. So the lore of this is that I don't need to worry about that. 
Maybe because of the jump boost, I should probably... Bro, it's so laggy! It's so bad. This is... I need to restart my freaking game, dude. And people wonder why people close their islands. This is awful. There you go. That's the... Uh, that's the... That's the... The vault. There it is. This is... If I fill every chest, this is just about a bill worth of gemstones. So there you go. Now we're gonna sell the rest to NPC. Get out of here. And then I'm getting off the island. And then I'm restarting my freaking game, actually, because what the hell? I need to restart the clients because lag. BLC, fix your memory leak, please! Also, I gotta throw away my sodas that I've had over the stream. I'll put those away. <laughs> I gotta take out the trash soon. There we go. Malik, thank you for the five dollars through super chat. Love the content, dude. Keep up the good work. Hey, I appreciate that. The five dollars. Ah, so I gotta show off my divine armor because I said I would. Yeah, I'm gonna show the divine armor. There it goes. Oh, there we go. Actual frames. You love to see it. Actual decent frame rate. Even with 22 people in a lobby. Oh, it's one player lobby. 120 FPS. Perfect. I'll take it. Anyways, uh, yeah. So this is the Devon armor. Might as well show it off to its full extent now that I think about it, actually. Hold on. Let's grab ourselves. I've already got the equipment as well. Glistening Vanquish Glowstone Gauntlet. Glistening Brown Belt. Glistening Ancient Cloak. Glistening Ender Necklace. Uh, take out the gauntlet. Buy ourselves another pass. Put my remaining 1.7 mil in the bank. We are poor. And then... We do this. Oh, I missed a double powder. Chat, you didn't remind me. I'm not going to blame chat for that. Warp CM. And then we go down here. Oringo? I already have every Oringo pet. Who cares? And then we go down to the lowest Y level. So, this is my Devon armor, jaded, recombed, uh, chambered, and perfect gems. Full freaking set right there. I'm using Bow Pet right now, Gemstone Gauntlet. If we check on my stats, 6,439 mining speed. That is incredible. 1,789 mining fortune. Keep in mind, I get plus 100 fortune on gemstones because of fortunate perks so technically it is 1889 1889 mining fortunate on gemstones and i believe the professional gives me mining speed on gemstones so i get an additional plus 235 mining speed when mining gemstones so it's like 230 in addition to what i have so it's like 6700 mining speed Oh, yeah. <laughs> so let's go. That's like, mm, that's some good stuff. That's some real good stuff. How long is streaming going? Five hours? Restart recording. Whoops. Uh, that went way too far. I was supposed to restart recording every three hours, not five. Wow. Wow. X Frost 13. Thank you for the NZ 349. How much for you to avoid Skeda? Uh, no. <laughs> A Ringo is here. I already have the pets. I already have the pets. 
I mean, fine. I'll look at a Ringo, and then I'll just be like, oh, I already have all these. See you later. Oh, wow. I already have this. Oh, wow. I already have this. And this. Now, this is legendary. Mine's epic, but still, I have more XP into the epic, so it's better. Uh, Super Doll, thank you for the NOK50. Forget the Skeda. How much for you to drop the bow in the void as you're never in a million years voiding Skeda? I'm not putting a price on voiding my mining pets, especially not before the one bill grind. Nah, it's not happening. Not, not, not gonna happen. Get the contact. How do you get the contact? How easy? If it's easy, I might as well. What do you want? My contact? What an unusual request. I travel a lot and I'm running quite low on silent pearls. If you bring me 64 of them, I'll give you my contact. That's actually pretty reasonable. I could do that. 64 silent pearls. That... You serious, bro? I could do that. Why do you need silent pearls? It's 80,000 coin. That's, that's like actually easy. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Great, silent pearls can be pretty useful sometimes. Not really. The only purpose they did have was to pearl during a race, but you can't even do that anymore. The super doll, thank you for another end, okay? What about voiding black cat? Why does chat want me to void items? It's not gonna happen. You know what, chat? Let me tell you something. Although I like money, this profile needs to progress quickly. That's the whole point. That's why that's why I'm even that's why I'm doing this. I want to make a profile that progresses quickly. But hey, if people start like, you know, paying for things I need, like I'm going to have to pay probably 5 grand just to get a fence around the house. Isn't that fun? 10 grand to get uh, no surgery. You know, it's like these numbers are so high that it's like, I'm not willing. <laughs> I'm not willing. Unless someone like literally Mr. Beast's the stream right now, which is not going to happen. <laughs> Super Doff with another NRK20. Disappointed chat noises. If I had to think about the cheapest financial goal right now, it would cost four grand to put the down payment on solar. It would cost probably two grand to put cobblestone around the driveway so some so people have a place to stand when they get out of cars we're bringing it down we're bringing it down what other goals do i have for finances um why are you paying for no surgery welcome to the us of a where health insurance doesn't matter I'm, there's no way that's getting covered there's zero percent chance it's getting covered I don't know what's i'm trying to think of a cheaper financial goal than all of that um i want to get a ping pong table for downstairs and that'd be like 250 to 300 bucks but i'm not doing that as a goal because it's too easy which is funny but no and that's like not a high priority goal at all i don't need a ping pong table as a matter of fact i'm not gonna do that until everything else is done and handled because it's more important as a matter of fact, the surgery is probably the most important financial goal right now. But it doesn't matter. It's fine. Just come to the EU to get nose surgery. <laughs> you are aware that it's nine days until Scorpius. How are you going to get a bill? Simple. 20 million coins an hour of ruby. 10 hours a day. Should have it in five days. You're not telling me that you're doubting me, chat. You're not telling me you're doubting me. Do you think that I would not do that? Anyways, I have to use the bathroom, so... You get to look at the vault. That That's how many chests need to be full, by the way, if you just got here. For the one bill. I'll be back.
Oh, would you look at that? I come back and the screen is covered. I'm not surprised at all. So anyways, as I was saying, chat, are you doubting me? 20 million coins an hour for 10 hours a day for five days. As a matter of fact, that means I have time. I could take a day off or two if I wanted. And I actually plan on it. Halloween day, I'm going to do a lot of IRL chores. <laughs> You don't make 20 mil an hour. You know, we could test that if you want. What if I set up a Ruby route and then once the setup is done, we do a speed test. Do you want to do that chat? Cause I have accomplished most of my other goals for the stream. I finished the carrot farm. I have to farm a lot more of it to get the contact for Maxwell, which is my, I need that. I need it. As a matter of fact, I should actually get the upgrader right now. Um, I don't know, chat. Do it. You want me to do a speed test? All right. Okay. Fine. We'll do a speed test. There's one thing I wanted to do for first, but I already forgot what it was. Chat, help me. I was going to do something. I forgot what it was. There was one other thing I was supposed to do first. I've completely forgotten. Oh. Oh, with health insurance, depending on how much you pay, you will get an amount of money where if you go over, no, here's the problem. I have a high deductible health plan because it's a, it's an investing choice, right? A high deductible plan means I get to open an HSA account, which is essentially a mini Roth IRA, except better because I can essentially write off $3,600 a year like you can with a 401k, but you can take out the money and what you earn from that money um without being taxed like a roth it's like no zero taxes it's great it's like the ultimate tax shelter but it's only 3600 dollars a year and i get to write off the deductible which is 300 bucks a month so I, I did the math it's like opening up an hsa literally profits I get to profit from having health insurance until I have to actually have a medical procedure done, which I'm not going to do through insurance because the deductible is like 10 grand. So like I would have to pay up until 10 grand anyways. Sorry. Uh, finance nerd has arrived. No, um, here's the thing I was going to do that I forgot. We're going to buy the carrot candy upgrader. Ooh, they changed some of the icons here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, where's the thing that I need? Upgrade components. Here we go. Ultimate carrot candy upgrade. 8,000 bits? Gross. Wow, that's like almost an entire cookie's worth. That's awful. Why is this game forcing me to do this? That's so bad. Yeah. Can I spend 14k bits on something? Is there anything I could want? Oh! Actually? Should I put this on the gemstone sack? Hey chat, what are your thoughts? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. You need two. No, you don't. You need one. Wouldn't make a difference because it would still fill up. Mining sack. So I don't accidentally pick up too many things. What do you mean you need two? Oh, you need two candy upgrader? What? You need two candies? No, you don't. You need one to upgrade eight, isn't it? Hold on. Hi, Pixel Sky Block Wiki Ultimate Carrot Candy. The fandom one still showed up first. You need two ultimates. Yeah, chat, you're being small brain right now. <laughs> I, I hate to tell you, but you're being small brain. Wait. Uh oh. Hold on. Press the wrong button. 
You're being small brain. You need one ultimate carry upgrade. Ultimate carrot candy upgrade. And then eight superbs, which I'm making. And it gives you 10 ultimate carrot candies. That's that's what I need is two ultimate can I don't need two upgraders. Don't be small brain. You get 10 per craft. What are you talking about? <laughs> Maxwell only needs two. I get 10. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Chat's being so small brain right now. Let's get the sack in a sack. I don't know which one I put it in though. Honestly, the most annoying sack is the regular mining sack. It fills up really quickly with like redstone, coal, diamonds, hardstone, like incidentally as I'm doing stuff. So I feel inclined to put it on this because chat's right. The gemstone sack is going to fill no matter what. So it's like kind of pointless. So probably the mining sack would make the most sense. I would want to use it on the slayer sack, but that's not maxed yet. That would be the next obvious choice. Let's put it on the mining sack. This sack is stitched with a pocket sack in a sack. I hate that sentence. <laughs> that is the worst sentence ever. <laughs> well, there you go. The capacity is 60,000 of each item. Nice. Does it stack? That's a good question, honestly. Could you have multiple of that? Probably not. What a sentence. He has the worst sentence in the world. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. All right. I think we're ready to go uh, to do some mining. Oh, boy. Is everything set to go? There's no... Hello. People are still finding me, so that means I have to do this. I have to nick. Actually, I'm going to have to keep the screen hidden because... Um, I'm about to... I'm about to find my gemstone spot, which I'm not allowed to leak. So... Sorry, chat. You're just going to get to look at my face for the next minute and a half. <laughs> warp cn yeah i have to stay hidden or else i get in trouble with my guild so we're gonna set up all of the waypoints and i just had an idea but it might take too long to implement said idea it's going to take too long to implement the idea. I'll do it off stream. I was about to say I should make each waypoint different shades of color so that it goes from red all the way to like violet and then back to red again. So it makes it easier subconsciously for me to follow the path. Okay. Time to get to the coordinates. Is it the same as part doggo's route? I don't know what route he uses. I'm not going to tell you who gave me my route because I don't want people to be able to investigate this. I'm even traveling starting at the um, magma field so that you don't hear any mob noises that would suggest that I'm in a certain biome. And I'm going to block the entrance so people in the lobby don't find it. It's a little overkill. But you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, I know. I've already disabled map. I don't want anyone to know where I'm going. If I was wearing glasses, I would have taken them off so there's no reflection. 
and the resolution of the stream isn't high enough for you to see the reflection in my eyes which some people have been saying now are we safe there is no indicator of biome there's no indication of biome even if you could see the reflection of my eyes i just said i started in magma field so you couldn't even see which direction i went all right we are safe no one knows where these coordinates are the only people that know already have the cords because they recognize the structures so what we're gonna do is clean out the area we're gonna dig out the path and i remember there's an extra one over here somewhere let me find it this is in case i'm going too fast oh no 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 lag please no lag there's one up here i believe as an extra that's not marked but i remember it apparently not and i'm just stupid okay well whatever uh let's just go this way then so we're gonna dig out the path yo i'm mine in the same spot see that's not a problem i don't care if you already use these cords because that's not me leaking it that's just you also knowing the thing it's an inside club i suppose I recognize that block. I'll see you soon. Should probably also toggle chat so people know sniper lobby. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm actually gonna go to 4.5 and then four because with my mining speed, I'm gonna need the extra gemstones. So the way this path works is it's not enough for me to just mine blocks. I have to mine some pains because there's just not enough gemstones in the route then again then again um some people in guild apparently have other gemstones that are close enough that i could like reroute the route and implement more gemstone veins so after stream i might get to talk into some guild members and recreate a new path that has more veins of ruby so that i can mine a higher percentage of blocks versus pains that's the goal so we're gonna finish digging this guy out and then we're gonna do our math we're gonna be we're gonna figure out where i'm at with coins i'm probably gonna time myself for like maybe five minutes actually 10 minutes so it's more accurate and then we'll multiply what i get times six and then there you go then i'll have the amount that i make first i gotta dig it out Then we'll get to see just how much 30 virus makes from ruby mining now granted i am going to have an artifact of power that is max gemstones therefore rarity upgraded to legendary it's already recom to epic but it will be legendary so that's something to keep in mind so i will get like an extra maximum like and mining fortune and there is some heart of the mountain grinding there is resetting my tree putting all points in the fortune i'm aware of all of these things but this test is going to be currently before that so that's seven eights up there so i'm going to make a little path up here a lot of people are giving their guesses i'm going to predict 18 mil an hour I'm going to be optimistic. But we're going to time it at 10 minutes and see how we do. It'd be cool if I was smart with my OBS and actually had a literal timer on screen. But you're just going to have to take my word for it with a phone alarm. Now, the other thing, too, is if I had AOTV, then it'd be better, too. So, you yeah, know, that's a thing. Should probably set up some cobblestone underneath a few of these veins so that I have something to stand on while I'm mining the gems. There we go. So I'll stand like here. Good.
<laughs> yeah, bear with me for a little bit, chat. I gotta set up my spot. And I go down here, make a two by two. Should connect with down there. So for those unaware of this route, the way it works is I mine, if the game loads, I mine this and then I go up here. I mine these two, then I go this way. There we go, that's 10. Then 11 is this way. Then 12 is actually below me. It's over here. So then I make a hole here. And then there's some over here. And then the rest is down here. Yeah, setting up takes about 10 minutes. It's not too bad, honestly. There we go. And then we go to 13 over this way. Now, keep in mind, I have not been ruby mining for very long. So my strategy is also in need of improvement. By the end of this process, it sure will be dialed in. But for now, it's not quite. Okay, there we go. So we have 13. It goes up to 17, I believe. So we're almost through the loop. We're going to make our way back to one very soon. So there's 14. I'm also going to disable jump boost, actually, now that I think about it. There's jump boost. There we go. Jump boost is very annoying when you're mining. Now, where's 15? Oh. 15's right here. That's right. Yeah, jump boost just makes things harder. So we're not going to have that. Better to just teleport with AOT. Then we have 16. And then finally 17 right here and then it goes to one again and it's a loop see 17. now keep in mind this is all magma fields so bow pet and we connect right here okay the route is dug out this is it this is the route this is what I will be mining with. I think I'm going to do one pass through of placing cobble underneath just so I have something to stand on and then we're good to go. This should take much less time because placing cobbles quickly. It's quick. Here we go. So that's that. We go this way. I'm going to need a lot of cobble. Yep. There we go. I place cobble because it doesn't, um, efficient miner or mole doesn't act on it, which I could turn off mole to be fair. Then we do this. It's not that important. I don't usually do this actually. It's just a little bit. On the way down, I honestly don't need it. It's only for like some of them where I've already dug out too far underneath. Like this one. Oh my god, the pet. Building with pets is awful, by the way. And then I feel like most of the rest of these I don't need to do that with. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's go back to one and let's start the process. Then we get to do our speed test. Not the most elegant eloquent of um setups but here we go gemstone gauntlet bow pet equipment armor good to go efficient miner disabled if i haven't already 
Yes. And let's set a clock here, timer. And we are going to set it for 10 minutes and 10 seconds. The first 10 seconds is just to get situated. Oh, last detail. We are going to take out all the rubies that I have. We're going to put one in the super compactor. And we're going to sell everything I have. So no rubies. Coins in the bank. Completely fresh. And here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Server's a little laggy right now, so that's not going to help our rates. Server's laggy! I think it's in Hypixel's code that if there is a speed boost active, you're going to lag. That's why we're setting it to 10 minutes. And yes, I'm mining some pains because I have to. Because my mining speed is too fast to just break the blocks. So we're going to have a few pains that I break along the way. Not all of them, though. I disabled Efficient Miner because it doesn't work with Pristine. The server lag is bad. Usually it's way faster than this, actually. The, the lag is not helping rates. Dude, what is going on? There we go. I predict I'm going to get like a loop and a half before the timer runs out. Maybe not if the lag keeps going. Holy balls. Disabling uh, jump boost is great. It, it's so annoying bumping your head on the roof. Yeah, th th this lag is not making for a very good test right now. So keep that in mind whenever I get the number. This is not good. Make that ceiling a little taller so that doesn't happen again. Why did you swear? I didn't swear. Chad always thinks that I swear. I don't do that. What did, what did I say? What did I say that was close to a swear? <laughs> this lobby's connection is disappointing. I'm not sure just how big an impact lag has on rates, but it's got to be like a 20% decrease at least. Balls? That's not... If you think balls is a swear, then I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you'd have to grow up in a household that that's it's that strict. I used to get in trouble for calling people stupid. <laughs> stupid was a swear at my dad's house growing up kind of funny not allowed to be bullies no there's a freaking person here please don't be a malicious griefer please please just be here to hang out please do not be here maliciously 
That would be really inconvenient. I have chat toggled, so I can't tell what your intentions are, but please don't. I'm not surprised someone found it because there's people that always find me somehow and then they had to have known the chords already. Next. Should have had a cobblestone platform on this one, but I didn't. It looks like they're friendly so far, but that could change at any moment. See, that's what a speed boost is supposed to look like when you're not lagging. Imploding, thank you for the two. It's me. I already sniped cords from the guild. Okay, good. See, that's that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm suddenly a lot less anxious. Welcome to the cords. How is my mining? A solid... What is it? A 6 out of 10? 7 out of 10? <laughs> in terms of strategy? I know in gear it's like an 8 out of 10 maybe. Those last two points would have to be Devondrill, obviously. And we're back to the beginning soon. We have four and a half minutes left on the timer. Oh, this lag. Yeah, I feel like I'm crawling through this route right now because of the lag. It's not very good. This is very unfortunate. I could actually have uh, broken less um, pains. Because I actually made it back and all the blocks are back already. So I can break less pains next lo loop. So I will make sure to do that. Yeah, the connection's making this so much worse. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this connection. Oh, that's gross. That's just bad. There goes half of my speed boost to lag. See, this is what the whole loop is supposed to look like, is what just happened. But it doesn't. Ooh, maybe, maybe this is what happens when you stream over a VPN. Or it's just high pixel, which is equally possible. I wouldn't be surprised if this is much lower than 20 mil just because of the lag. This is definitely not normal. Yeah, we're going to try and go mostly blocks now. I think because of the lag, we have the we have the the time for the gems to respawn by the other end. I'm using a VPN to stream because right now Florida cannot connect to Hypixel. It's very disappointing. It's basically the EU problems, but worse. I don't know about worse, but like every two minutes I get disconnected. I can't play. So I have to use this right now. But the problem is, the thing is it wasn't lagging this bad the rest of the time. So I don't know what the hell happened. Seems weird. Oh, I think I'm going a little too fast. I just, yeah, I'm going a little too fast. The gems are not respawning. Whoops. Went a little too quick. All right, we're going to have to slow it down a little bit. We have to go for more pains. Yeah, this test is ruined by the lag, dude. This is awful. Yeah, 
This is not going to be an accurate representation at all. A minute left on the timer. Trying to mine more pains just so I give the game time to respawn the gems below me. Yeah, this is this is this is so not good. I'm so disappointed, man. I wanted an accurate test. What is this garbage? 30 seconds. Bruh. Bruh. All right, we're about to find out. We're about to find out four, three, two, one. Done. That was 10 minutes of extremely laggy ruby mining. Like awful lag. I got 69 coins from the talisman. So we're gonna deposit that. Oh, it's gonna make such a difference in our calculation. All right, let's see what we got. It's not going to be 20 mil. It's not even going to be close because of this stupid lag. Well, actually, it's not going to be 20 mil because I have to multiply whatever it is by six. That's right. All right. So let's see how many coins. 2.5. Yeah, it's really bad rates. The lag. So it's. Two, five, six, five, seven, fifty, six times six. Fifteen point four mil an hour. Not bad. I lagged so bad. I would say that was not a 20% reduction in speed. That was like a 35% reduction in speed. Like that was bad. Like, look at this. Look at this right now. The lag is awful, and I still managed 15.4 million. So imagine it's not lagging. I could easily make 20 million an hour if I'm not lagging. This is awful, though. This is just, this is a bad lobby. It's either a bad lobby. Hey, Implodent, since you're here too, are you experiencing the lag? Like, if you were to slap some of the topaz, are you experiencing the same garbage I'm seeing right now? Or is that me? All right. Oh, you know what? Are you on my friend list? Oh yeah, friend request disabled. Slash um, friend request me imploding. Because I think if we both friend request, it will still work despite having them disabled. There we go. So are you getting <laughs> that Nick on your name? <laughs> that is funny when that happens. That's like 50 hours for a bill. <laughs> My Nick Hyder. <laughs> That's funny. 15.4 <laughs> mil an hour. I'm getting the lag as well. Okay. So yeah, that's the lobby then. That's not that's not my connections problem. That's not the VPN's problem. That's just high pixel being high pixel. So if I got a good lobby, then it would probably be 20 mil an hour. I, we could try testing it in another lobby or just hope that this one suddenly is less laggy. I'm powder mining and having no issues. Your lobby sucks. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Now, the problem is, is it worth going back and doing this all again in a different lobby that's less crap? I think it might be. This is awful. What is this lobby? Yeah. So briefing, what's your what's your guess as to like reduction in speed based on lag? Like I'm thinking a 30%. Like this is this is some pretty severe lag. Which means, you know, 30% slower, which means I would be at about 20 mil an hour actually had it not been for this lag. Oh, the problem is it's so nice now because Implodent, like, 
Yeah, look at look at how much room I have to do this. The structure is perfect. It's just the lag of the lobby is awful. Your connection is breaking. Your concentration is breaking and you're complaining and hurting yourself. Also, just double powder just started. Ooh. Well, the thing is, yeah, the complaining definitely played a small impact, but most of it's just straight up lag. I don't know, man. That, that was bad. If double powder just started, I feel inclined to give up on the lobby. Chat, yes or no? Do I leave the lobby? I mean, it might not even be worth holding. Like, digging this out was a good effort, but, like, it's not worth. Like, this is just so laggy. Leave? That's what I'm feeling like I should do, probably, is just leave. Oh, what the hell? What? Ah! <laughs> Where did you guys come from? <laughs> This is four of us. <laughs> That's funny. Run away. <laughs> Uh-oh, am I going to murder them? Ooh, took out half their HP. <laughs> Devon gang. Let's see what everybody's got. Ooh, you don't have any mining speed gemstones. How about you? Or are you the same? Wait. Are you telling me no one's got amber on their gemstones? Oh, the lag. Lag. Here we go. Imploded knows what's up. We're the only ones with max gemstones in the armor. They all armadillo mine. Do they? Uh, this is, um, is this Imploden's friend group? I would imagine. But anyways, um, as cool as this lobby could have been, the lag ruined it. I, I don't know. I think we're going to have to... Well, actually. Of course, now the AOTE is doing okay. Let's do another loop around, see if it... Mm. No, nah, the lobby's bad. All right, I'm going to have to give up on it. Yeah, let's just leave. Sorry, chat. It's just not worth it. If double powder just started as well... Yeah, we need to we need to powder grind. How about this? Maybe we'll find a lobby that's less laggy. I'll experiment with like Jade or something just to see if the breaking is Oh wait. wait, 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 wait. Let's just make sure that I don't do that. <laughs> there we go. Anyways. Do not replace the second L? What are you talking about? Goodbye. Yeah, I had to leave. But, uh, let's see if this lobby is any good. Warp. CN. Well, actually, hold on. I'm dumb. Let's do powder mining. Ball? Chow, what are you on about? What are you on about? Some people could just... Some people could prob just... Anyways bald really really i spawned right next to a jungle temple this is not what i needed i just want wait do i have red explorer on i do where's my speed there we go will you make a video on armadillo mining well, technically, yes, because, uh, did my, oh my God, potion ran out. I was like, what happened? Where'd my speed? And I thought it was a jungle temple. There we go. <laughs> you missed Diaz extra interest. I don't care. It's fine. But 2.5 mil in 10 minutes chat. That's not bad for a laggy lobby. This one's also bad. So I'm just going to powder mine here. We're going to go searching for a not laggy lobby and we're going to try again. Do you have Mithril Golem pet? I do, but why? <laughs> why would I want to use that? Let's put this over here. Chest. 
turn off jump boost effect. All right, I have to do that again. Jump boost is just a, honestly. Screw jump boost, then. Jump boost is wait. Weird. Jump boost is just not good. <laughs> like it just slows you down so bad when you're doing like any grind in this game. Name me one grind other than the races that are assisted by jump boost or that level of jump boost like <laughs> almost every grind in the game you're better off teleporting with aote instead of just leaping in the air zealot grinding is slower ruby mining slower maybe you can make an argument for dillo mining but even then it's probably better with aotv dungeons yeah i could see it with dungeons but you don't get it by default because you don't get any you don't bring any potion effects with you Slayer? I guess if you need to escape from a Slayer, but it's gonna make it slower to grind though. It decreases fall damage. We have, we have Feather Falling 10. We stand jump boost for Dillo. Really? All right, fair enough. I don't. <laughs> I would much rather, I don't know. I. You know, I could see it for armadillo mining, actually, because if you're aiming with AOTV, it helps you get more leverage if you jump. Fair enough, fair enough. So there's, like, three use cases. There's, I guess, dillo mining to get a good AOTV teleport. There's jumping over the beams with Enderman. And then dungeons. And the tr uh, and the, the races, but like almost every other situation, you're better off without it. Use Mithril Golem, 20% more powder. Isn't it only Mithril Powder though? It is only Mithril Powder. Does that even work with chests though? Chat, does that work with Does that work with chests? I guess there's no way to really know. Well, it's better than Bao, because Bao isn't doing anything for me right now. While mining, it says. I'm probably better off with Skate. I don't I don't know. It's hard to... Yeah, briefing just messed with me. It says while mining, so it might not... I don't know if it counts from chests. Actually, wouldn't it literally break it down? Doesn't it break it down somewhere? Am I dumb? It breaks it down here. 46.4% more powder versus if I switch to like ammo night. I think it does. I think it actually, wow. I think, I think it actually does count. Fair enough, I guess. Wait, does that mean that Mithra Golem's a definitive chest mining it doesn't check previous message check previous message while mining refers to mining like breaking a block would it work with daily powder probably not i don't know why daily powder didn't work last time let's try it again yeah no it doesn't well i already daily powder is already done for the day good day I don't know. Doesn't make too big a difference anyways. Probably Skate is the best uh, because of the perk that makes chests more frequent. What's well, his treasure? So I still don't even know if that's true. Yeah, like what does it mean? A chance to find treasure when mining. Is that the chests or is that extra drops? I don't know. They, These descriptions aren't very good. It's a very confusing. I don't know, man. I disable daily powder so I don't proc it by accident. I only want to get daily during double powder because they stack. And it's only something you can get once per day. It's chests now, but it wasn't before. They should probably change the description then to just say 2.5% chance to get treasure chests when mining. <laughs> Wouldn't that make all the sense? 
I don't know. Was that a note block I just heard? You should use mineral armor to <laughs> mine or no. No, the mining fortune from Devon is far superior than the extra blocks broken. Um, efficient miner's a thing anyways. I just have it disabled because gemstone mining set up. But yeah, after this double powder is done, we're going to find a better lobby to test the ruby. I really want to get a 20 mil an hour span of 10 minutes. Wait, wait. That wasn't English, but you know what I mean. I just need to find a lobby that's not awful. I think we're going to test it with like Mine of Devon with uh, Amber or with um, Jade. I'm bombing a lobby for you right now. Oh, you already found a good lobby? Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Imploding out here with the clutch for the stream, bringing that content to us. Very good. What happened to Yogg? I put it in the museum. It's no longer helpful for us, which makes me a little sad. It was their armor for so long. Well, hopefully. Well, if you pick the lobby, then I'm assuming that you tested if it's lag free first. <laughs> Unless it just becomes lag, in which case L. Rip Yog armor. It was a sad time. It was a sad 30 second span there. Is powder buff bugged? No, it's unbugged. They fixed it. Hello. Wait a minute. Is the lobby that you're... Is the lobby that you guys are prepping this one that I'm already in? Wait a minute. We have the whole squad here again. <laughs> you know what I just realized? If they all powder mine, it makes a lot of sense why none of them bothered to put amber on their gear. Because it literally doesn't make a difference. Ah, I see. Because Dillo Mining does not use mining speed. Imploded sniping. How far behind are the videos right now? The last estimation I did was 270 hours of footage. Now it's probably more like 300 hours of footage. I'm producing footage faster than it's getting consumed, which is good. Well, this past week, it probably hasn't been because I've been doing so much off camera grinding. And that trend will continue until Scorpius is over. Because I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to go in Scorpius. Um, dark auctions without getting sniped so i might have to do it off stream then again if i just cover my screen i should be fine but then there's going to be no recorded content so hmm. we have the lobby so is this not the lobby I'm, i'll just wait until imploding invites me that probably make the most sense actually i can probably get an invite soon double powder's about to end Didn't get a whole lot this time. We have 160k gemstone powder though. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. What's your current money stash for Scorpius? I haven't started yet. I have not started the grind. We only have like 4.3 mil, but that's fine because we were spending all of my time setting up. The grind has not yet begun. I have double powder for 11 minutes. Would you like an invite? Sure, actually. I'll, that's that. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I'll, I'll get an invite. I'll do another 11 minutes of double powder. And then uh, I'll get a warp back into the lobby that's being prepped right now. Can't afford that mining fortune. Bro. TY, TY. All right. Uh, warp. Crystal nucleus. Ooh, 11 minutes. 
That's not the jungle. No! <sighs> we don't talk about what just happened. I have like no men on this armor. You know what would be funny is if I was such a sweat that I put wisdom on this armor so I could AOTE around faster. <laughs> is that a thing people do? Probably. They put wisdom on their Devon armor so that they can AOTV around more efficiently. Hypixel moment. Oh, right. The other thing, too, is I'm specced into Enderman Slayer right now. So if I actually wanted to have mana, I would just go sighted, which would be a big help. Yeah, I would just switch um, with Maxwell if I had the contact, which I don't because it's unnecessarily expensive, but it's fine. It's a very powerful contact to have, so I guess it's worth the high price. Put Legion on the armor so when someone comes to grief, you get more mining fortune so it evens out. <laughs> I don't think it would help for that much. Does Legion actually increase mining fortune? Because that, I could see that being abused. Someone has like seven or eight people that get warped in and just sit there and watch them ruby mine. Or like alts. No, it doesn't. Okay. I was about to say, I would have heard about it by now if that was the case as a strategy. What are your other plans for the stream? Well, I want to do a proper test. I want to see what I can actually make per hour if the lobby's not awful. And if the lobby's not lagging, I'm going to be focusing a lot. I'm going to be like maximum focus, I believe. It's going to be like... Not great stream content, I don't think, unless you want to see some sick mining strats, which I'm not that great at anyway, so it's not going to be the best stream content. It'll be the best test I can manage, which is the most important part. After that, um, I don't know, maybe more Dugans, maybe some more Ruby mining, like just casually getting 100 mil, that'd be cool. Getting 100 mil would take 5 hours, so I don't think I would be doing all of that on stream. But I do want to get 100 mil today. So I might do some of it on stream, the rest after stream. Are you going to play bingo? Not this time. Getting the coins for Scorpius is way more important. We're also going to have to redo the Heart of the Mountain Tree. I'm not sure if I should do that now or if I should Powder Grind. I'm probably going to have to do it now. So after this... Yeah, you know what, chat? Screw it. After this double powder, I am going to reset my Heart of the Mountain Tree. And we're going to dump all of my points into the only things that matter for uh, Ruby Mining. So no Efficient Miner. No... Um, Grand Explorer, whatever it's called. Even though technically powder buff doesn't matter for coins, I still want it because I can use that as a way to just get a ton of powder and make myself more efficient as the grind continues. <laughs> Keep in mind to get one mil from Scorpius bribe. Ah, yes. One tenth of a percent of the way there. Not even one percent. A tenth of one percent. One in one thousand. A thousand million is what's required for my goal. <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. A uh, free mill is a free mill. You know what's crazy? After grinding for a million coins in Skyblock and then thinking I have to do a thousand million to get a billion, it really puts in perspective how crazy it is to be a billionaire in real life. I just think about how overly inflated coins are in Skyblock. Instead of coins, there are some people on this earth that have a billion dollars. Like what? Because like right now, right? 
in skyblock me getting a million coins is fairly easy right in real life getting a million dollars is like a thousand times more difficult and then having to do that a thousand a thousand million like what that's insane the fact that there's a human being that has a billion dollars let alone some have 200 billion dollars that's crazy that's insane the richest person in the world has more dollars than the richest player in skyblock has coins is that true the richest person is probably some oil baron if not elon musk what are you serious though for real <laughs> that's insane <laughs> that's insane that's crazy it's elon musk dude's been grinding harder than all skyblock players combined <laughs> except instead of coins it's dollars jeez well, not all Skyblock players combined. All Sky Skyblock players combined is probably like multiple trillions, hundreds of trillions. There's a lot of Skyblock players. I just want to know his money making method well you know i think it's uh you buy a company you make that company successful and then you sell it again that's what he did with paypal that's what he did with tesla he didn't sell tesla though people think he started those companies but he he bought them same goes for twitter now I have a lot of respect for Elon Musk, but I do feel like he's being over glorified. Like he's not the founder of PayPal as far as I know, nor is he a founder of Tesla, but he has accomplished some great things. So I'm not going to discredit that. He also didn't start from nothing. <laughs> he didn't quite fulfill the American dream. He already had a head start, which again, I'm not, I'm not criticizing him for it. It is what it is, but let's be realistic let's have all the information here so we could properly judge what he did and the other thing too is you know every design every product he didn't solely design the rockets and the cars right he has a team of people that he leads to be fair but it's not like all pouring out of his brain it, there are multiple hundreds of engineers thousands of engineers that help make these things happen i believe he started with money he made from selling a company he and his brother started see here's the thing where things get murky right i don't know for sure probably his biggest criticism i've seen is something about his parents with the emerald mine the thing is i don't know how much of that money he actually got to see or take out loans against or whatever so i can't comment on that to discredit him for all i know he just never took advantage of that money i don't know maybe he did maybe he got a loan from his parents i have no idea so i can't say that but i don't know he started with a loan from his parents ah see that's what i thought that's what I'm pretty sure. But again, it's not gonna, it's not to discredit him. He still accomplished great things. It's just a more accurate portrayal. <laughs> yeah, like we're not gonna deny. I, he's obviously very smart. Like a $300,000 loan. Yeah, everybody's got their little advantages. Like again, my website job, I wouldn't have gotten that for seven months for my uh, school co-op had my family not known them. You know, like there's there's little details. It's very rare that someone literally just starts from nothing and then makes a career. Like you could even argue that me doing YouTube is from a place of privilege because I had all the time to make the content and be ready. Granted, when Hytale came out, which was my 
breakout moment. That was my explosion moment. I was desperate. Financially, not good. I did have free time, though. Um, the circumstances lined up to allow me to make content during that time and finally gave me a chance to start things out. But you could technically argue that's from a place of uh, privilege, right? Because I could have been working a job and just didn't have time to make Hytale videos and then would have never made them and then never would have gotten the chance to have a skyblock audience six months later and then make this into a job so you know it's like not every accomplishment everyone makes is entirely their own but that's not to discredit them it's like there's still a lot of hard work involved like i'll be the first to tell you thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of work it's not easy but it's not entirely me it's it's partially some luck or circumstance that leads to these things you know You had access to the internet? Well, I feel like most people have that privilege nowadays. Luck plays a role, but you have to do the rest. Yeah, that's a Technoblade quote. He said something along the lines of, luck brings the opportunity, but you have to be the one to actually do something with it. Another double powder next event, by the way. My lobby is day 7.21. Okay, uh, if the next event's double powder and it's in your lobby, can I get a warp? Just so that I don't um, accidentally lose it if the lobby closes to the public. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Then I can get the last double powder. <laughs> that Nick Hyder name, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it takes skill to grasp the luck and turn it into success. Yes. Or not, not pure warp. Uh, warp crystal nucleus. Oh, another double powder for 11 minutes. We're doing some, we're doing some work right now with this powder mining. This is very good. I mean, this is the last chance I'm going to get before I reset my heart of the mountain tree. So it better be good. 30, real question. Uh, this is what I believe in. I believe life is completely based on luck and what you do with that luck. Well, yeah. I think luck plays a factor, of course, but it's not all luck. So, yeah, it's... it's it's. Uh, I don't know what the percentages are, but I think, yeah, life is opportunity plus um, what you do with the opportunities. And there's some things you can do to increase the number of opportunities you get. So. It's hard to say how much of it's luck. Because you really could. It's like. If life was like a game of cards. Let's say that life was blackjack, right? <laughs> Maybe not blackjack. That's not the best example. Let's say it's a card game. Where. Let's say it's a theoretical card game. Where the more cards you have, the better things are. Right? Right? No, you know what? Let's stick with blackjack. Let's say, right? Your life is a game of blackjack. There's random chance, and then there's a little bit of strategy. But there are some things you can do in life that, like, modifies the stack of cards. Like, for example, if I were to make a friend who then later in life would become a business owner who I could talk to and get a job from... That's the equivalent of taking out a crappy card like a three and replacing it with an ace in the deck. So my chances of getting a good hand just went up, right? Let's say I lived in the United States. Maybe that introduced another ace into the deck. Let's say, I don't know. Um, I was thinking of an example of mine. Making Hytale videos and talking to Hytale News led to me meeting Fezzi, who now edits all the videos and does a crazy amount of good stuff for the channel. That was an opportunity that came about only because I started making Hytale videos. So the fact that I covered Hytale was like, I don't know. <laughs> you learn to code. Ah, yeah. Learning to code definitely gave me a few good cards in the deck that led to many opportunities. So, you know, that's the way I... I think it, it makes sense, right? Proactive serendipity. 
Chat, I think you're losing me here. There's too many big words. <laughs> okay, I set up the lobby. All right, Pog. As soon as this double powder is over, I'm going to check it out. Would be way cooler if you had ether warp, but oh well. Yeah, it would. It definitely would. But that's the next thing I'm working on after this bill. So when I grind for the next bill for G Drag, then then we're gonna be then we're gonna be doing real well. By then I'll probably have uh, six five five um, ether warp, maybe even more powder in my heart of the mountain tree. Probably way more powder. If I'm gonna grind a second bill, it better be more efficient. May I ask what was your method of mining amber? So I found like 17 veins of amber by accident. And it's very similar to the way the ruby routes work. Also, I had um, one of you guys give me some cords. Essentially, I set up the same thing where I found a big collection of them and then I just made a loop and just kept on uh, mining them just like I did with the ruby, except it was amber. But it was slower because Ruby's faster to break and the veins were uh, larger, more blocks versus panes. So, you know, Amber, it wasn't as good, but it was decently fast enough. It took me about a day. It took it took half of the day to get the Amber gemstones and the other half of the day to get five other types of gemstones for, you know, various upgrades like the Artifact of Power and the Gauntlet. I think just all lobbies are laggy right now. This one's not so bad. This one isn't too bad compared to the other one. Well, compared to the other one, it's great. This is a great lobby. <laughs> that last lobby was awful. All right, regardless of how laggy this lobby ends up being, zero complaints. I'm going to focus. I might not even speak during the 10 minutes. Like I am going to go all in to try and get the most coins so that I can give the best example of how powerful my setup is. So get ready for that. In five minutes. Oh yeah, watching the videos versus the streams, it's ridiculous. For those watching this video, if this footage makes it into the video, what did we just do in the videos? I literally just got the Yogg armor like a few episodes ago. I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, I just got the tree cap. That's what happened in the most recent video. I got tree capitator. <laughs> Derpy has yet to start. <laughs> That's hilarious. Derpy hadn't even started yet in the videos yeah we're about to get scorpius right now oh come on game does he put it in i don't know he's gonna be skipping a lot of this footage to get to the good part like me testing the ruby 
I have a feeling what we're about to do is going to become the title of the video. If I genuinely do make 20 million coins in an hour, or at least that's what the rate is, that's a beautiful title. We have two more minutes until double powder is done. How much powder are you at? I'll check as soon as the double powder is done. Ooh, that was good. 3,300 gemstone powder. That's 6,600 after double. Very good. Oh, another 4,000. Bro, I just got... I just got 14,000 gemstone powder in a matter of three seconds. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> powder grinding is OP, chat. It's a little RNG based. Just a little bit. Wow. The most I've ever gotten from a chest post update was like 5,500 from a chest, which means 11,000 after double powder. That's crazy. And it could be so much better because I, I haven't even maxed out powder buff yet. I've got a 12 minute double powder lobby for it. No, it's fine. This is the last one I'm going to do just for the sake of content. We're going to test out our 10 minute time with Ruby again in a better lobby. There's plenty of double powders I can attend after the test. Honestly, I might want to stick around in the lobby for a little bit if it's not laggy because like we do need coins right now unironically. Could use some some money. Just got legendary dragon pit on my sixth day of Iron Man. Screenshot or it didn't happen. On Twitter. Or in the media chat on my Discord, I guess. There's no way. <laughs> There's genuinely no way. You would have to get four summoning eyes and then place them. And then like pretty much your first dragon get a legendary pet. That is just... And you'd have to get... Wait a minute. You'd have to get like... Well, I guess if you placed eight eyes and then you just did any damage, then I suppose you'd have the best chance of getting a dragon pet. Minus, you know, obviously you'd want to have black cat pet for the pet luck. That's crazy though. In order to actually get the RNG without doing a lot of damage, you'd have to pretty much place eight eyes to get a pet. Yikes. Bet I'll screenshot tomorrow. Oh no, people are just looking at the sky crypt right now. How'd you do it? Did you place eight eyes and then just barely damage it because you're on your sixth? Oh, double powder just ended. Okay. It's showtime. Even with the triple capacity, I still have way too much coal. Breh. Look at this. And hardstone, too. It's real. Bruh. Ow. All right, we're good to go. I'm going to have to block screen again so I don't uh, leak. Here we go. We're digging our way over. 
Oh, I gotta switch the bow pit. So I don't burn. That's crazy, though. Day nine of a profile and you have a legendary E-drag? Bruh. Oh, and it's already dug out, too. I just remembered that. Thank you, Imploded. All right, let's give this thing a shot. Reset tree? All right. Okay, once we get there, I'm going to reset the tree. I forgot about that. Oh, I spawned a, a worm. It's dead. All right, as soon as I get there, I'm going to unblock the screen. Make sure to properly split between pr prof and mining speed, too. True. Oh, I just broke some of the cobble by accident. Sorry. Uh, let me replace that. Okay, we're here. No map, no leak. Boom. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's a few extra gemstones here. Oh, wow. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, it's just so dug out that it looks different. I know where I am now. That was confusing. This is some fancy. Oh, I see what you did. You bomb-ommed it and then placed cobble. Oh, this is clean. I've never seen a ruby spot like this before. This is... Oh, that I like this, Chad. This is how you set up a ruby route. All right, here we go. Time to reset our heart of the mountain tree. Oh, I need the coin. <laughs> this is going to be scary. <laughs> million mithril and 3.5 million gemstone powders. Holy crap. Wow. That's crazy. I almost clicked that and I would have screwed the whole thing. <laughs> oh, 51 on this. Oh yeah, yeah. Imploding has a, a good point. He mined out the ruby, then bombed it, and let the ruby respawn. He didn't bomb it, and then the ruby doesn't respawn when you bomb it directly. You have to break it first. Another double pattern, but we're just going to ignore it, I, I guess. Mole 51. We're going to get mining fortune to 40, mining speed to 40. Oh, powder buff. He should bomb the pains? No, you need the pains. It's a ruby route. You're not going to get all blocks unless you have, like, a lot of extra gems in your path. This ruby spot is tiny. You know, are we friends on Discord? If we are, maybe if you got other uh, ruby spots, uh, <laughs> maybe I could make use of that for my um, thing. Anyways, uh, mining fortune. Let's get that to 40. Then we get to look at our leftover powder it's probably still a lot daily powder is like cheap it's literally like not even a hundred thousand powder so i'm still gonna do daily powder i'm gonna max i have a 31 vein ruby route which i mine only blocks and regenerates before i finish the loop i need some of that dude I don't know if my guild will be happy at me giving cords to you. I swear to you, if you do that, I'm not going to show a stream. I would never show a stream. I would never show a stream. <laughs> Sorry, stream. <laughs> but anything to increase my efficiency, I need to grind a build, dude. Like, anything to save me time would be much appreciated. Okay, how much we have left? We still have three mil gemstone powder. Crazy. Okay, 45 of each of these. We don't need this. We don't need this. 
Oh, 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 fortunate. Whoops. Let's not forget fortunate. There we go, fortunate. How much, um, we still have so much mithril powder. Pog? Do any of these other ones take mithril or can we, we can keep going. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. I wasn't reading how much I've left. Where does it say how much I have? I don't know where it says. Whatever. And we've run out. We're at 48 of each. I could get 49 in mining speed, but I think we're going to... Well, actually, I might as well put the last of it. How much is left, though? 130k? I should keep that as is. Wait, you don't have mining madness. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> Next, uh, how much? 400k gemstone powder left. That's not a lot. See, this is where the problem is. I don't have a lot of... I think I should probably put the rest into powder buff. Because, like... If I'm going to grind a billion coins worth of gems, I'll probably end up getting the powder to max all of this, actually. I don't know about all of it, but a lot of it. There we go. Oh, professional crap. Oh, professional's cheap. Oh, we're good. Ruby sucks for powder? Eh, it's better than nothing. Lonesome Miner doesn't matter. Mole is fine. Great Exploit doesn't matter. I think that's it. That's where we're leaving it. Still have 130k mithril powder though. Hmm. Screw it. I'll put it into the mining speed. There we go. This is what we're leaving it at. Until I get my bill. That'll do. That'll do. Alright. I think it's time to do the test chat. Now let's take a look at the stats. What am I looking at? Seven. I blasted through my freaking goal. My goal was 7,000 mining speed. <laughs> it's a 7,234 plus um, the one that gives speed. The professional. That's like 7,400 speed. Holy crack. Tick thresholds annihilated. And mining fortune is just about at 1800 before fortunate, which gives another 100. So that's, that is 1900 mining fortune against gemstones. Oh boy. All right. I think it's time. The test starts now. Well, not right this second. Hold on. Let's get the timer. Oh my God. Those stats. <laughs> those stats are crazy. All right. Nine, eight, <clears throat> seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Much better than last time. I'm gonna break some cobble by accident. Keep in mind, chat, I'm not gonna be talking all that much. I have to focus. Time to go zoom. Is this extra gemstone vein behind me, Mindell? It's not. Interesting. We're just gonna have to ignore it then if it's not Mindell. So much better, holy crap. I think I just saw a fish in minor proc, hold on. It's off now. Jump boost is on, crap. Just gonna have to work with it.
this is insanity. <laughs> this is insanity. This is ridiculous. Six and a half minutes left. Skipping a few spots here. Oh, I skipped the vein. Whoops. I'll go back for it. It's not going to affect efficiency much. Everything's dug out, so it made it hard to see. Or is this vein not in my cords? I don't think it is. This vein's not even in my cords. Yeah. What are your guesses, chat? I don't want to speak too soon, but it's going to be more than 15 mil an hour. It's going to be a lot more. There's a lot of extra veins here I've never seen. So many more veins here I've never seen. There's another one all the way up there, but I don't think I'm going for that one. Four and a half minutes left. Oh, we're back at the beginning. I am learning so much through this process. Holy. Three and a half minutes left. Definitely, like, not at all a laggy lobby. This is great. If I had this for the entire time, no complaints. No complaints. Oh. Nope. <laughs> you didn't see that.
No. Two minutes, 15 seconds. That speed boost was perfect. That speed boost was insane. Minute and 20 seconds. I think I skipped a gemstone vein behind me. I'm gonna go for that one next. Fifty two seconds. Twenty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, oh. there it is, chat. There's ten minutes. That's 10 minutes. Time to get your final guesses in. How much do you think I just made? Let's make sure that none of the coins on me count because I haven't sold any gems. I haven't mined any rubies since the last test. It's gonna be dumb. It's gonna be stupid. I know right now it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. That's way more than last time. Three, seven, six, two, two, four, one, times six. That's 22.6 million coins an hour. We were cooking. We were going fast. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how you make 22 and a half million coins an hour ruby mining. That is insane. Your flicks are better than I expected. Hey, I really tried there. That was some try hard gameplay right there. Okay, so there's a few gemstone locations that I didn't know about. 22.6 million an hour. Wow. We need to take down some of these. Problem is, if I open up the menu on stream, it's going to leak cords. So I'm going to have to... This route kind of sucks. If this route sucks... <laughs> That's insane. Holy crap. That's 40 hours for a billion if I do this route. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take down the rest of these cords. I'm going to make sure not to expose them. So I'm going to go face cam only for that. And then I think we're going to set up more ruby routes, several of them. 
Wow. By the way, to the people um, in the party right now, there's also this route, or there's also this one right here, which is bigger than most of the excess ones I didn't know about. So I would imagine you'd want to include this one. This is a good one. Compared to some of the ones that you've built platforms around, that's a good one. Um, yeah, some of these are decent, but like that one for sure should be included. Also, there's this one down here, but it's not that big. Eh, not worth it. Yeah, if I used Ether Warp, it would be even more. 22.6 million an hour. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. So that's the difference that Ping makes, by the way. I just wanted to point that out. That's the difference that Ping makes. Also, to be fair, I did increase my speed and fortune by a lot between the last test and this one. But that's, that's crazy. Those little changes brought it from 15 to 22.6 mil an hour. I cannot overstate how good Ether Warp is for Ruby. I mean, there is a skill ceiling. You can make it work with AOTE. It's gonna be slightly slower, but not that much slower. You just have to be a bit more focused. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to face cam so I can add the rest of these Ruby cords because yes. So I'm gonna do that right now off screen. So sorry, you're not gonna be able to see anything for a little bit. Um gonna put one there gonna put one here i'll name them and order them later honestly um i'm gonna do this as fast as possible just so that i don't have any time or screen is hidden there's hidden screen time unplug create a new waypoint let's see let's see any other ones i don't have in my repertoire look at me with my fancy words here's another one mm -hmm. and another one yeah oh with me and another one right here so then is that all of them that should be all of them i'm just gonna do one last sweep that you can't see and then we can go back to looking on screen i think i have all of them it appears that i have every cord taken down and according to implodent this is a bad ruby route so the fact that i made that much money from a ruby route that's considered bad by the sweats that's insanity so one two three four five six additional ruby veins that i was not aware of in this area that is freaking crazy that's insane that's insane so chat um i think that is in short ah but yeah now we can just casually break ruby it doesn't matter at this point we can do whatever we want but like damn that's insane i was like i was kind of stressed out during the test because it's like oh no i gotta do the best performance possible for the estimate now we can be chill so i'm gonna make a little less an hour just because i'm gonna read chat and i'm gonna interact with chat and be you know a good streamer but like <sighs> that's crazy So what have we learned today? We've learned that ping makes a massive difference. Fortune and uh, pristine work exponentially. So once you get to the upper end, a slight buff in fortune is a huge increase in drops. What else have we learned? Uh, breaking the gemstones and then bombing the area and letting them respawn and placing platforms underneath is like goaded because then you could see everything so that's huge and according to most people i've talked to about 7,000 mining speed is about when like not max speed for ruby but like you're only gonna save like a tick or two if you go beyond that so it's not that big a difference 
Like, this is pretty close to max in terms of speed. But yeah, like, we, we did good today, chat, is what I'm trying to say. We did real good today. Would recommend creating separate ruby waypoints for bombs that look like bomb 10. Do you have... The thing is, I'm not good with... I don't know the radius of bombs. No risk of reefing, yeah. I'm gonna need a more sophisticated system for waypoints. I really need to get on BLC about that. I think I'm just gonna have to make do with what I have because BLC is not updating eight radius. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. But like, oh, there's an extra vein up there, but there's no platform around it. So I'm imagining they're probably not saying they're probably not gonna think it's worthy. Oh, here's the thing I can do now that I'm not in the timer anymore. No more jump boost. You're nicked for no reason? Now there's a reason. I don't want people sniping me, man. <laughs> 7,895 is 9 tick. 8,824 is 8 tick. I'm guessing you're talking about blocks. Because it's different for the blocks versus the pains. That's crazy, though. That's insane. As soon as my speed boost is over, I'll read that chat message. What was that? Other guy in lobby wants to join party? That's fine. Be good. Of course. Yeah, for blocks. Okay, so like, yeah, I could probably shave off one more tick. That's about it. <laughs> I, I I can only shave off maybe one more tick for the blocks. But that is just some beautiful stats right there. And the even more beautiful thing is despite Ruby not being great for powder, you still get powder. And the amount of Ruby grinding that I have ahead of me, I'm going to get a lot of powder. I'm going to mine out the whole place. <laughs> I'm still going to get a decent amount of powder, which means that I can increase my fortune and speed even further. Keep in mind, chat, this is only mining fortune and speed to level 40. I can go higher. <laughs> I can go higher than that by 10 levels each. So like I'm missing out on 50 mining fortune right now just from that like it can get so much better it's still going no the timer is done the the test is the test period has ended now i'm just talking to chat while mining gemstones because money at hypermax only seven tick blocks with gone with the wind active with gone with the wind that's when you know you're stretching it uh-oh Oh, if that went, I was going to be so sad. Look at this during speed boost. It's a beautiful thing. Like, this is just... This is just great. Like, that's just... Mm, that is some tasty efficiency right there. App. how expensive is bank upgrade by the way i have the first tier of upgrade but we're gonna need a lot more than that i don't know if i'm gonna upgrade the bank because the thing is i'm going to get the bill and then i'm like immediately going to spend it at scorpius so it's not like i'm gonna hold on to it for very long and with cookie buff there's no reason to bank it so I probably won't even bother, actually. Twenty-two point six million coins an hour. That's awesome. I've never made that many coins an hour in my life, and that's on this profile. I'm making the most coins I've ever made per hour in my life in my entire career of Skyblock. I have not done a money-making method that's more efficient than this. That's insane.
I'm going to need bank upgrade for G-Drag, sure. But like, I think it would be the most efficient for me to just get the bill, spend it on Scorpius stuff and only Scorpius stuff. And, well, and Dark Auction, I guess. And then stop grinding coins and then make my setup better. So I'd go back into powder grinding. I would go back into increasing my damage, getting a drill, you know, all the things. And then I'll return to mining with even closer to a hyper max setup. How much pristine do I have? 18. 18 pristine. That's uh, 0. 0.4 away from the max, apparently. Your forge is done? No, it's not. 13 hours left on the forge. What about interest? What about interest? I'm going to be making 100 to 200 million coins a day. What difference does interest make? Like 1 mil? 1.5 if I have it maxed? Max is 18.63. You need Devon Drill. Yeah. It's not that big a difference. I'm a little sloppy with breaking the cobblestone underneath. I gotta get better at that. Point six three away from Max. Yeah, very impressive, very impressive stuff. Yeah, if I armadillo mine with Sapphire, like Imploder showed me the other day, then I'd make even more. But I think it's good to test out Ruby mining because it's way easier to set up in my opinion. I mean, you have personal helpers to place the cobble. Yeah, but I'm not gonna always have that. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get more self-sufficient. So when it comes time for me to be spending 50 hours off camera mining, like I'm not going to have people helping me for any of that time. So I'm going to have to have to be good. Up. Yeah, if this was my efficiency for the whole process of getting the bill, I'm happy with it. Jade mining does not make more. Not even close. Not even close. <laughs> I'll help anytime, any day. I appreciate that, but I think for the sake of the, the series and people not complaining, they're like, oh, you got carried. Like, I, you know, this is a great learning experience. Though. This is much appreciated. Like everything about this, I am a fan. This is great. By the way, I'm just saying that Dilla would be objectively better, at least off camera for this grind, because you haven't maxed powder and gear. I agree, but the uh, skill issue, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm still, I'm very bad at memorizing things. I would need straight up coordinates, which you can't really do because it's a generated structure. So it's kind of like, Ugh. How many hours are you doing today? Um, my goal is to get 100 million coins today. Not necessarily all on stream. We have a bot dev to create relative waypoints in a chat triggers mod in a day. Maybe BLC needs to implement chat triggers. That'd be very convenient because then we can have outside people making stuff for BLC. And I guess if I was really desperate, I could use Forge off screen. Whoa. I don't know if I would resort to doing that. We'll see. I might. <laughs> Depends how much more efficient it makes me. I haven't installed Forge for Skyblock in three years. So will this be the thing that make me finally do it? I don't know. So what would you guys think a hypermaxed setup and skill level could do? And with an optimized route, Ruby mining, like what does the peak of Ruby mining look like is my question. If I had to guess, it's probably like 30 mil an hour. 
Like, if I made 22.6 and I still have like 50 fortune to go on just mining fortune 2, 60 fortune from both mining fortunes, 45 mil an hour pre sky mall nerf. Well, that's pre nerf though. 40 mil an hour? Bruh. Nah. To NPC because Topaz high to bizarre. It's like 38 to 39 mil an hour right now. So they supplement the route with Topaz? Dude. That's crazy. That's insane. Yeah, then you use the mining speed boost on the Topaz, I suppose. Yeah, because same soft tick. I've noticed that. As soon as I got my speed above, like, 6,000, mining speed boost on Topaz looked almost exactly the same as mining speed boost on Ruby. Like, watch this. This is a test. Does this not look exactly the same as it was for Ruby? This looks exactly how it did for Ruby. On another note, this is insane. Mining Topaz this fast? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's insane. That's freaking crazy. Well, there you go, chat. I've been initiated. I now finally understand how crazy gemstone mining is for coins. And this was achieved in just over three months, being able to do this. So the question is, how efficient can I make the grind to a bill? And is a bill where I stop? Maybe by the time Scorpius arrives, I can get 1.5 bill. <laughs> Imagine. I think the title would be one bill though, let's be honest. Maybe I deserve to touch some grass. So I'd get a bill and then, you know, go outside for like an hour. That'd be nice. This isn't even part of the route. I'm just mining some extra ruby for no reason. Up. Two build by Scorpius or skill issue. <laughs> uh. Go for G drag. So again, I've said this plan already, but I'm gonna re I'm gonna reiterate. I'm gonna get just enough coin to get everything I could need from Dark Auction, and then maybe Jacobus Register because you know Legendary Talisman. And then I'm gonna chill the hell out with coins, and we're gonna like go for other forms of progression just so that I have time to forge a 655 drill that's better than gauntlet and you know powder mine and all that garbage and i'm gonna try and be better at mining before i go for another large chunk of coins register only needs 22 mil Sure, and Flower Minion only needs 30 mil, and <laughs> Turtle Pet only needs another 20 mil, and Parrot Pet only needs another 20 mil. It adds up, man. It really adds up. <laughs> and then you could do Crystal Hollow's Mithril. That's another really fun meta. Yeah, I can imagine. Max um, Efficient Miner, Max Mine Man. Then you could level up a G-Drag. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> and then it makes a lot of coin just from NPC selling Mithril, I suppose. Probably nowhere near as good as gemstones, but like you're leveling a G-Drag. My guess is like 12 mil an hour Mithril mining maximum. There's no way it can be higher than that if you're leveling a G-Drag. That'd still be great though, to be honest.
Yeah, Ether Warp's gonna be a big convenience. I gotta stop breaking this cobble. I kind of love having all of the rubies just exposed like this because like if I miss a vein, I'll see it from across the way and I don't have to do like the route like all completely in order. I can have a little bit more freedom, which is nice. It makes it more fun too. Are they searching for more rubies? <laughs> They're searching for more rubies to make the route bigger. It's just funny. Oh, you're powder mining? Fair enough, fair enough. Got nothing better to do? Do I still have to worry about Yogs killing me? I don't know. Maybe I should hot potato book the Devon armor so I don't have to worry about Yogs. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's worth... Ooh! Oh, I tanked that. We're fine. I only took a third of my HP to that. Maybe that's a good argument for hot potato booking the Devon armor. Just so I take a little less damage to the stupid... Fezzy! Fezzy! Are you able to VC? I want to share with you some crazy news that's definitely going to be a title three months from now. I have some news. No. I'm sure you can see right now that I am doing some gemstone mining, but like very advanced gemstone mining. I did a um. test and I'm making 22.6 million coins an hour doing this. Nice. Which is the most coins I've ever made per hour ever. And it's on a four month old profile. We're already four months in, damn. Three months. Just over three months. I found more. <laughs> We're gonna slowly expand. Well, we honestly, routes. it seems that we have a couple weeks out of the last couple streams. What do you mean? I don't know what else I could mean. I don't <laughs> you know, know what, what like. You mean several weeks worth of content? Yeah, out of these last like bunch of streams. Yeah, the last like six or so streams have been just nothing but content, and that pattern is not going to change because I have like a week ahead of me of just off-stream ruby mining, and then suddenly we're gonna have like seventeen titles. It's gonna be like one bill making twenty-two point six million coins an hour max devon armor um the best talisman in the game um cleaning out scorpius auction what else chat what else happens when i get the bill <laughs> i mean to be frank you could make a title out of the bill itself i know that's what yeah I can make a title out of the bill. I can make a title out of the coins per hour, which is definitely what this footage is going to be. Mm. We are swimming in content right now. It's amazing. I can't wait to dive in in a quarter of a year. The most OP strat in the game. Well, that's just wrong, though. The most OP strat in the game is Dillo Mining, which I should get good at for another title and another bill. 
But that will be for a future time. I also got to the point in mining speed that during speed boost, Topaz and Ruby break at the same speed. Like it's soft caps at the same speed. Which is ridiculous. You copied Rage Train? How? Explain to me how I copied Rage Train. <laughs> what, by playing Iron Man mode? A mode in the game that has existed in other games for longer than both of our channels have existed. Uh -oh. Iron Man is Rage Train's thing, and Toad Star's thing, and Fearless's thing, and my thing. Your point? And Zach's thing, right? And Zach's thing. <laughs> <laughs> Chat, y'all need to like. And yeah, none of us you know can that? take credit for it because Iron Man's existed since RuneScape. And probably yeah. before and RuneScape. Probably before RuneScape, yeah. I think the limit is the release of the Iron Man movie. Probably. Maybe it's based on the comic books. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, maybe. <laughs> Iron Man modes in video games have existed for longer than most of you have played video games. I'm sorry, but it's no. Just Max. No it's one true. owns it. <laughs> October 2014 was when Iron Man for RuneScape came out. So, if anything, wow, that is more the recent than that I is figured. same. That's actually a lot more recent. Than when I did Iron Man game? When did <laughs> Iron Man game? <laughs> I don't know how to phrase the question. Oh. Uh... No, not Iron Man Triathlon. <laughs> this is that's not that's not what I want to know. How long has that existed? <laughs> Since the first Iron Man Triathlon was in 1978 in Honolulu, Hawaii. <laughs> longer than <laughs> all of us have been alive. Uh, a lo longer than mo like a, a like you know me and you combined. <laughs> <laughs> Originally that's taken play. Right, what is an what is that? I don't even. Long distance triathlons? Dude, I don't know. That's funny. And then I try to look it up in any other way and it just comes up with an Iron Man video game. Like Google, you you have all the answers, but you don't know how to interpret any of the questions. It's great that I can finally put a, a number to it. How much I'm making per hour doing this. Now, to be fair, chat, that was like mega try hard sweat mode that entire session. So realistically, it probably if I'm talking to chat, just casually hopping between the platforms, I'm probably making 20 mil an hour. It's probably less, but it's not much less. Like it's exactly where I need to be to get to the one bill. So the term Iron Man in gaming was coined from the Iron Man terminology with the triathlon. So in reality, bro, you don't know what you're talking about. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> What's your mining level? 59 and 30% of the way to mining 60. That's another thing that's happening soon, which is perfect because that's another plus four mining fortune. It's like one of those lost terms to history. No one knows the origin of. I it just happened. happened you're the most entertaining podcast i've ever listened to <laughs> we try i think oh did you know the npc sell limits 200 mil per day so like when i get the bill i'm not physically going to be able to obtain a billion it'll take you like a week <laughs> it'll take me five days just to sell the ruby Which means if we want that title moment where it's like a billion coins in the bank, I'm going to have to start selling it early. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, this is probably the best ruby mining lobby that's ever existed on the network. No, it's not true. For this spot, it is. In the whole game, there's probably some other ruby route somewhere that has more blocks, more veins, like 30 something of them. It's crazy. Oh yeah, have you, you're gonna need bank upgrades. Yes. Well, not really. I can just keep it in my purse with cookie buff. You're gonna forget and you're gonna die and I'm gonna laugh. Here's the test. Oh, I didn't die, but ow. <laughs> That was pain. Yeah, I think hot potato books on Devon armor would actually not be a dumb idea. Just for that. Is it a private route? A decent amount of people know about it, but I'm not going to be the one to leak it. Sorry. I promised. Because the problem is every time that a location goes like fully public and it's everywhere, then it gets ruined. So in a way, you should be thanking me, chat. Am I allergic to coffee? <laughs> I'm getting an allergy attack and it's the first time in a long time. But I, it's also the first time in a long time I've had a coffee this morning. What's happening to me? My throat hurts. Everything's falling apart. <clears throat> you did the test with full concentration and you're going to grind watching Netflix? Yeah, this is true. That's why I still estimate about 20 mil an hour. During the worst lag you can imagine without getting kicked, I was getting 15 oh. mil an hour. I guess streaming works on the VPN unless you manage to use it a different thing. No, it is. Uh, the VPN is working. Oh, there's more. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. There's more. Ruby even at the here. even at the the higher bit rate. That's interesting. Yeah, right. I know the sack is full jet. I hate the terminology of this freaking game, dude. Why don't they just call it bag? I don't know. Because it's a bag. <laughs> it's a big bag. Doesn't matter that it's full because it's just going to start filling the inventory. These yogs are getting really annoying. They are everywhere. If only they were this common when I was trying to max out the kills with my Yogg armor, I'd be ecstatic right now. Oh no. What? <laughs> Today's video is going to be rough. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, this is when you started cane mining. <laughs> Yeah, but I and, did it all off screen, uh, didn't I? Well, not all of it. You can skip most of it, I would imagine, if not all of it. I have to download like five mods to get through all this. Welcome to our life chat. One of one of these mods is a gig. <laughs> you <laughs> so recorded for like you recorded for like five minutes and was like, nah. Oh, that was probably <laughs> the swear. Oh, is it? That's probably the swear. That's when Chad paid me to Could we get a title out of you swearing? I can imagine the title. Chat, maybe say SH star star. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> I actually oh, can't um, see. the Centennial. Thank you for the $3. Will you make a 10 hours of Ruby mining stream? Uh... Well, I might do like maximum. Well, 
I physically can't do it anymore after five hours from now. Otherwise, YouTube's going to break the VODs. So you might just be getting that right now. I have to say, though, of all the grinds, this is like fun. Like ruby mining is actually <laughs> kind of fun. At least when it's like this and you're hopping I from think platform. You are you're watching the footage, right? Isn't it? It looks kind of fun, doesn't it? No. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it, you know, honestly, if you do it and you know how much money you're making and how much. Well, that's the thing. It, you're not it, the it, one it making twenty two point six million yeah, coins. It's an probably hour. good, like with, considering what it gives you. But like, it's like every just, 30 seconds is a big chunk of money. Just not doing it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, wow, you've been here for five hours. <laughs> for five hours? I mean, yeah. I can't blame you, though. I spent like three hours doing nothing but relogging and shooting an alien. I think my problem before when I was mining Ruby was that my mining speed was just slow enough that I would move my cursor to the next block a frame too early and it would cancel the block break. And that would result in like probably like 20% of the blocks not breaking when I intend on them breaking, which is to be honest, a skill issue. But now they just break because the mining speed's fast enough. So it's like big buffing speed. How much per hour during coal? Well, I mean, it would just be double. So I would genuinely be making like 45 million coins an hour with this method during coal. Holy <laughs> crap. That's insane. 45 million an hour during coal chat. And that's for five hours. That's like, what? 200, wait, no. I can't math right now. <laughs> What's 45 times five? What's 45 times five? It's like 230 million. -ish. You were close, it's 225. Oh. Wait. During Fiesta, armadillo mining is better for forging XP than forging is. Jerry box is too good. That doesn't make sense though. You don't get Jerry boxes faster. I mean, I guess you do if you're not efficient at whatever other grind you're doing, but you're making 6.2 thousand coins every second. 6.2. I can't talk, man. Well, it makes more money per hour. Oh, to buy Jerry boxes for, oh, now that makes more sense. Because you can buy them in Bazaar. So not... Sorry, my brain is stuck in Iron Man mode. So I didn't consider that you can actually buy and sell Jerry boxes on Bazaar. But yes, from that perspective, that makes sense. You're, you're getting foraging XP faster than foraging. That's very funny. <gasps> I would imagine Crap it'd be... I swear, it's literally not. What is? Crap. <laughs> It's like one of the tamest words in the human language, to be completely honest with you. Do you know how bad it gets? <laughs> oh, it gets real bad. It gets so much world. worse than crap. <laughs> Have you ever been on TikTok and seen like an eight-year-old just swear like any, like... There are clips of young children swearing worse than... It's kind of funny though. It is funny, but it's just like... What kind of life have you lived so it's far? It's not like, a good sign, but it's kind like, of what funny. environment did you grow up in? <laughs> this this know, child. I, mean, fair, is I knew, I, knew like, a, I knew a kid growing up, like when I was like five, <laughs> that swore <laughs> like a sailor, and just because their parents really didn't care and they heard it in movies, so they just swore a lot. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Pre-recorded turn off the macro. No. Turn off the macro? I will not. I will be macroing and I will continue to do so. 30 to uh, you squat 225. I don't remember. Sounds 
a little high no you know i think i did once but then my form was awful and like multiple people looked at me in the gym and was like please stop before you hurt yourself and i was like okay <laughs> but i a think conversation you had in your head or did they really tell you that <laughs> no there was a guy who like walked across the gym and was like hey dude your form is awful please stop <laughs> like okay <laughs> And then I went back down to 180, I think. Hey, you know what? I appreciate that. Like, some people would be, like, embarrassed. At least I didn't break my back, you know? Like, <laughs> it's worth, I think the trade-off's worth it, you know? I, you know, I'm a person that is not easily embarrassed. After doing the YouTube thing for so long, that part of my brain has kind of just died. Like... I don't know, man. It doesn't really matter anymore what... It doesn't matter to me what other people think. Unless it's, like, valid criticism. If it's just me looking goofy for a little bit in a gym... Like, I, don't I don't know, man. After seeing the way that YouTube has kept redefining its style and how every year I look back and everything looks so cringe... Yeah, it just... Eventually, you just stop registering cringe in real time anymore. Uh, I don't. I register well, I it every moment of every well i register it but maybe i just stop caring i don't know it's just it's half the reason why the editing got a lot more less uh bubbly text <laughs> because a lot I would more watch less. It, I, yeah it would be a lot less of the bubbly text and the the you know that stuff the typical minecraft editing even though i did it before it was the th that was the thing it you did matter. it before it was cringe, but then the mainstream got a hold it was of cringe, it. And then the mainstream got a hold of learning how to keyframe uh, text <laughs> and nothing else, apparently. So they, yeah, man, it, I just, I couldn't do it anymore because I was like, I f it felt like everything I was doing was cringe. <laughs> it's half the reason why a lot of my old videos are gone as well, because I did that with a lot of them and I was like, ew. <laughs> This is not good anymore. At least Blap is still there. That was one of my favorites. It's no, it's not. <laughs> you got rid of Blap? Yeah, it's gone. No. I think. Is it gone? Yeah, it's gone. Is it deleted or privated? It's probably private. I haven't deleted any of them. They're all private. okay. Because there's some good moments in a, a couple of your videos that I look back at fondly. Do there you want moments, to do it but trade? My my style has, has has changed. I wish I could re-edit the videos. Does anyone remember that that quote? I think that was also in a video of mine, but it sounded funnier on Fezzy's mic for some reason. What? <laughs> what do what? you want to do it trade? Oh. I don't think I ever repeated it like that. That was just a quote. It was a good quote. No, that was something that I said in a funny way that you edited it funny. Oh, I didn't do anything to your voice. I just put the... the you just the put face. the warped version of my Twitter profile picture. Yeah. <laughs> Which ended up becoming the thumbnail of 30 Virus Out of Context too. Which is true. And that's the only public record of that image left. Lost to time. Lost to time. The Skyblock stuff I had to get rid of because of algorithmic reasons. It didn't help. Like, it didn't work. <laughs> but I, I mean, I tried, you know. Mine faster. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I'll go for more blocks then instead of pains. How about that? A proxy four VODs. One of them is like two minutes long. A different kind of proxy. Oh, it's actually eight minutes. Wow. Data compression. How much money is in your purse? That doesn't matter. What matters is how much I have total, which is not much because I haven't been doing this for that long. It is the swear. That's what I figured. I'm routing backwards in some areas. It's okay. Hey, Chad, this morning I took... I don't know if we should make that the title, but it would be a funny moment. <laughs> I'm not saying that should be the title. I'm just quoting you. <laughs> it's funny the pog face I made after. It was, it was difficult for me to swear in a natural way. I tried my best, but it was, it was difficult.
But Pat, Pat, chat paid me to do it. You see what happened there? My brain. So here, here's the thing: the if we words. weren't so desperate for content, in the middle of a normal episode, I would just stick it in there. <laughs> no build up, no hype. It's just, hey, chat. I took <laughs> in the middle of a completely otherwise normal episode. Oh yeah, the build up. A lot of the build up was not recorded though. That's the problem. no. In fact, all of it isn't. It's just you recording and going like, okay. You'd have to rip it from the real VOD if you wanted to do that. <sighs> Which, to be fair, it wouldn't be that hard to find it. I don't think it's necessary, really. We already have been through this twice, even though it's been two years. You got money. Yeah, but I feel like just for the sake of my reputation as the guy who doesn't swear, it would make sense to leave in the build up or at least nope. an explanation as to why. Oh, I'll happened. explain it. I explained it last time. Okay. that That's fine. Chat paid 30 virus $1,000 to swear. This time with the uh, stipulation that he has to make it sound natural. <laughs> Instead of sounding like a bird, just chat donated him a thousand dollars, right, and to explain of the fact that he actually streams off camera. <laughs> Wait, streams off camera? <laughs> Wait, I, I meant swear. <laughs> he streams How off would camera. that work? <laughs> you just look at a tw you look at a you look at a, a, a chat. I'd be on live else's tweeting stream. everything I did. Wow. I'd just be tweeting every couple minutes what I did in the game. I see now when I go for only blocks, now suddenly I have no rubies left. Funny how that works. Not nah, makes sense. I am not speedy enough, it seems. Bro, bro, you literally stopped recording Kane because it wasn't good for footage and then started building a an alchemy farm. Like <laughs> what's what's the mentality there? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's such a good donut. Look at the super chat. <laughs> oh, and apparently, that apparently that name is pronounced Looter. Lolly Looter. Apparently. Thank you for the two euro, by the way, saying why, smiley face. I don't know, but I like the I like the vibe that that message gives off. Why in a smiley face is an intimidating combination. It's like, it, it makes me. Oh God, it's not working. I, gi oh, I give up. It's not working. It's an intimidating sequence of characters and images. Will you do profile reviewing anytime soon? Considering how much a meme it was, people making fun of my knowledge of the game, I think I'm gonna steer, steer clear of giving advice to profile profiles. reviews. <laughs> I didn't know that that was a concept that even existed. Sky crypto views, yeah, that's the thing that Fearless started doing. I don't know if he's the one that did it first, but he popularized it. Interesting. Will you ever make an Iron Man guide based on this profile? <laughs> <laughs> that burp sounded yeah. like one of mine. It was like a gremlin. <laughs> we have one up already. It's just like... <laughs> There's already an Iron Man tips. Yeah, but that's old. I, I think I'm going to make an, a new tutorial, like a full tutorial, like a big one. Okay. Several of them, perhaps. We'll see. You you put exclamation point Twitch and then spelled Twitch wrong. <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> I'm going to do spooky. Good luck on mining. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with spooky. There's going to be plenty of those. Then again, rubies aren't going <laughs> oh to magically God. stop being in the, the game either. The overlay is so... is it's, it's not moving, but it's moving. I love it. It's like when you look at a wheel that's spinning so fast that it matches the frame or the, the shutter, the shutter speed, speed of the camera. Yeah. So it looks like it's, nothing's it's happening. Moving. You ever see that with hummingbirds where they're just kind of hovering there and there's like, you can see just their wings. They, they look like they're T-posing for the camera. Yeah. And helicopters look fake. Yes. Imagine it's that really cool. happening at the same time as you're filming in Hawaii when the sun is directly overhead and there's no shadows either. 
Dude, that would be the most <laughs> cursed video to exist. <laughs> that would be, yeah, that but... would actually be, I would make a video about how I made that video. So chat, that, have you ever seen that? There's a spot Honestly, in Hawaii. Honestly, that's a cool idea. You know how people like try to make 3D renders as realistic? What if we did a- Make what if real life a video footage in, that looks as fake as possible. Yeah, we'll do it in reverse. A real life video trying to look as 3D generated as possible. That would be interesting, honestly. That'd be kind of a cool concept. I'm on it. Except I have <laughs> no way of knowing how to do it. Obviously, flat lighting. Which is not something you can do without flying to the specific place. Everybody's shirts the specific... would have to be ironed out and they'd have to walk really weird because there can't be like. No, they would be. The shirt. They would be on like a, a motorized skateboard. So there's no walking. They just like slide around. Yeah. Yeah. And we, I'd frame it so their feet aren't visible and it's just them like it's them like sliding around without an animation and then they just do the robot like they just act like a literal npc that's a cool concept if you if any youtubers see this clip and steal it well like at least put me in the description you know what I mean? at least invite him out there to help you film i'm sure he would be thrilled You'd have to make it, if you filmed the ground at all, you'd have to make it a repeating texture. <laughs> Could record on like the Jersey Shore, but then you wouldn't have Everyone's the additional spooky. effect. What? Why are we saying spooky? Why is Chad asking for me to show my muscle? Didn't I already say <laughs> I haven't been to the gym in like ages? There's no muscle to show. I'm just your average looking dude. I don't, there's nothing impressive there. <laughs> Not yet. Haha. <laughs> Do you want to see how much coin I've generated since the test, by the way, chat? I just casually talking to you while mining. Oh, this is going to be disgusting. This is gonna be gross. So just since the test, casually talking to chat and mining Ruby, like it's not a big deal. Here's how much coin that I just accidentally have collected. As soon as I finish this process. Okay. So I've casually made 13 and a half million coin. I've just tripled the amount of coin that I have. <laughs> nice. I don't know how long it's been since the test. Well, actually I could figure it out. If I'm making 22 mil an hour, it's probably been about 35 minutes. Wow. So in a half an hour, <clears throat> no, that's crazy. That's not crazy. That's two recoms. Re Almost three. During uh during Paul it's three recoms. Three re. Three re. What? Why? What happened? No. What do you mean? What happened? Did my proxy drive fill? What did? Did hit film crash? No. It's just there's now an exclamation point next to the four vods I was just trying to proxy. It's full. <laughs> it's literally got zero bytes remaining. It it is filled. About an hour. It hasn't been an hour because the rates are higher than that. 
Maybe it's been an hour since I got here. But not since the end of the test. Imagine measuring how much money you're making by recoms per hour. Well, I'd be I'd be getting five recoms an hour during ball. Almost six recoms an hour. Am I smart? Ball. I just discovered something. I need to I need to find something. Where's the video that I'm currently working on? If I don't delete its proxy and I find it. Wait. Nope. Yeah, some good coin though. It's about time. This profile has been poor for far too long. I, I wonder what my net worth is according to BLC. Information. Hey chat, what does your net worth calculator say, say about my profile? <laughs> Mine says 1.3 bill according to lowest bin on BLC. What does it say for you? Windows crashing. Nope. I also, it depends on which mod you're using. That. <laughs> it's not, I don't like that. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> I so, only did it for a second. You're lucky. So Soupy and SPE both claim 1.5 billion. That's crazy. My net worth is going to double by the time I stream again. Almost double. Not quite. Oh... I'm so glad that it doesn't crash when I do that. I just delete all of the proxies that HitFilm is actively using and it just swaps it out for hundreds of videos. I, I, I'm so glad that it doesn't break it. What's my powder at? Uh... 3.5 mil mithril powder and or oh, 3.6 mil mithril powder and then 3.5 mil meth, or, um, gemstone. Thoughts on red delicious apples. You know, Honestly, growing up, I always liked Granny Smith apples because they were fresher, more consistently, I found. But if it's a good red apple that's not like mushy or gross, then yes, it's okay. Recently, I've started to like apples more because it's the only fruit that doesn't go bad after 32 seconds. That's my biggest problem with eating healthy. Most healthy foods go bad so quickly, you can't even get to it. It's like, oh, I bought these bananas two days ago. Oh, they're bad. You have to throw them out. Like, uh, the hell? I was going to eat those. Strawberries are the worst when it comes to that. You have to pretty much eat them the day you get them or they're going to be bad. Yeah. Have you calculated how much you make? Yeah, we uh, did that earlier. It was 22.6 million coins an hour. 
in an ideal scenario where I'm like focused and not talking to anybody. <laughs> since I'm casual right now, it's probably about 20 mil. It's miles ahead of that laggy lobby. Yeah, this is like ideal for this spot at least. What are you giggling at? <laughs> just you looking at a ocelot pet and acting like you were shot in the stomach <laughs> because of the price. <laughs> you make more coins than I do with Devon's drill, six mil, six mil powder and blue cheese due to my high ping. Ooh. Yeah, blue ping cheese. plays a big factor. Yeah, blue cheese goblin omelet. It's um <laughs> Dude, I don't even want to know. <laughs> <You> know <what> <laughs> 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 Chat, he doesn't want to know. I just don't want to know. That sounds awful. <laughs> It's very difficult to get. How do you know what he looks like when he's shot in the stomach? I don't know, man. I tend to be Maybe a very dramatic person. Before. You don't have to use your imagination. When when I'm streaming and I'm like having an extreme reaction to something, I might as well be getting murdered. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Especially like in Bed Wars. Like, if I'm getting attacked in Bed Wars, it sounds like I'm getting attacked in real life. That's crazy though. My goal was 7,000 mining speed and we overshot it by a ton. So what, at what point are we going to get to 1% so of the way? So what? <laughs> so if the goal is a bill, what's 1% of a bill? 10 mil? Oh, Pogs. That means we're 1% of the way, chat. <laughs> nice. You're 1% of the way. Well, to be exact, we are. Actually, we're 2% of the way. 2.1% of the way-ish. Wow. This is so very satisfying though. This is the best experience with Ruby mining I've ever had. This is so very sad. <laughs> All the inflation VR streams no. right now. The only thing that's streamable uh, for me in VR is Beat Saber and copyright on Twitch is a problem now. Mm. Well, oh, never mind. I was about to say you could just delete the music from the VOD, but it's <laughs> you in the just game. hear me panting. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. It just be. And that's dying. assuming you could even get past the fact that it's a part of the game audio. And somehow separated, but I don't know how that would work. You just wouldn't put the game it would audio just be on a you different panting. track entirely. Literally, yeah. 
You hear my controller occasionally hit the wall or something. You could just make it so it auto deletes the VOD. I already have it set up that way, I think. So what's the problem? I don't know. The, the day that active DMCA happens on Twitch, I'm just afraid. I, would, I wouldn't care if I were you. I would just do it until you can't. <laughs> Meh. That's I think what like 99% of Twitch streamers are doing. Uh, well, I th I think long term, like one day, if the if either of the platforms get big enough, lawsuits will happen, and I will not be one of them that gets to deal with it. It's like, oh, you've been you've been you've been you've been listening to to where this music label, and you've been profiting off of this music for this long. Oh, that's about seven million dollars of revenue you've costed us there. Pay up, <laughs> you know. What I mean? I'm just not. I'm not willing to even have that thrown at me. I wonder who's gonna have the book thrown at them. Like who's specifically? I don't know, see, but it's not. It's not gonna be me. <laughs> so that that's the idea. Is, is who do you think's gonna out, have the book gonna thrown at them me. the worst? I'm gonna guess uh, XQC with React content. Honestly, every streamer that exists. <laughs> but he's going right to get now. hit the most because he's the biggest streamer. He streams the most hours and watches the most content that's not his. Him and maybe Asmongold. Yeah. Do you have full perfect gemstones in your armor? Yes. Of course I do. How do you think my stats are so high? It's the only possible way. It's ironic that Tyler one new is also the only other person that seems to think that way on, on Twitch. Since since before DMCA was even something that was a care on Twitch, he'd been listening to like really copyright boring free. copyright free music while he plays League for years. You wouldn't think of him to be the cautious type, to be honest. You wouldn't think, but I guess so. If anyone... <laughs> yeah, I, not to insult the guy's intelligence or anything, but... He didn't, <laughs> oh, see, no, he didn't, he didn't seem like the type to have that much foresight. Maybe I've seen too many clips of him, like, screaming. It actually makes sense because like he probably that all oh, that's an act i bet like off stream is just a chill dude you know he, he wears turtlenecks has glasses and reads books <laughs> <laughs> off <-camera. laughs> he's a professor somewhere that would be one hell of an act to put up he does that like 12 hours a day <laughs> that's crazy I like how I've given the estimate per hour about 17 times now and people still don't know. Is this going to be a problem? People are just going to keep pouring into stream asking. You know what? I'm just going to put text on the screen. Or are you going to pin a message? I'm going to pin a message. I said per hour twice in the same message. I hate. <laughs> this is like when you double lol in texts. You know Current what? Hold estimate on. Estimate per hour. <laughs> 222.6 mil per hour. I started typing and the text box wasn't selected. <laughs> Dude, everything's falling apart. Ah! All right, we're good. Replace the message. <laughs> there. There. There we go. <laughs> you know, I get a donation. I wouldn't even put current I get, no, 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 because I people get, are going to be too lazy to click it. I get a donation three seconds later. Miss Dono, give me time to breathe. Give me time to breathe. Ow. 
I did not miss the dono. It, it's still on the screen right now. It hasn't even scrolled all the way up yet. By the way, your local admin. Thank you for the 4A. How long did it take to max Devon? Um, it took about 24 hours to get the uh, membrane, the ruby gemstones. There were four of them. That didn't take too long. If I had to guess, maybe about two hours uh, because I was less efficient then. To get the mixtures, that on the other hand was probably about 12 hours, uh, nah, eight hours of, uh, yeah, yeah. That and the artifact of power, probably about 12 hours of- You know what would be kind of a cool sludge mod? Sludge slash powder grinding, what? It, 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 oh, it'd be kind of a cool mod if it managed to track how much you're currently about to make per hour, given how many resources are going into your inventory. Some mods do that. They do that for farming too. Um, but just to yeah, finish well, the question- Yeah, well, in BLC though, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but um, to finish the point, Hmm. All the perfect gemstones, it took about... Let's try to think about... Hmm, probably about 20 hours of perfect gemstones. And then... About 12 hours of prep for the nucleus runs. Anyone keeping track here? It's a lot of hours. <laughs> it's a lot of hours. Yeah, if someone adds all that up, then you'll have a pretty decent estimate. Oh, and the recoms. Yeah, just getting the 20 mil for the recoms. Yeah, that was probably another, I don't know, three hours. <clears throat> because again, wasn't as efficient any at, at that point. <laughs> And then the dungeon runs for the recoms was about six hours. It just keeps going, man. Getting Devon armor maxed is like an insane accomplishment and time sync, most of which was off screen. So there you go. I think that's every time commitment thus far to max out the Devon armor. So now you can estimate based on everything I said. Uh. <laughs> oh no, man. What is this? What? Stop mining trees. 30, stop. 30, I'm going to burn these plushies. It's been months. I'm sorry. I really what should plushies? just They made plushies for me and was intending on sending them to the PO box, which I haven't shared with the stream yet. <laughs> I should probably do that. You should just share it with them individually for now. Oh the Christmas coming up. Maybe I can make a special fan opening Christmas. You have one month. Hmm. <laughs> to make this happen. Two months, technically. Christmas is at the end of December. Oh, no, you're right. No, I'm wrong. Two months. What do you think, chat? Maybe? Well, actually, I'm not going to even be at my house for Christmas. I'm going to be in New York. So I'd have to do it slightly differently than that. <laughs> See this chat? What I've been doing for the past hour? This is going to be 50 hours of my life off camera. Five zero hours. I might be excited about it now, but I feel like given 20 hours, 
by that point, I'm going to start getting like, all right. I'm getting a little, uh, a little impatient. <laughs> what the, what did I just do? I import footage and all of a sudden I hear I'm back for day three. <laughs> I'm like, wait, uh, something's wrong. Well, day three of Derpy, perhaps. No, it was just the video yeah. from day three. Why do you still have that? I don't know. No wonder your computer's crying about no storage. You don't have any it's mods. Actually, it actually consumed? wasn't. It wasn't my. It wasn't the footage drive that was crying. It was the proxy drive. Actually, only forty-four hours of your life. At that point, it's same difference. Forty-four hours, fifty hours. <laughs> Still multiple days of my life. For a brief moment, I read chat and thought it said, what is your moaning speed? And I was about to say, chill <laughs> out. <laughs> is that just something people track? Like, I don't know. No, I thought someone misspelled mining speed, but my brain just had a dyslexia moment. Let the intrusive thoughts win. <laughs> Sticks hand into the soap dispenser. It's a good meme. I'm trying to think of if I've ever let an intrusive thought win and I just did something stupid and meaningless. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think on that one. Honestly, I don't know. Actually, this happens a lot when I'm eating. Sometimes I just get like bored and I rearrange all the food on my plate in like a pattern for no reason. Anyone else do that? Like you ever get like an order of french fries and then you just line them up like lengthwise like a like a wooden deck. Like just a bunch of <laughs> fries just perfectly aligned next to each other. I do that crap sometimes. That's just like no. Okay, I guess I'm just crazy then. Or I have OCD. Probably OCD. <laughs> Both. Yeah, like when I was younger, foods, multiple foods on one plate was usually a no-go unless they were perfectly like separated. As soon as like different types of food touched, suddenly I was not interested anymore. Like if I had my mac and cheese and chicken nuggets, if the nuggets had any cheese on them, I'd be like, nope. <laughs> I was a difficult child. <laughs> Nowadays, I don't care. Cheese on, you know, breaded chicken is a little weird, but like, I'll still eat it. Mac and cheese with the chicken strips. That was part of why I got fat. Is because I was misled into believing that the Annie's boxed mac and cheese that's like pre-prepared. Not the one that you prepare yourself. The, the frozen one that you microwave. Which is like 600 calories for one stupid serving that barely fills you. Because it's high in fat. I was led to believe it was healthy. So I would just load up on like six um, chicken fingers. Plus that like. 600 calorie mac and cheese and i'd end up eating a meal that was like a third of the actual food my body wanted but was like 1500 calories it was bad
professional CS player after all these ruby flicks. So what exactly does that mean? Just going from one block to the other efficiently without wasting ticks? I didn't know that had a name. I thought it was just aiming properly. <laughs> I suppose that I could get pretty good at CS. When I was at DreamHack, there was actually a mini game that I was playing where it would just spawn NPCs and you'd have to headshot them as fast as possible. And I got pretty good at it. Too bad none of the footage actually was recorded properly because stupid. Does 30 play FPS games? I plan on playing the new COD. I am hoping to play the new Call of Duty, but after Scorpius. So, honestly, I my Twitch might become alive for a brief time when I stream Call of Duty because I'm surely not doing it here because Minecraft audience. I don't want to hurt future prospects on my Minecraft streams by doing Call of Duty stream on YouTube. And I don't think that's YouTube's fault, by the way. There's nothing that YouTube as a platform can do to prevent situations like that. That's just an audience thing. So I guess if you want to see other content on stream from 30 virus, follow me on Twitter and pay attention, not Twitter, follow me on Twitch and then pay attention in Discord for the ping. That's the best you can do, I suppose. Oh, there's a person down there. Hello. No, I can stream balloons on here. I feel like there's enough crossover. The thing is, I'm just so focused on Iron Man right now that I can't do other games just yet. Eventually, I will. They're grinding all the materials for this took so long. Cat of 50 win. Not for a long time. <laughs> ILY 30 always make me happy. I'm glad. It's one of my favorite things is to help people out on my streams. Like I'm thrilled every time I hear that someone like saw the weight loss thing and then lost weight. Like that's, that's freaking sick. That's like life-changing stuff right there and i think like my channel is the best place to do that because if you think about it right you have your greg Dusets, your will tennyson's out there like you have to go and search for that content right you have to literally you have to make a decision it's like okay i'm gonna look up fitness content on youtube but just a random gaming youtuber making a big change and then like it or not a ton of people in the gaming space just seeing that happen that's huge it can make positive change in a lot of people's lives. So I'm, I'm very happy that that's happened to some people. I don't know. I wish I could see just how many people actually went through and made a change because of that. I probably will never know for sure. But I've heard at least like five or six people tell me that. TV would be very helpful in this scenario. How old were you seven years ago? Seven years ago, I was sixteen. Why do you ask?
I was inspired by your change as well as my IRL friends, so I joined my school's mountain biking team. Over the summer, I was riding 110 miles a week, but now because of school, I only do 50. 50 miles a week is still a good amount, though. 50 miles a week? I was doing 12 miles a day for like five to six, five to six days a week. So you're like right where I was, honestly. You're still good, dude. 50 hours a week is good. I'm biking. Wait, 50. Wait, not 50 hours. 50 miles, sorry. 50 miles is great. You can get double dailies now. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it resets midnight. Yeah, it resets at midnight. The double dailies, just like I thought. Oh, wait. Oh, I had it enabled. Whoops. If I go back nine minutes, would I see that message in chat? Actually, the only real way to know would be to break a piece of mithril. We're about to find out. Yeah, no, it resets at midnight, just like I thought. Midnight for my time zone, which is EST. Eastern Standard Time. Because Florida, man. My hub lobby is day 2000. Yeah, Spooky does that. Or at least it's it's doing that now. I don't know how long it's been doing that, but it's doing that. Yeah, I know I should do a fitness channel. I've been meaning to do it for a long time, but like now I especially need to get in shape. The problem is all this grinding in Skyblock. I need to get this out of the way first. How much money do you think you've made today? Well, I started at about three mil after I got the recoms. So already made about 18 million, but that's not including what I sold so far. I think this man found the cords and is just noting down all the cords. It's like, mm, I'll be mining this later. <laughs> Which fair enough. I'm the person who lost 50 pounds. Prob lost 20 pounds from boxing. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna help you reach uh, a preferable weight class, right? Which means you get to fight people that are lighter. So your fights are easier if you have a lot of muscle. That's a dangerous slope though. People that try to make weight for competitions and they lose like an unhealthy amount of weight by dehydrating themselves. Not recommended, honestly. It's not good. Um, I would suggest healthy weight loss. That is, you know, fat loss. Not, you know, throwing yourself in a sauna and then sweating it out. 10 pounds in a night. Not good. Very not good. Taking diabetics and stuff. Ugh. 
not tell them. Thirty virus is coal weight. 640.76 top 5.82 percent what does that mean what's coal weight is coal weight like my cumulative like mining score based on gear like which gemstones i have which armor i have mining speed mining fortune that's part of the mountain that sort of thing because that's kind of funny if i'm already in top like six percent senator weight buff for mining okay Huh. Cool. It doesn't care about gear at all? What's it based on then? Part of the mountain? Or does it somehow track my... How quickly I've obtained... Gemstones? And it doesn't include every skyblock player. How does this system work? How does this magical calculation put me in the top 6% of players? It adds the buyer and seller of the 30 most recently sold auctions every one minute. Ah. So Iron Man players aren't counted? <laughs> Because auctions. My friend said get muscle then lose fat. Is that true? You can do both at the same time. If you had to do one, I would suggest losing fat first. But you could do both at the same time. I personally did not focus on gaining muscle. I already had a bunch to begin with because of my body type and my genetics. I'm, I'm just naturally a strong guy, even without working out. My problem was I had a lot of muscle, but I also had a lot of fat. So my goal was just to lose weight and then just reduce the amount of muscle that I lost along the way because calorie restriction means you lose muscle a little bit. So I just kept my protein high and kept physically active and uh, didn't have too crazy of a deficit. Any tips on getting the ruby for gemstone gauntlet? Pick Onimbus on ruby. Get a bow pet as soon as possible. I don't care how long the grind is. Do it. It's worth it. Kill as many bows as it takes. And obviously powder mining is pretty easy to get into. Then again, if you don't have gauntlet yet, maybe it's not so easy. Kinesiologist degree, you can't build muscle muscle efficiently while being in a caloric deficit. Muscle build first. Well, it depends on your goals, though. I agree that you can't really build muscle if you're in a deficit. You just reduce the amount you lose. But if you have to lose weight and gain muscle, then I'd suggest losing the weight first. I don't know. It doesn't. But again, you can do them both at the same time. It's just way slower. Well, you wouldn't be losing weight. If you're building muscle, you're probably not losing weight. But what is happening is that you're fixing your body composition. So you're increasing the amount of muscle and decreasing the amount of fat and your like weight stays the same. Uh, if you're in a caloric deficit, then you're not going to be gaining muscle. Supper King, thank you for the 20, dude. Super sick right now, but here's a super chat. Well, I hope you get better, man. Uh, make sure to get your sleep and vitamin C. I'm sure you know this. Don't cut to start. No need to reduce your strength for now. For no reason. Just do the body recomp. Well, yeah, that's what... The thing is, though, like... I don't know, man. I... <laughs> I personally 
cut my calories first and then started going to the gym and honestly i had great success then again i hadn't really been to the gym before that so i don't have a reference point of how strong i was before the weight loss but like if the goal is to look good you don't need to be a muscle head you know what i mean like if your goal is to just become a monster then maybe you should consider you know being a bit more careful but like i just wanted to look i wanted to look nice i wanted to look attractive i wanted to have a better time in the dating world to be 100 percent honest with you like that was most of the motivation but i also just didn't I, I didn't want to feel like crap about myself and i don't need to have a bunch of muscles to feel good about myself i just wanted to have that beach body look you know where it's like i could walk around in a t-shirt and shorts and look fine have a, a medium-sized shirt not look like it's you know stretched to fit me <laughs> so so i guess my goals are different i i've always been a strong person i always have excess muscle than i probably will ever need in my day-to-day -day life so i don't focus at all on muscle really i just eat my protein and then the, my body does the rest essentially <laughs> Hey man, I'm gonna do a three week challenge against my coworker on weight loss. I'm thinking of doing 16, eight. I'm assuming you mean um, fasting, 16, eight. Low carb plus cardio only for the win. Not sure if that's the right route. Don't be afraid of carbs. Low carbs is, the reason why people do low carb is because they think it makes them lose weight faster, but all it does is drain your glycogen which is the way your muscles store energy and it also is the way your muscles store water so when you cut your carbs you're cutting your glycogen which means that your muscles deflate and there's less water in them so you're losing weight but it's water weight and when you cut your carbs it, it's not great then you just hunger spikes it's, I, if you want my advice cut out on refined carbs like you know like added sugar white bread's actually not too bad as long as you pair it with something like egg whites but um nah you, you should really focus on just low calories i don't care what you're eating as long as the calories are low you're fine like diet sodas are <laughs> for this strategy i'm not gonna comment on any other dietary risks but when it comes to weight loss diet soda uh Egg whites are great, non-fat Greek yogurt. Just keep the calories down. I don't care what macronutrient it is. As long as you're getting enough protein in that you're not losing muscle, you're good to go. That's That should be the only goal. And then steady state cardio. If you want my advice for the quickest way to lose weight healthily, walk or ride a bike for an hour. If you have the time, two hours. And then just have like count your calories and then have a deficit of like 500 to a thousand based on whatever the fitbit tells you probably like a thousand because it overestimates how much you burn and underestimates what you consume so like go for a 1000 calorie deficit according to the fitbit which is probably more like 500 calories then you should lose um it's only three weeks though so you're only realistically gonna lose maximum like two or three pounds a week if you're really going crazy with the calorie deficit which i wouldn't recommend but if you really did then you could probably see like 10 pounds lost in three weeks if you really went crazy which is not healthy I, it's it really shouldn't be a short-term competition in my opinion i don't really like that way of thinking instead of three weeks it should be three months in my honest opinion if it was a three month challenge i think it'd be far more telling because i lost 40 pounds in 90 days which is still way faster than most people would recommend that that's a lot of weight to lose in that shorter time I lost nine pounds my first week and was shocked, but then it went down to three pounds a week. That's still very fast. And those nine pounds are probably water weight. So it wasn't true weight loss. But the three pounds a week after that, yeah, that's...
But yeah, I mean, look at me, for example. I lost, again, I, I lost like 60 pounds over the course of like four and a half months. And I haven't gained any of it back. But that's because I made it my life. I made it my job. Like, I literally walked for an hour, rode my bike for an hour, and then had, like, a calorie deficit way more than it should have been. But I was also keeping active physically, lifting, kind of lifting, but it was, like, calisthenics. I did everything right. I pushed the human body to the limit on how fast you can healthily lose weight. It just took up, like, half of my day. Literally, like, half of my day. Which most people can't do because they have lives. I didn't have a life. So. Are you single? No, I am taken. My efforts paid off. Ooh, 700 HP there. Yeah, I went on. Uh, we went on our first date uh, about a week after I hit 170 pounds. So goes to show. It's more of a confidence thing than a weight loss thing, because the instant I hit my goal, suddenly I had the confidence to make it work. Big surprise. Halfway through the process, if I had the right mindset, I could have easily started dating again. Because, like, being at, like, 190 pounds, like, you're not undateable at my height. So, it really was just a confidence issue. Congrats, what's her name? I'm keeping that one between uh, us two. The internet doesn't need to know. Not yet. Just because I've I've made relationships public before and it didn't end well. <laughs> Let's just say. I'd like to most of the time I'll tell I'll tell chat whatever about my life, but that's the one thing. Is that be that's because someone else's life is involved. I that's when I start to be like, alright, probably should uh, pump the brakes a little bit on the sharing. Oh, and by the way, my point before is that uh, on the point of rebounding weight, I lost the weight, hit 170 pounds, and it's been four months, and I still weigh 170 pounds. So the thing is, I kept a calorie counting. I didn't stop that. I did lose a lot of other good habits, but I kept calorie counting, and that was by far the most important one. So we're good. It's just that my body composition is getting worse. I can feel my stomach getting bigger. That means that the fat content has increased, but the muscle content is going down. So it's not very good, but I am technically the same weight. I just got to get back to the gym to fix that body comp again. That's why my face doesn't look any different than it did when I lost the weight. Is it worth mining gemstones with Harlem Mountain 6 with a gauntlet and Yogg armor? For small goals of like 10 mil coins or less, probably, yeah. Honestly, all gemstones you mine should probably just go towards better gear at that point. Get yourself some mixtures, get yourself perfect gems for Yogg, or for, uh, not Yogg. Don't put perfects on Yogg. Perfect for Devon, I should say. probably focus on your heart of the mountain first actually just go for heart of the mountain seven as fast as possible powder mine get to like four three mil at least of each type of powder not nah two mil of each and you'll probably be decent i'm at like 3.5 mil of each <laughs> It's fine to put perfect on Yogg. You can take it back later. Yeah, for like a million coins per gem. No, it's awful. It's too expensive, man. I felt bad being charged 100,000 coins to remove um, flawlesses from my Yogg. 
because it adds up i mean if you have like three gemstones per piece that's 300k times four is 1.2 mil it's not nothing when you're struggling for coin at the start of the game you know it is yeah, it's 12 million coins wasted putting perfect on Yogg. Would not recommend, honestly. I'm vibing right now. Like, this grind is such a vibe. <laughs> I'm barely even, like, I don't know. It just feels very calming to me. I could do this for hours. And I have been doing it for hours. All right, you know what? I bet chat wants to see this. Let's see what do we got. Probably should restart recording as well. Let's see what we got. It's still going. <laughs> Look at all this ruby. Fourteen point five million. And now we have a total of thirty six mil. Thirty six million coins, chat. And we started with three mil. 33 million coins I made today without really trying all that much to be honest it, it was pretty easy wow that's crazy that's some good stuff man sky helper discord bot says your net worth is 1.835 billion top 11 percent 3.6 percent of the way chat <laughs> nice That would be a good outro clip. That would be a good outro clip for the video right there. I just restarted recording too. Bruh. This dude is right in the... Oh, he didn't even damage me. What the hell? Get to at least 5% today. What, 50 mil? My goal is 100 mil today. Now, I'm not going to do it all on stream because we're literally just going to run out of time. But, um... Yeah, the plan's 100 mil by the end of today. And then I'm probably going to go a while without streaming. Maybe a week. I'll record clips along the way of important things that happen. But, like, I don't know. There's not going to be much for me to do on stream other than this. We got to wait until Scorpius at least. I need to check what day the lobby is, but I don't want to leak chords stay 11 day 11 huh well the lobby closes on day 15 which is four days from now 20 minutes each so it's just over an hour so how about we keep going at this until the lobby closes and then we can maybe do something else to end off stream days bugged because spooky I don't know. It looks pretty normal to me. Up. Ow.
you buy critical seven for gauntlet? No. I wonder how much damage a max gauntlet can do. Probably not that much, to be honest. This has been a very good experience though, big fan. Then it can critical hit the gemstones. I'm like eating away at these platforms by accident. Are you still on VPN? Yeah. Are you gonna have VC with Fearless again? Yeah, probably during the Ruby mining process. I'll uh, I'll pop into a call if he allows calls, which I'm sure he will. I'll just be chilling, doing my own thing. Maybe I'll pop into one of his streams. Spooky festival's over. We're slowly gaining gemstone powder too. I predict throughout this process, it's not going to be too great. Actually, we can make a prediction right now. So chat, let's say I got 3% of the way with 66,000, 60, I'll say 60,000 powder for 3% of the progress. Hmm. 3.3% of the progress would mean no. 3% of the progress for 66. 100 divided by 3 is 33.3333 times 60,000. That's 2 million gemstone powder that I'll get by the time this is over. Not bad, honestly. I'll take 2 mil extra gemstone powder, honestly. That's good. Is it ideal? Obviously, no, but it's good. I think I'm going to dump points into powder buff to increase that rate as well. Not bad. You know what? Let's do some of that now. We have 63,000. Oh, One level into powder buff. Nice. I just made the process 1% faster. What does Iron Man need coin for? Mostly Dark Auction and Dungeons. Those are the two biggest money sinks. I need more cobbler. <laughs> yeah, that full Devon is like coming in clutch right now. It's good. Oh yeah, G drag. Um, pet leveling a cat costs a lot of money. That's the insane part is I'm actually going to need like a crazy amount of uh, coin just to upgrade all my pets, including Skada someday. Then I'm going to be super sad if I drop a higher rarity one. Kudra keys? I don't think those are going to cost coin unless they updated it. It only costs nether stars. On Iron Man, at least.
That's not even one of the spots. I'm just randomly here. It costs 1.25 million per T4 key. Right, so update stuff. Makes sense. One point, jeez, for a T4 key. Mining speed boost with American ping is so satisfying. Yeah, it's crazy good. Crazy to me that according to Imploden, these are bad chords. Or not like, it's a small route according to him. That's crazy. So there are better chords out there. Your candy 3727 position 594. By your, I'm guessing you don't mean mine because I wasn't killing any mobs. Although I did kill some Yogs. <laughs> What rewards am I getting? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Why am I doing that? No! Dirty, should I go to the gym? Yes. Also, I should go to the gym. That would make sense if I did. It's a kill issue. good for mental health it is how do you have the attention span to mine for three hours straight the content and the coins that it brings all the good things that this brings me makes it worth and i get to talk to chat when i have a good conversation point going with chat the time just flows by Not my route. Not my cobble. We're the only reason 30 doesn't go insane. Oh, but just you wait, chat. I'm going to be... I'm going to start watching movies and anime and tv i'm gonna get caught up on so much cultural stuff i'll send route later if i remember sounds good until then i'll just use this with the extra chords you might have to remind me tomorrow fair enough fair enough but yeah my goal is to get 100 mil today mostly after stream honestly well not mostly at this point it's gonna be half off stream probably and then tomorrow the goal is to get um another 100 mil i'm hoping i get 100 mil before the festivities start because there's a, a there's a um a festival event going on somewhere in tampa that i'm gonna bring my girlfriend to so i'm gonna try and get 100 mil ruby before that starts and or after it ends and then day after tomorrow I'm actually not gonna mine any ruby and I'm gonna get a ton of chores done around the house. And then the day after that onward, all the way up until Scorpius, 200 mil a day. That's the plan. Which translates to about 10 hours of this every day for like four days. I might get some extra actually it depends i want to at least have a billion in like coins and then i might have some extra 
Oh, I'm gonna have a billion coins worth of ruby sitting in the vault. I want to fill the vault, but maybe some extra coin wouldn't hurt because you know coin is always good. Oh, a double powder. I'll take that. You know what? Oh, standing after many hours of sitting. Yeah, the cell limit's gonna be funny. Slick, thank you for the five Canadian dollars. Hey, 30, I'm the person that's in your lobby. Can you open chat on Minecraft, please? I can only put 150 characters in super chat. Also, I made a code 30 virus sign. Uh, I, no. <laughs> The problem with toggle chat is that it could open the door to someone sniping and then like revealing cords. So out of courtesy, I'm going to have to say no to that one. But, um, but hey, if you have something to tell me, chat's not going too fast right now. I'd probably see your message. Like a regular chat. Hmm. <sighs> Not that I don't trust you specifically, is I just, it's just, I work off of systems. <laughs> if that makes sense. This is a very sensitive uh, bit of information. I spent about $50 with your code, keep it up. Nice. Code 30 virus carrying. Code 30 virus genuinely covers my living expenses. So all other income goes straight into like either investments or things that are like not technically the monthly expenses, but like those extra things, whether it be home improvements or paying off some weird debt or taxes or whatever. Yeah, the day to day. Wait, you hear mighty rumbles and explosions in the distance. The lobby's closing. The lobby's closing. What day is it? It's a day 12? The lobby's closing on day 12? Well, I guess we're ending uh, early. Want me to help mine out a new one? No, no, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I think I've shown stream enough of the concept i'll have to mine out a new one after stream but that's okay i have bomb bombs i have a lot of bomb bombs so i i don't mind so wait chat how does that work i'm actually not that bummed out because you know it's mining but like day 12 lobby closing how does that work i thought it ended at day 15 and there it goes oh i gotta be careful actually let me, let me, uh, let me, let me turn off the waypoints mod real quick. There we go. Probably cause spooky. Mm. Fair enough. But that was good. Let's see what we ended off with. That was, oh, did you hear that? I just cracked my knee. <laughs> oh, I cracked my freaking knee. Another 4.2 million. 40 mil, chat. 40 million coins. Wow. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy. Let me just grab my... Ugh. 
sorry to the people asking about like overall income question let's just say it's enough <laughs> i uh as most people will tell you at least in the united states there's a little bit of a stigma you, you don't really just straight up show all of your income um but it, it's good it's a good income i am very appreciative of you chat you guys treat me well and i'm very happy for it and very appreciative How many extra Devon frags do you get? I think like 17 of them. <laughs> I could almost make most of a second Devon armor set if I wanted, which is kind of funny. Big one there. So yeah, we're going to have these ready in uh, about 11 hours to 12 hours tomorrow. So we'll max out the talisman. But yeah, man. What else is left on my list? What else? Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Powder grinding. We already did that. Redo heart of the mountain tree. Did that. I could grind out one perfect sapphire, but I don't think chat wants to see that. Hmm. Is there something I can do with 40? I should probably save it for Scorpius. Ah, uh, let's take a look in my heart of the mountain tree. Can't really. Wait, can I powder grind effectively? No, I can't because Great Explorer has like no points put into it. Hmm. I don't need any more mining speed, surprisingly. Buy a flower minion, dark auction in five minutes. I feel like I want to wait to do that. I, I think it'd be more cinematic if I started the dark auction stuff all at once. So we're going to hold off on that. We're going to do all of that at once. What I can do now that I think about it is that the day rolled over, which means I can NPC buy again. So let's get my list. Let's get all the stuff I got last time, including fish. Let's put this away. You're doing your mining speed distribution wrong. Yeah, I noticed that. I could have put more into the professional and probably got the same speed for less powder, but it's okay. <laughs> uh oh I've maxed out the amount of fish already we're gonna have to start putting it in this chest over here in these chests gotta save all of it for bait <laughs> Because the last thing I need is to do lava fishing and then run out of fish bait. So we're stocking up while we can. This served me so well during the grind for um, whatever the, the stupid uh, more membranes. Yes. Big tip for any Iron Man players. Take full advantage anytime you have access to 10x NPC buy. You should certainly use it on fish. Absolutely. And don't compact it. Keep it as regular fish. Just so you can craft like as much fish bait as the game will let you. Because you're not going to replenish your fish supplies. When you're lava fishing. So fish bait is very good. And considering there's like literally six days worth of this. I'm gonna have to put a lot of fish away. There we go. So the ruby gemstone bank was a waste? No, I, I just wanted to have some coin on me. The true grind is gonna start after stream's done probably. Then I'm gonna start loading up the vault with gemstones. Can I see your armor please? Yes, this is it. Fully maxed out. Oh boy. All right. Uh, let's continue with our NPC buying, shall we? 
Gonna need personal compactor for this one. Hey, 30 been a while. What's up, man? How you doing? Anything else from here? Uh, there is blaze powder, actually, which I believe you can put in a fishing sack. And I need that for... Oh, that was a mistake. The lava fishing sack does not have that kind of room. Whoops. I'm putting that in there. I'm not buying gas tears. That's a waste. Uh, let's do gunpowder. Boom. How many? Hmm. How many enchanted pearls do I have? That's a lot. I wanna, okay, hold on. This is, this is something I wanna try. Hello, man. First theme I catch in like two years. Well, damn. Welcome, welcome back from 2019. <laughs> well, 2020, oh geez. It's been a while since uh, the peak of Skyblock. We're dying chat. No, we're not. We're fine. It's just not where it once was, but it's still in a good place, honestly. String. Copium. <laughs> When you were going for wood singularity i remember that that was a grind and it was also before tree cap <sighs> and monkey pet Ooh, pain can i put this in here i can't well i'm too lazy so i'm just gonna leave that all right let's get more uh let's see we got gunpowder and string now we need ice and flint. And dandelions. Dandelions are good. This is bringing back memories of the time when you would spend hours in a menu clicking string. Please wait a bit before doing this. Oh, God, I hate this. It, please wait a bit before doing this. It's still there. It's just a much more reasonable delay nowadays. Ice. Running out of slots here. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> we have acquired many items just now. Wow. Hmm. Do I need to have mithril in there? Might as well empty this. I think for right now, I could probably get away with taking that out. I need more personal compactor space, man. We need more redstone. So we can upgrade this spare one. So I don't have to deal with this.
maybe spare one just for gems that's what i'm planning on doing is i might even have three of them i honestly like <laughs> personal compactor is just such a good quality of life item okay so i got rabbit feet fish flowers gunpowder string ice flint all that's left is blaze rods now off to crimson isles thank you for the two dollars <laughs> jab the midget okay that's a name what are your thoughts on Copernicus, the philosopher if i remember correctly he's the one that um as the story goes thought that the earth was round and everyone thought it was flat and then it turned out that that wasn't necessarily how the story went i don't remember enough about him i'm not much of a history buff to be honest so i don't really know too much about him is that true? Or am I thinking of a different guy? I might be thinking of a different guy. To be honest, I don't know. That was Galileo, so who... Who's that guy, then? Oh, it was that he thought the sun was the center of the galaxy, right? Right. Or not galaxy, the solar system, not Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So, wh who was that? I remember... I remember that name. I just don't remember anything about it. I don't know. Well, there you go. We did our NPC buying. Oh, by the way, how much blaze powder do we have? Oh, we're close to 512. That's huge. That's going to be T11 Blaze Minion, right? Maybe not. Let me check. By the way, I'm going to have to kick everyone from the island because of lag. Sorry. Oh, let's actually pull out the line pet for this. Ooh, that's going to be T10 Blaze Minion upgrade. Very good. And before anyone protests, I want to spend it on Minion before you argue with me. Boom. <laughs> Screw Frozen Blaze for now. We don't need it right now. We'll need it for completion of the museum later. So I can spend it on a Minion. Legend Dooley. <laughs> Thank you for the 1A continue collecting uh minions enchanted slime block wow a lot of these minions are max which is good we need it for the sky block xp except for you 512 enchanted rabbit foot how much do we have probably not even close to that 172 we'll have enough by the end of uh diaz so that skeleton minions maxed this ice minions maxed and i got the auger rod recipe looks pretty nice so does it what does it say sounds pretty nice auger rod looks at the price oh hell no <laughs> sorry um now that i think about it this guy is also close to max 512 enchanted gunpowder where are we at oh we have more than enough boom seems pretty nice <laughs> that's what it is that's what it is <laughs> Quartz minion, not ready, obviously. Emerald minion. How many of these do we have? Not even close. I think I recently upgraded it to T10. Enchanted glowstone block. Need seven more of those. Cow minions maxed out. I did that off screen as well. Same with the iron minion. A lot of maxed minions, actually. Still got a ways to go with uh, Lapis, though. Pig minion, 32... 512 enchanted pork. I think we're close to that. We are. Boom. That's a T10, not T11. T10 pig minion. 
Oh, we're getting a lot of minion upgrades done today. By accident, I didn't think this was gonna happen. Also, how much fuel do we have left? Only 15 hours of... Ah, oh, crap. We're gonna need more. We might have to... Um, we might have to grind more of this. <laughs> That's six days worth. That's enough to last until almost Scorpius. We're gonna need to grind out more of that, though. More beacon fuel. Lines level 94. Hog. Hey, uh, 30, is it one swear per thousand? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Just comes back to ask about my swearing policy. And then leaves. He's probably going to be gone for another, like, two hours, chat. That's the, that's the only bit we're going to hear from him. He has a beacon already? A T5 beacon, as a matter of fact. <laughs> what is going on over there? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I uh, I uh, I needed to uh, I needed to know because I'm about to record the explanation. I couldn't remember if it was one or two grand. Because <laughs> I'm getting screenshots of various donations and things. Ah. So I see. I'll return shortly. Well, mildly shortly. Luke shortly. Not shortly. <laughs> Not coming soon. Well, there you go, chat. Minions collected. So you want to see something crazy? Nine more uniques, and we unlock the 19th minion slot. That's crazy. 19 minion slots, chat. Now, technically, if I farm the carrots again, we might be able to get close. I can realistically get to, like, T11. Ooh. It is expensive, though. Wait, did I say 19th? 29th minion slot! 19th. Mm, my brain. You know, my mouth and my brain oftentimes disagree. Let's see if I can afford any other upgrades. We might be able to eke out the 29th minion slot today. I don't know. It's not looking likely. Unless I buy some upgrades from, like, pelts, which... No. Mm, I could definitely get one, two, three, four upgrades from Carrot. That's easy enough. Lapis T11 is like way too expensive for me right now. Once the barn or once the update comes out for farming crap, we're gonna get these two done easily. Fish T9, huh? Four stacks of enchanted fish. There's no way. There is no way. Oh. It's close, but I'm not wasting unenchanted fish. Too bad that I can't upgrade the um, mycelium to T6. That would be easy. Requires 4,000 mage rep, which I don't have. Hmm. What are your thoughts, chat? I can maybe do this. Honestly? Hmm. That seems pretty doable. Right? I mean, I have the blaze powder right there. You know what? That at least Enderman Minion I can do. Let's do that. 
Because we have so many pearls. We have so many pearls. And we can keep buying blaze powder from the alchemist, I believe. Is it from the alchemist or is it from the NPC? Oh, I can buy it here too. Oh, crap. Does blaze powder have a limit on how much you can buy? Probably. Oh yeah, we can get the minion upgrade this way. Hey chat, how many stacks is that by the way? So I don't overdo it. Ooh, we're getting materials here quickly here. Yes, there is a limit on blaze powder. Well, we're about to find it. Is that someone mining that I hear right now? Around the hub? There is a limit. It's around three stacks according to chat. Not bad. Let's combine this with what we have. We're at two and a half stacks right now. And then what we can do is go to the nether. Maybe they don't sell blaze powder. We're about to find out. Mithril minion? Oh, I've got to have that at T11 already. If I don't, that's an easy dub. Volcanoes erupting. Surprise, there's no sulfur minion. It's probably for the best. Uh, nope. There is not. How many blaze rods do I have? I just compacted that. Stupid virus. Okay, well, that's not happening. Uh, we'll do the rest of that, I suppose, next NPC reset. Oh my god, we're lagging so bad. I can't make red sand minion. I don't have rap. rap I don't have reputation with uh, the faction. Anyways. Uh. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I forgot. We have this. So I can make a little bit more. There we go. 10 more. So we have two stacks and 42. Cool. Uh, so let's look at Mithril Minion. That one should be decent enough. It's already T11. Yeah. Uh. Gast T11 is eight stacks of silver fangs. We are not there at all. Uh, pig minion we're working on. Chicken is done. Sheep we're working on. Rabbit we're struggling with, but still working on it. Yeah, we've pretty much hit our limit here. I, <laughs> the rest of these minions, they're pretty much being worked on. I don't see much that we can do here. Glowstone is easy with your gear. It's like one tier though. I already have the minion down, so I don't really see a purpose in that. Or even is Glowstone minion. He blends in. There he is. Uh, eh, nah. I have to use the bathroom. I'll be back. I'm also going to get the soda. I got myself a cranberry sprite. Diet, of course. 
this is my third soda of the day i usually don't have i usually don't even have two sodas in the day so i should probably oh is that hey it's the original ice what's up man sorry i was um i was off screen oh. we were gonna get a minion upgrade but everything's too expensive they that makes a, me a melon where's melon i did Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not going to hit the minion goal anytime soon. Although, when we get, uh, we're certainly hitting the, the next slot when we get flower minion. We're going to be able to get it to T12 probably almost immediately because already, look at that. <laughs> we're going to get, what, five days of this? Five additional days? Let's assume five times 40, 200, hold on. Five times 40, divide by 64. So that's just over three more stacks. We can get it to T9, maybe. It's looking like I can get it to T9. Hmm. Star Colt? Oh, right. I should do that. Gotta get some more fuel for the thingy. Have you been getting kicked from Hypixel recently? I have, and I had to install a VPN so I could log in. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to play the game. Kind of cringe, but it is what it is. I had to spend 80 bucks on two years of service just so that i can log into the game good stuff good stuff anyways let's put this on hello i'll take 200 starfall please should probably also kill some treasure hoarders just so that we have stuff i'm actually gonna spec into mage let's do that Boop. And then we go here. And we go here. So the constant disconnection isn't just me. It is not. Yeah, Ace, if you haven't heard, um, Florida is getting wrecked at least <laughs> for high pixel the thing that's been happening in the eu happened again but worse in florida so like every two minutes you get disconnected you're gone like you can't play the game anymore and it gets so bad that badline can't handle it and it just crashes constantly because of how many times i'm just getting disconnected it's very not pog should probably also get uh this Yeah, something to do with uh, Cloudflare. It's been messing up really badly. Is Griffin for Magic Find? Does Magic Find affect those drops? I don't know if it affects Starfall. I know it affects Treasure, right? Which we have a decent amount of. Look up Zevia. It's a healthy version of sodas. I personally uh, don't have a problem with diet sodas in general. If you don't like artificial sweeteners, that's your choice. But I personally don't care. I don't get fat from it. And that's, that's the thing that I'm afraid of at the moment. I'm not going to get into the whole artificial sweeteners thing again. Because it's, let's just say it's a whole lot of unfounded stuff that's poorly researched at best i'm not gonna get into it make your own choices if you like mm. 
Boom. They're dead. How's the lag been? It's been fine since I uh, started using VPN. I teleported to Chicago. Right where Hypixel is situated. So we should be fine. What's your favorite weapon in the game? AOTE slash AOTB. Easily. It's the most useful and longest lasting weapon in the game. It's so convenient. And just so good. Is this guy really trying to yoink kills? Are you serious? Hey, buddy! This is not... These are not your kills, Dustale! I was here first! High pixel moment. Nope. These kills are mine. I live in Chicago, so I get like 10 ping. <laughs> Bruh. Now, I don't know how much of this I need. Let's check. Uh, what do we have? I believe it's 256 for two days. So if I hit 512, then that's four days. I'll take it. Let's try and get 512. Dead. Unpin your mining message? No, people are gonna wonder about money. It's a common question, so I'll just leave it there. It's okay. I'm doing all right. It's been a good day. I'm a little bummed out that I'm going to spend the next seven days of my life mining rubies. But you know what? You got to do what you got to do for the content, I suppose. So I'm, I'm mentally preparing myself, I guess. But I am going to have a day that's just nice, fun break from it all tomorrow. So that's going to be good. But yes, the next seven days of my life are going to be very 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 much the same thing <laughs> no i'm not gonna do bingo no don't have time for bingo i must get coins for scorpius imagine phyllis lied to me and said the fifth just so i get the coins faster and then i'm just sit there or then i'm just stuck there like hmm i have nothing to spend these coins on for the next five days i have a feeling he wouldn't lie Please balance your videos and streams. No. You clearly do not know the risks and the threats of content drought. It's how YouTube channels die. And we are not going to let a drought happen ever again. So I am going to record as much footage as I have to to stay ahead until the channel is no longer active. 
and if this behavior continues the channel will never not be active because we'll have plenty of footage to upload that's the plan no more content drought i'm very much scared of it it was a problem that we had for literally two years and i don't want to go through it again it's not fun it's not a fun way to live thinking that your career could end at any time because you just don't have something to upload the next day i hate that feeling absolutely hate that feeling Wow, I got a Steve! Sorry. I don't see how you can play almost all day. The same way that someone could sit at an office job all day. I could do, I have the determination to do the same thing. It's a sad world we live in that creators have to post every day so they don't live in fear of falling off. It's not the fact that we have to upload every day because like we upload every other day, sometimes once every three days. But the threat comes from having nothing good to make and people losing the interest in the channel over time that's the fear the fear is falling off but not because of a lack of uploads more so because the lack of interesting uploads like people don't care anymore there's multiple reasons why content creator is it's a scary job it's a very scary career which is why most content creators if you really uh, ask them about it, are probably finance nerds. They probably know a lot about investing in real estate and stocks and crypto and all that stuff because they're trying to find a way to turn an unstable income that might have a whole lot of money all at once, but then dry spells. They, they find a way to turn that into something a little bit more normal. So, and I am one of those. Oh, I went a little bit overboard on the starfall. Okay. Well, we're done here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put the coin away. So, uh, that's done. What else do I have? Is there a double pattern crystal hollows? Oh, we're at, right. I forgot. I can't powder mine anymore. <laughs> I can't powder mine anymore because I don't have grand adventure no more. Interesting. Hmm. What else do I have on the to-do list? There's nothing left. The only thing left on the to-do list is mining that last ruby perfect. Or not ruby. That last sapphire perfect for the gauntlet, which is really just a cosmetic thing. <laughs> Should I do that? I'm going to make a lot of people cringe because I struggle finding thrones. And even if I found one, I don't know all the spots. I know the strategy for Dillo mining, but I don't know the route. So I might resort to just mining out natural veins of sapphire with a Dillo. We'll see. We'll see what I could find, maybe. We'll see. Uh, warp crystal nucleus. What is this? Oh, hello. Wait. Did I just find throne? Is this throne or is this not? I don't know which rooms are which. I'm not too familiar. But it's definitely a structure. This is not throne. It's like a bridge. None of the crystal spots are big enough to be thrown. Right? Chat, you know better than me on this one. I don't know. It's, it doesn't look like... No, this is definitely... That spiral? Doesn't look like spiral. 
I've seen a spiral and they're large rooms. This is a very small room. That's a mini spiral. Wait, is this the spiral that people dillo mine with? Is that, I don't know. I, I thought it was, you should try it. All right, sure. If you insist, I'll try it, but uh, chances are it's not <laughs> it's not gonna work all that well. On throw fishing hook, skate, and then exception. When you're not on uh, crystal hollows, and then on throw fishing hook, equip armadillo. Nice, and then I get my fishing rod. And then I do this. Uh, boop. Actually, let's go here, and then boop. Ooh. You know, there's not a lot of blocks here. I'm questioning how worth it this is. I mean, no, it's not a spiral. Chat's capping. Although I can break these. The problem is there's no... That's protected. I despise this? Why? <laughs> so it seems that... Yeah, this isn't worth it at all. It's like no blocks. But I can... I just proved that I know how to do it. But this is not the place. So let's move on. Let's see if we can find a better... Let's put on the minimap. Uh, Crystal Hollows map and waypoints. There we go. This is confusing. How is it confusing? Maybe the pet rules look confusing, but once you memorize it, it's not that bad. But it's literally just, this is how you, this is how, ooh, I just saw a big bunch of crystals right over here. Wait a minute. What is this? Is this something? No, it's just a door. It's just a big door. Can you not? Freaking shooting at me, rude. The concept is you literally just teleport to center yourself, fishing rod, and then sit on it, and it's protected. So, the only two structures I've been told that are worth doing it in is spiral and throne. Neither of which I'm really good at finding because I'm not familiar. But maybe we'll get lucky. Wait a minute. I think this is thrown. I think I vaguely recognize this. I think I vaguely possibly maybe recognize this. Chad, is this thrown or am I am I being dumb? That's not thrown. No. It looks vaguely familiar. But I guess not. Let me guess. Protected here? No. Ooh, that wasn't bad. But no, it's not going to work long term. That's protected. Sag. You'll know when you see it. I'm so bad at finding structures, man. At least I have the strat down. It's just a question of... Bruh, this game's handing out synthetic hearts now. Now I need... Now I need super light motors. I'm six parts behind on those. Not that it matters. I don't need to do nucleus runs for a while. Oh, wait. I have armadillo. I could just... Okay. Stupid. Is this where I just was? No. <laughs> okay, safe to say, new lobby. Oh, would you look at that? I spawned right in the uh, precursor room. 
Let's hope we get lucky. Oh, it's a trap structure. Very interesting. What are the chances I actually find the proper structure? I'm determined at this point with a max mining setup. Might as well try. <laughs> at this right? Might as well try and find a good spot for Dillo mining. I'm going to be awful at actually producing the uh the proper spots oh yeah armadillos love to kill mages as you just saw there now what room is this the gemstones don't appear to be large enough wait a minute this is the real test can you not if i go this way does this go anywhere? No, it does not. Ask imploding. I can't have him hold my hand for everything. I gotta, I gotta be independent. I have to figure these things out. I already know the process. Now I gotta learn how to find these places. This is definitely not thrown. It's that, it's that like small gemstone one. Yeah, this is the same room. <laughs> that I was confused by last time. Let's get out of here. There's a person over here. This is near the entrance. And there's the entrance. All right. That goes that way. If you can add one item to the game, what would it be? Hmm. hmm. I don't know. I've made multiple items that I think could be put in the game. With Uber items, but uh, I don't know. Oh, shooty box. There you go. I coded that. If you don't know what a shooty box is, look up Minecraft, but you only can use a dispenser or something like that. I made a video where you beat the game with a, a custom. It's like a blunderbuss dispenser weapon. It's very cool. That would be a neat weapon classification in this game. Yeah, safe to say this lobby's not going to have a throne. Ow. This is a Colosseum looking room? Oh, interesting. I just got two robot parts from a chest. What is this RNG right now? I don't need these anymore. I'm not doing nucleus runs for a very long time. Actually, this room looks promising. Probably all protected though. Let's test it. Oh. Hmm. You know, are all of these unprotected? Wait. Hey, chat. What are your thoughts on this? Are these spots good? Are some of these spots decent? There's not enough of them. That's the problem with this room. Don't even waste your time. I mean... <coughs> it's kind of half decent, though. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not good, though. It's not bad. <laughs> Yeah, I know I want Spiral or Throne, but they're hard to find. I'm not good at these things yet. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to find the proper structures. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely not nearly enough gems for this. That was fast.
Wrong armor? Oh! <laughs> Wrong armor. Thank you, chat. It's my bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, break all the things. Yeah, this is not a good room for this. This is not enough gems. The search continues. Probably need a new lobby at this point. Do you know any good VPNs? PIA sponsored me a while back. If you want to use them, not sponsored anymore by them, but previously worked with them and they're fine. Nord is popular, Surfshark is popular. You do you. Can I put on Rush E for 100% chance increase of finding Spiral or... Can you put on Rush E the meme song? I can't do song requests, unfortunately. My OBS doesn't work that way. I should make it work that way, but it's not easy to do that. Ah. Yeah, it's safe to say, probably need a new lobby at this point. Yes. Let's see what we find. Oh, this is that puzzle room. We don't need that. That's the lost city, probably. Nope, that's the dragon's lair. That's a weird looking structure. Is it called private internet access? Yeah. Hmm. Not much luck finding spirals, I'm gonna be honest, chat. Or throne. If only I found one of those unlocked spirals, that'd be great. Cause I'm a big noob when it comes to finding good lobbies. Oh, there's another one searching. I'm not alone here. Oh no. If they manage to find it, it's gonna get toxic. I have a feeling this lobby's no good. You know any free VPNs? People talk about Proton VPN, but I've never tried it, so I, I can't really recommend it because I don't know if it's good or not. All I know is that's what people say. <laughs> I want to find a spiral or a throne. Where, where is structure? Keep going up there and finding nothing. Maybe I should stop going that way. This is one of my least favorite parts of uh, Crystal Nucleus. Crystal Hollows in general. It's just not finding what you're looking for wandering around like an idiot just like i don't know where the thing is and it's like all right let's try the other route so we try it up there let's try this way now that way it just goes to the other biome my alt got perm banned for a day because i used a vpn yeah, that's the thing. I don't really recommend VPNs in general just because it's too risky. But I'm a YouTube rank, so I can bypass. But like, in general, YouTube or uh, Hypixel and VPNs have a sketchy pass. So I don't know if I would risk it if I didn't have YouTube rank. Yeah, this lobby's no good. Wow. 
Where is a throne or spiral? I want to find it. I was only taught how to do thrones, so if I find a spiral, I'm just gonna be stupid looking when I try to figure it out. But it's better than no spiral. Oh, would you look at that? A bow spawned here. That's inconvenient. If you're gonna use a VPN, use a dedicated IP. I still wouldn't fully recommend using a VPN, but if you like go against what I say and just use one, then at least, <laughs> at least use a dedicated IP. It's gonna cost a little extra, but you'll be less likely to get banned. Is this that, this is that other room that's not thrown, but looks like thrown? Sad. So I found that room three times. No actual throne yet. I don't know if I want to get cords from somebody. It could seem a little cheatsy, but it's not that big a deal. I'd rather find my own, though. That's the thing. It doesn't seem like it's an easy thing to find. They must be rare structures. Yeah, it looks like this lobby is also no good. There's something over here. Oh, a deep cavern. Okay. Yeah, I got warped in by Im imploding. But I mean, that's the, the thing is that like, you know. That's a bit different. It's, it was a tutorial type situation. I wasn't there grinding for five hours. Then again, neither am I going to be grinding for five hours this time either. So. So I'm gonna get a little tired. It is 10 p.m. And I've been streaming for 10 hours. Oh, it's the same lobby. Nice. Pfft. That took me aback. Just spawned in the city. <laughs> okay. And then there's this room. Oh, come on. There's no way to get to the rest of the thing without digging. There's got to be a path over here somewhere. There is. Are you trying to dillo mine? Trying and failing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I'm glad that I picked Ruby Mining as my like main way of doing it because this is just finding the lobby takes so long. Maybe I'm just bad, but like, holy crap! Oh, would you look at this? It's this room with the double chests in here. Here's that Colosseum room again. Why can't you deal with mine with a big sapphire route? At that point, I might as well just use Skada with a big route. The problem is armadillo mining's too efficient. So if you decide to like 
you know, Dillo mine. You're just gonna shred through so many gems, and then you're just not gonna have high fortune. Not as high fortune. So you're gonna struggle finding a route big enough to support Dillo. Is that two hobbit huts right next to each other? I think it is. Weird. Weird champ high pixel. I'm not trying to get money this time, chat. I just straight up need a sapphire gemstone. Oh, wait. Oh, it's another. It's this room again. I don't need this room. Actually, it looks a little different. Is this the... It's like, I think it's just a different room. It's like a bridge. This doesn't look like what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's definitely not the right room. Your recom RNG is mad. Eight in 200 runs. I'm going... 450 runs for three. My my RNG on everything seems to be insane. What is this? Oh, it's a deep caverns. Okay. I don't know, chat. I'm starting to lose hope. <laughs> starting to lose hope in finding this sapphire. For myself, at least. That's just gonna go down the magma fields. Or not. Nope, still is. So if I go up this way instead. Oh? What room is that? Whatever it is, it's not the right room. I took an... I spent an hour looking for a private one once. It takes a while. Mm. I don't know how worth it it is, honestly. Hmm. Chat's being sus at the moment. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I didn't mean to. Can I unplace the crystal? Wow. I need to get a super light motor now. Because I actually needed that crystal and I placed it. Eh, whoops. Sad. You know, if people dig out enough area like this, then I might just, they did dig out a lot, actually. Should I just give up on Dillo mining, just pull out the scabe and just do this? I don't know. I'm starting to, I'm starting to get really tired, chat. I don't know if I could even do 100 mil today. I'm just getting tired. We got the 40 mil, but to be fair, most of the day was spent doing other stuff. So I'm not too bummed out about it, but like, uh, are you dressing up this Halloween? I have a shaggy costume from last year that I fit really badly into last year because I was fat this year. I'm down 60 pounds. So I probably would look a, li a little bit more like shaggy, but I still don't have the same hair color. Wear the costume on stream. I'm not gonna be streaming for a while, unfortunately. Also, it's literally just a green shirt, so I don't, 
It's, it's just a green shirt and red pants. <laughs> it doesn't even look like Shaggy from the perspective that you're seeing here. You're not even going to see the pants. <laughs> so it's just going to be me in a green shirt. Yeah, I think I think it's safe to say I've kind of lost my mojo. I'm just tired and hungry. So I think I'm going to call it here, chat. It's been fun. I'm going to clip some notable moments in between now and whenever I decide to stream next. The singular goal, get as much Ruby as possible before Scorpius is mayor. I would hope for a bill, but you don't know. Considering I'm already tired and I only have 40 mil today. Eh, that's the thing is that, I mean, I got up pretty late. I didn't start gemstone mining until like four hours ago. And I didn't do it for that long. I probably actually actively mined Ruby for about three hours. Not even three hours. Like two hours. So if I actually went all in and did nothing but Ruby mining, I think I'll be good. But for right now, I'm just very tired. All that prep was exhausting, but we're here. We're in this situation now. Fully maxed Devon, fully maxed Gauntlet, effectively, because whatever. And then we're tomorrow i'm gonna fully max that i'll record a clip of it and then we're good to go there's nothing else i even have the freaking equipment on glistening like there's nothing else i could do to substantially increase my mining fortune or speed so this is it this is this is it's time it's time just to go all in i'm gonna catch up on all the anime and all the netflix i'm gonna watch probably all of demon slayer uh, one punch man season two perhaps i don't know um i don't know what other shows to watch i'm gonna get into some new things perhaps i, I will return much more cultured than i once was but uh you can powder grind not anymore i redid my heart of the mountain tree and i don't have grand explorer anymore <laughs> uh, but anyways i guess that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys later bye Oh, and it plays the cave music. That's very fitting. Wish me luck, chat. I have a lot of gemstones to mine. A lot of ruby. A lot of ruby. So much ruby. Ah. Bye!